Good evening, boys and girls, and I am your host, Tony the Wizard, and I will be conversating with DJ Dominator, and he will be dining with the Wizard. How you doing, my brother? I'm doing good, man. You know what, man? I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you made it. Uh, we're going to eat. We're going to grub. You know, we're going to talk shit. We're going to drink and probably lose our minds before the night is over. Hell yeah. Well, you know, I'm always down to grub some fucking food. If Hell I wasn't yeah. grubbing it, I would have been here cooking it. I was hey. telling my homie right here, we <laughs> might have brought, I was thinking about bringing a fucking grill. So one day, we're, I'm going to have to fucking be the one cooking. You know what? We're going to have to do that. That's part two. Yeah. The dining with the wizard. Yeah, hell yeah. 805 is in the motherfucking building. Right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, now, first and foremost, I want to introduce my food. Okay. This is, they call it something else, but we all know it is a campechana. For those of you that like mariscos, once again, I got this for Michi's. And this, this is Michi's. Uh, Alex, what uh, city is that in? Is that Torrance or Carson, Lomita? It's uh, Borderline. Bo borderline Carson. Borderline it's Lomita. on Carson Street. It's on Carson Street. So if you guys want to, this is Tenepulpo. It's got octopus. It's got uh, haiva, which is crab. And it's got shrimp, avocado, onion, all that shit. Is made. Okay. So I'm about to eat it, but I pour it in a bowl because you cannot eat it like that. As soon as you take the fucking top off. Oh, yeah, I see that. You can so, put, unless you put the straw. Right. And then, and <laughs> you suck the pulpo through the straw. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's how we're going to do it. And then I always, I always like to have a Coke with. Uh, mariscos, always. So, other than that, and I also dress it up with uh, tap your tío. Tap your tío. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> ketchup. And that's pretty much it. Once in a while, I may have a cracker. And then you sprinkle a little bit of lemon in or lime in it. Okay? And a dash of paprika. I'm only playing. So, other than that, Dom, what did you get? Open up your food, man. I hope right. you like it. Where is it from? Where is it from? Michi's. That's what it's Michi's. called. Michi's. Oh, same spot. Yes. From Michi's. We got a... I requested... Yeah. What we got right here is some um, carne asada tacos with rice and beans and I don't know, is it an Anaheim chile? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Anaheim chile. We got a lime in here. What is this? These look like little cucumbers. Yeah. Little cucumbers. Got some salsa up here. Yeah. Some salsa right there. And uh, I fucking brought from my pad because I knew I was going to want this shit. Uh huh. I brought some fucking crema, some sour cream. Oh, no shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, you eat sour cream with tacos? Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. He came ready. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I like sour cream on my tacos. Now. I was standing in line one time, bro. Uh, we were, as a matter of fact, uh, my homie, my homie Chuko from the Vinylix, Vinylistics, I brought him along. Yes. He was having a gig one time, and they had this taco truck outside the, outside the, uh, outside his gig. Okay. And he, uh, the tacos were pretty bomb, bro, and I was a little faded. I was waiting in line, and um, of course, there was some chicken back of me. And when I finally got to the front, I ordered. I go, I, I want a two carne asada tacos, yeah. and I told him what I wanted. And I go, eh, eh, can I get some crema on my tacos? You and, said that, yeah. And the, the bitch in back of me, she's like, crema? <laughs> Who puts fucking crema on their fucking tacos? Are you serious? I turned around. I go, I do. Don't fucking worry about it. Like, dog, I couldn't. I was like, yeah. I, I know plenty of people that like crema on their tacos. I'm one of them. Shit. For reals? All right, cool. I, Isn't that I, a saying when they say, no le pongas tanta crema a tus tacos? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I, I just was tripped out that she was like offended and shit. Like, uh, why would you worry about my shit? But she was offended. Like, right. it was going to hurt her. Okay. Uh, well, uh, she, well, something else would have hurt her. her. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, um, your boy Chuko, you enjoying those tacos, man? Oh, yeah. Gracias. Yeah, yeah. This place is pretty good. So right now, what I'm doing, I'm putting two what salsas we got here, two tap your teals and one um, and, and two ketchups. There's so, two different salsas here, and I want to I want to taste them both. Yeah, go for it. See what we got. Go here. for it. See what we got. Okay. Here, show them the ceviche. Oh, that's bomb. Ceviche, shrimp ceviche, shrimp. Okay. shrimp ceviche. That's what um Alex is having right there. Scrimp. So Alex, go ahead and crack that bastard open and let us know how it tastes. Crack that bastard open. Right. Tell him tell him who's his daddy now. Exactly, dude. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, I'm fucking, I fucking want to grub on this motherfucker now. That's pretty bum. Oh, yeah? Scrimp ceviche. I think the, the one with the little ro roasted chiles. Okay. Now, a lot of people may not know, a lot of people may know, Dom likes to cook. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Now, how often do you cook, man? Do you cook every day? I cook every day. No Once shit. Once in a big, the only time that I don't cook is if, like, studio sessions are getting crazy. Uh-huh. And I have, like, a maybe, like, some shit that needs to be turned in right. and I don't have time to be making breakfast and shit during that time. 
But for the most part, I cook every day, dog. Now Sometimes this, all three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, did somebody teach you how to cook, bro? Or, or was this just something you just had to because, you know, you moved on, you grew up, and got your own place? And Both my parents cook. They both cook. Really? Yeah, so they both taught me how to cook. No shit. Yep. Who's better, your mom or your dad? Uh, I got to say, and my dad would agree, my mom's the better cook. See, now, well, now, she, it's not that she's the better cook. It's that she just is consistent with cooking more often. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, he, he cooks it up, though, and, and he's, he's the one that barbecues and, you know, all that shit. But he still cooks. Like, he got his meals that he... Okay. Now, um, let me ask you this. I'm sure there's, there's things that your mom can do that your dad can. And I'm sure there's things that your dad can do that she can as far as cooking is concerned. Because my dad, you know, rest in peace, he used to be able to cook some some bomb-ass fucking food. My mom couldn't top him. Like, if he made some calabacitas, like some squash with cheese and tomatoes and a bunch of other right. shit, my mom couldn't do it as good as him. Oh, really? Yeah. So 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 they were, like, neck to neck. You know, say nose to nose when it came okay. to cooking. But my mom. Yeah, my mom's the one that does the calabacitas. She oh, yeah? taught me how to make, yeah, the cheese and tomato and all that shit. Okay, the next time I go over there, you got to make me some, bro. I'll make you some. Honestly, because I, yeah, I, I get down on the calabacitas. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, the la one of the last times I went to his house, he cooked for me, uh, what was it, spaghetti, pasta or some shit like that. Yeah. But it was really, really good. Yeah, yeah, so. we did spaghetti that time. And you know what's funny, bro? Uh, a, a lot of people may not know this, but a lot of great musicians, a lot of great artists are great cooks. You know who, who's also a great cook? Patty LaBelle. DJ Quick. Oh, oh, really? Yes, I've been to his house, and he's cooked to me several times. And I thought he was fucking lying. He even introduced me to his uh, purple onion. Okay. He, goes, he started schooling me, and I was like, okay, you ain't got to do all that. Just cook the shit, bro, and we'll eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it was all good. So he got, down in, he got down in the kitchen? Very good, bro. What, what did he make? Lasagna one time. Another time, uh, it was actually Italian. Uh, another time he made um, uh, spaghetti. But it, it was just with meat sauce, not necessarily uh, uh, meatballs. And then another time, he actually made some tacos de carne strada. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was actually pretty damn good. But he made them like that. Oh. Con crema. So. Okay, see. Anyways, dig in. Let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I get sloppy. Man. Fucking make sure we got some napkins yeah. here. Because I'll fucking have shell over the fucking place. <laughs> this is a, what do they call those videos where you can hear all the fucking crunching and shit? Yeah. ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> Alex, while we're chewing, go ahead and tell us uh, how your shrimp cocktail. Oh, the beans are bomb. Oh, let, before he tells yeah, yeah. about his cocktail, <laughs> about his cocktail. Yeah. If the beans and rice are bomb at a Mexican restaurant, uh -huh. then you know. You know what I'm saying? If the beans and rice are not bomb, then mm -hmm. what the fuck are you doing with a Mexican restaurant? Very true. So the beans were good so far. Tell us about the rice. Rice is bomb. Okay. All right, Alex. Oh, yeah, no, this is You really are permitted. Good. <laughs> <laughs> this is really good, actually. Mm. For me? It's a little spicy, but... Well, I'll come a little spicy. My shit's got to be spicy, okay? Now, I'll tell you what. For me... Oh, these some big tacos. Um, I can always tell tacos. if it's going to be a, a good Mexican restaurant by their salsa and chips. If the chip steaks taste fucking stale, like they've been sitting there under a hot lamp for six days. That's bullshit. Yeah, and the salsa's all watery, like paste picante, I walk out of that motherfucking room. Yeah, seriously. Bomb. Yeah? Mm hmm Now, what's one of your favorite dishes to cook, bro? Breakfast. Okay. Breakfast, and you, you, you're over here saying omelets or... Just eggs, bacon, or what? Um, I like doing um. Fuck, I like doing all the breakfasts. Okay, I like chorizo with papas. Yeah. Chorizo con papas. Yeah, a lot of people like to mix it with the egg, but I like to mix it with the papas and make the eggs on the side mm -hmm. with homemade flour tortillas, and then make make a burrito. You make homemade tortillas? Oh yeah, for real? Yeah, I do homemade flour or corn, but it's. It's a lot easier to do corn. Because you just pop, pop, pop. Wow, I don't the know. The flour ones, you got to let the shit sit there and fucking wait and then roll it out. And the corn, you just throw the, the masa inside the smasher and pop. Wow. You know, shit's ready to throw on I'm the really one. good at ordering out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Now, um, 
say you're on a hot date and um, you bring her back to your palace and she says, what are you going to cook for me? What would you cook for a woman on a special night? Like if you had to really whip something up. I would probably do uh, tacos. I would probably do tacos because okay. doing the, the corn tortillas and in front of anyone, in, in front of anyone making tortillas in front of them usually trips anyone out. They're like, what the fuck? You know how to make tortillas? Just like you got tripped out right now. Right. Same same thing. Same thing. You fucking, you're making the tortillas right in front of them. Mm -hmm. Taking them right off the comal, putting the meat inside and fucking serving them right then and there. It's, wow. it's, it's, it's a, it wins, dog. Wow. You won me over. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a winner. Yeah. Okay. What are you drinking now? Nothing yet. I'm about to make me a michelada in a minute. Okay. Now, I know um, I bought you the michelada mix, and I said you, you mix it with something else. Show us how you do it, bro. All right. Wait, let me take another bite of this mm -hmm. shit. I'm fucking starving. I'm one of those guys that take my fucking time with my food, bro. I'm like a little kid. I fucking take a couple of bites and then go run and play and then come back. People think I'm done eating. I leave it there. I'm still working on it. That's me. I'm one of those dudes that takes about an hour and a half to cook it and about two minutes to eat it. No shit. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. I took an hour and a half to make this shit. Right. And you fucked it up real quick. And dusted it in two minutes. <laughs> hmm. Now, as far as like... Try that motherfucker. See if it's any good. Bum. You know what I like? You know what I like eating raw, bro? Fucking sometimes chili serranos or jalapenos. Those are bug. Those are both bomb. The jalapenos got more of that kick. Yeah. You know what? I like making south side with hot, with uh, serranos because they have a lot of flavor and mm -hmm. they're hot. I prefer that than over the um, the chiles that are fucking super hot with yeah. no flavor, like uh, the habaneros. The habaneros, I, yeah. I feel like they're kind of, they're fucking hot, and the flavor's not as kicking as the serranos. Serranos have like a, they're good for salsa. You know, I had a Jamaican friend. No fucking lie. Este cabrón used to eat the habaneros like, like, like it wasn't like an olive or something. Like it was just like a little, Ugh. they go like, and I go, what the fuck? It is not hot, my friend. And I was like, <laughs> fuck that. How no. did he say it? It is not hot, my friend. He sound like an Indian guy. Yeah. He sound more like an Indian. Uh, okay, let me try to it remix it. It is not hot, my friend. Let, let me try to get my Jamaican. <laughs> How do you do a Jamaican one? It sounds like the OT Genesis song. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I got to hear Jamaican. I, I, See you what I'm saying? I'm, I'm actually good at doing them after I hear them. I got to hear them. All right. I feel real good today. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's song, no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make my michelada right now. Now, what kind of mix is that? About that you got on there? No, yours, the one you brought. Oh, this is a uh, shrimp based. Oh, okay. Camaronazo. Camaronazo. Okay, mm -hmm. spicy. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. Spicy. The spicy kind. Now, as far as spicy, spicy. Um, do you like a lot of your food spicy? Yes. Yes. Like whatever. That whatever. Uh, Anything that could get spicy, but my my uh, cousin makes a actually makes a jam with that's that's spicy. A jam? Mm-hmm. A jelly. It's it's a sweet jelly, but it's fucking hot as fuck. Hmm. It sounds weird, but it's bomb. Like a joy gel. <laughs> <laughs> a joy gel? Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. Fuck. Can you imagine that trying to spicy. use it? That wouldn't be the. That would not be. The winner right there. So <clears throat> we're doing Modelo. Is that your beer of choice? Yes. It used to be, uh, when I was younger, I used to do uh, Budweiser all the time. Yeah. Budweiser was my beer of choice. Not Bud Light, none of that shit, straight Budweiser. I still like a good Budweiser every once in a while. Really? Yeah, every once in a big while. But now I know that shit, I started noticing like uh, I would get headaches and shit the next day pretty bad after getting yeah. fucked up off Budweiser's. I can't drink Coronas anymore, bro. Those are the ones... Dog, I've never been able to drink Coronas. That shit's like drinking a fucking skunk in a bottle. Seriously. That's a good way of putting it. 
like a yeah. skunk in the bottle. It, it, there's, it doesn't taste good. It doesn't buzz you fast. Right. It just all it does is just get you bloated, fills you up, and and you get nothing from it. Okay. That was the beer that was always giving me hangovers. I haven't had hangovers in years, bro. And it, I found out that that was the fucking beer that was giving me the hangovers. So, no more, no more Corona. So we put a little bit of this. Okay. That's it's spicy. Mm -hmm. And then one of these. Blasto. You brought this guy out yeah. here. Yeah. Blasto. I never had this this one before. Pretty good. I like it. Does it got a kick to it? A little spice to it? I like it. Yeah. It smells good. It's real thick and it's got, you can see the little spices in there. He does it himself. He squeezes all the chiles with his feet. Oh, that lit. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to want to drink that shit now, well, well, that's what gives it the kick. Come on, I love Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> Remember I Love Lucy when the, um, the, the grape? The grapes. When they did, oh, yeah, there's. Perfect. When they did the grapes. Mm -hmm. did, I watched that movie the other day. Which one? The, they, they, they did a, like a, it wasn't a documentary. It was like, what, what is it called when they, when they do a story about the whole movie? I mean, about the whole life. Okay, w w was it with that one white chick that was, remember Tom Cruise? Yes. Okay, yeah. Well, what the fuck was her name? Ah, oh, shit. But anyways, tell us about it. Was it any good? Let's talk a little bit about movies. It was it was good because I was thinking, oh man, they got her to play Lucy. Bullshit. And she actually did a pretty good job. Really? Yeah. She did way better of a job than I thought she was gonna do. I was like, all right, she's Lucy. She did her pretty good. The attitude, everything. Lucy. She just didn't l quite look like her exactly. You know, she doesn't look like Lucy, but she still she got the What about Ricky? Did he did he play? He did good too. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they both did a pretty good job. I wow. was impressed. But I was like, ah, fuck, I'll give it a chance. Yeah, because I was this close to playing Ricky, and they said no. <laughs> <laughs> Your accent's not strong enough, dog. Yeah. <laughs> I gave him an Indian accent. So. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is good. Huh. This is bomb. That drink is bomb. That drink is bomb. Okay, um... I haven't seen it, Alex. I want you to post this up, okay? Has anybody seen the Tinder Swindler? The Tinder Swindler. I have it. Yeah, you, you, but you have you heard of it? No. Okay. I don't even know what that is. Post it up there. You know, like the like uh, the, the the channel um, Tinder Tinder Swindler. Tinder, like the dating. dating yes, guy? yes. It's a guy. It's about a fucking. I think he was a Jewish guy, pimping all kinds of women. And he got exposed, and they made a whole shit about him. Is it about, is he using that app? Yeah, he's using that app. He's not on there oh, no more. Oh, shit. Yeah. He's not on there no more, but he was getting a bunch of dumbass women believing his ass. It's a true story? True story, bro. Oh, shit. So he's going to put up on the live chat and let us know if you guys seen the Tinder swindler. Well, he ob that's obviously not that old of a story then. No, it just came out. Because Tinder's not that right. old. No. The, what is it, like three years? Probably. About three years old? Yeah. But but this documentary just came out not even a week ago. Did you get, did you delete your profile? Yes. Your Tinder profile? Yeah, I got rid of it. That's all behind <laughs> me now. Don't bring that up. <laughs> I was a Tony Swindler. Hey, people do got to do what they got to do to get dates, whatever. Okay, you know what's crazy about that that dating bullshit, bro? I don't understand it because there's hoes on Instagram right here. Okay, so why I don't, do you need that? Why do you need that? Yeah. There's a gang yeah, of hoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you got the whole San Fernando Valley over there. But anyways, uh, what I was saying is that um, uh, um, I had a friend that belonged to um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, and he couldn't get laid. So he joined uh, um, uh, Tinder. Did he get laid? No, hold on. I'm trying to tell you. He joined uh, Tinder. Nothing. Plenty of fish, because that was like a hot one for a while. Nothing. He finally got laid when he joined Christian Mingle. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking true story. I believe you, dog, because they say a lot of people. Maybe I just. I'll say it anyway, but they say a lot of people go to church and hook up there. Well, you know, I mean, look, look, let me be honest with you. Um, not everybody that goes to church, if you go to a Christian church, not everybody there is a Christian. If you go to a Catholic church, not everybody there is a real Catholic. You're going to have your Judases in there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're going to have them in there. 
It's all a given. You know, let's be honest, Dom. A lot of people say, <laughs> I, don't, I don't go to church because there's a bunch of hypocrites. But guess what? There's hypocrites at your job. Everywhere. There's hypocrites at the nightclub, in the studio. Come on, bro. Everywhere. Every, every fucking everywhere. Word. So that's I just mean, an excuse. It, 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 if your goal and mission is uh -huh. to do something, then you're going to do it. If that's your goal and mission, you know what I mean? Like people say, I can't find a man. I can't find a woman. I can't right. find this. I can't find that. It's because you haven't made it your mission. Right. If you make it your mission, right. and every day, it's like anything else. If you put your mind to it, and every day you concentrate on, on that's what I want to do. Like, like I right now, I want to get better at, at being a drummer. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to get better at it if I don't pursue it mm -hmm. every fucking day. At least even 20 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day. Even, right. even doing that every day, I'm going to get a little further and further. But if you don't plant any seeds, if you don't do it, you're not going to do it. Just like they're not going to get a wife. They're not going to get a husband, boyfriend, right, girlfriend, right. whatever the fuck it is that they want to get. If they right. don't, if they don't put any effort, it's not going to happen. People are, some people are just waiting for it to come to them. Yeah. You like, let her knock on the door. Yeah, they're like, oh, you know, if I, if I uh, manifest it. it or, I speak it into existence. Speak it into existence. And don't do shit. Right. I believe in speaking things into existence and manifesting, but you also got to go the extra mile mm -hmm. yourself and take care of it. And some people just, I don't know what the fuck, dog. No, you're right. Okay. Let me chew my shrimp and then I'll tell you the rest of the, of the Christian mingle. So oh, yeah, Christian mingle. Tell me, I'm going to hear about this shit. So, I found, we finally talked, and he was all excited. Hey, I fuck four broads. For reals? Yeah, I fuck four girls. Where? I'm thinking, you know, once again, Tinder, plenty of fish, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. No, Christian Mingle. I thought he was fucking lying. And he goes, no, I'm serious, Tony. This is what he says. They're not Christian. <laughs> 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 and I was like, no shit. He goes, this breath, this bitch, uh, her, her breath smell like corn. He goes, I didn't even pay for the motel. I fucked in the motel parking lot. I go, how do you, how do you fuck somebody in the motel, the motel parking lot? You know? He goes, they're not. The other one I took to the ESPN. Because like, I didn't want to spend the extra money to go in the motel yeah, when I had, could just take care of it right here. It's only going to be 10 minutes anyway. Exactly. He goes, her breath smell like corn. I go, Okay, whatever. And then uh, the other one. Smell like corn. Yeah. ESPN. Hey, there's a lot of worse things her breath could have smelled like. Yeah. Corn's cool. Like. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Corn teeth. Anyways. <laughs> but um, now, nah, bro. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. But uh, yeah. He said, I fucked her in the uh, uh, ESPN zone over there. <laughs> he, he goes. Uh, <laughs> The ESPN zone. Yeah, the and then another one, he goes, I, I just got to, oh, no, okay. I'm Did he really told you this? No, he's, no, and, and he was adamant about, but they're not Christian. I go, I, I fucking know, bro. He goes, and this other one, I fucked her in the mall in the bathroom. And I was like, what the fuck? Are you serious? He goes, yeah, that bitch was kind of gross because when I bent her over, she still had toilet paper in her butthole. <laughs> She had, she had blue dingleberries. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the old school blue tissue. <laughs> hey, didn't they call them uh, Klingons? Klingons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yo, that uh, bitch was nasty. She's not Christian. I, I know already. You ain't got to tell me that shit. <laughs> Yo, that bitch tried to lie. I got to go home and I got to go to church tomorrow. I was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, bro. So that, that was it. And then he started getting into like the whole, the whole of the world that, that I'll share with you later in the whole, the whole cuck world. Oh, okay. yeah. You're going to have to share that. We were talking about that shit earlier. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I have to get buzzed for that, for that motherfucker. Now, but yeah, dingleberries. Dingleberries. <laughs> <laughs> Blue ones. He goes, and then, he goes, and then there's one girl. He goes, I walk her to her house. We're at her, we're at her porch. He goes, and I, I needed some head because she wasn't trying to give it up. So I finally, you know, she told her to get on her knees. She started giving me head. He goes, I fucking came in that bitch's mouth. She gets up. She goes, oh, I got to tell you something. What's that? I'm married. <laughs> he goes, what the fuck does that got to do with me? My husband's going to be getting home anytime soon. You need to leave. He goes, I need time to wash out my mouth. Yeah. She wanted to say. Yeah. And then, and then she, he still had the nerve enough to tell me, but I'm serious, Tony, they're not Christian. <laughs> Okay. What about him? 
Like, was he a Christian? No, he just watches Joe Osteen, that's okay. all. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Let me ask you something. Have you ever lied about your nationality to get a girl? No. Never, Doug. I've had friends that, that, that have done that. Have you? Hell no. No, that's... <sighs> Why would I have to? I you can't know? even think of myself doing that. Okay, if you had to. If you had to. Uh, what would you lie and say that you are? Half this, half that, or just... Something full? realistic that they could actually believe? Uh -huh. Or if, some, yeah. just to say some shit? No, just whatever you want. If you knew that she didn't like Mexican guys or whatever... And you had a lie. What nationality would you pick? Fuck. That's a hard one, man. I'm okay. really, really. You got me really thinking about that. Huh. Would you say you're a Hindu? Like uh, no, Hindu? no, 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 no. I wouldn't say. I was How, what are you doing? I, I don't. I don't. It's not. I'm not believable to be. Uh, I could do not. I cannot say that. I do not think I would be Hindu. <laughs> you you I can, think you can? You know what? A lot of Mexicans uh, uh, can get away with being uh, Armenian sometimes. Oh yeah. Armenian. You know what? That's a good one. So you're Armenian. That's a good one. Armenian. There's a bunch of girls that are into Armenian dudes. Armenian. Yeah. So, okay. So I asked them. He goes, I can't be Mexican. I go, why? I never pick up on bitches. Why, why, why can't you be Mexican? I don't know. We just like we just have a bad name. So, so, who? Kn who we have a bad name. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, and I was like, okay, then what the fuck are you? I'm Colombian. Mm. I come from a drug lord family, and my name is Giovanni. That's a good one. That's what he said. Okay. I give him that. That's a good one. Yeah, and you know what he did? He slicked his hair back and put it in a fucking ponytail, wore a leather jacket, <laughs> even when it was 110 outside. And he said he, he was from Colombia. And you know what? He actually got girls. He actually got girls. Being a Colombian. Yes. Yes. So how, did he get any while he, while he was Mexican? No. No, he, he couldn't. <laughs> no. It, it, but as soon as he was Giovanni from Colombia... Yeah. So, guys, if you're out there and you're not getting any any bitches, there you go. You gotta switch it up. Say you're Puerto Rican, Armenian, you know, because there's a bunch of girls out there like Armenian dudes. Switch churches. Yeah, switch churches. Exactly. You know, one day you could become a Muslim, <laughs> Hindu. You know, hey, the world is yours. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't do that shit, bro. Mm -mm. I couldn't do that. What about you, Alice? If you had to choose something, what would you say? Um, I don't know. I would say probably Middle Eastern. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've been told that before. Like, are you Middle Eastern? I'm like, yeah, I guess. So well, what's the Middle Eastern? Being sarcastic. You know, how, how, how would you talk in the Middle Eastern? Like, uh, like the way I was like, talking a while ago? They, like, they're not making it specific to where... They're just like well, in a, somewhere, uh, somewhere there. Yeah, somewhere, they're generalizing somewhere there. Yeah. yeah, where the where the Hindus are and all that. You know what I'm saying? No, you can say you're Middle Eastern and you're from the East Side. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, see? You're so, fast. You're fast. Yeah. You're fast. Yeah. Bro. Okay. If I had a lie, what was Vladi Divak? Remember Vladi Divak? The guy that used to pray for the kings? Do you remember Vladi Dibak? No. Okay, well, anyways, I would just say I'm from... You would say you were him? No, I, 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 <laughs> I'm his brother. No, his brother. I, I, I'm from Budapest. So, <laughs> no, me llamo San Martín de Porres. That's what I would say. I'm from... Soy Español. That's what I would say. From Spain? Yeah. Why not? A soccer player now? Yeah, Martín de Porres. Yeah, soccer, so, so, soccer player? <clears throat> okay. Uh, so the Tinder Swindler, if you guys have not seen it, check it out. Okay, Alex, what are the results? Have people seen it? Um, <clears throat> 102 votes. Uh, 21% said yes, and 80, well now 20% said yes, and 80% said no. Okay, I heard it was really, really good. So if you guys want to get it. on Netflix? Yes. If you guys want to get any ideas on how to get money from women, watch that. <laughs> 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 the rhodium swindler 
movies. Okay. I've seen a movie, okay, and I want you to put this one up there. Have you seen The Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Netflix? Have oh, you seen it, Alex? The first one? No, it just came out. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like it. Okay, say it. Say it on the mic. I didn't like it. Why didn't you like it? Let's go. Because Let's go. It, it was supposed to be based on the real story, and they just went off. And then the guy was just... It was just too. It was too much of a bloodbath, and people were acting stupid. Like they didn't know where to go. You know, like okay. everybody was getting. Tra- I don't want to give too much away. But so they put their own twist on it. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's weird. It it makes no sense, and the way they killed everybody is just like I don't know. I didn't. You didn't like the way they died. Think, I didn't think it was. They could have well died thought, in a better way. I didn't think yeah. it was well thought out. <laughs> Instead of like this, they could have. They could have died better. Okay. It's like, it's like they needed something and they just came up with whatever. Okay. Let me say this. Is there such thing, Dom, because I know you you have a movie collection at home as well. Yeah. Okay. Is there such thing as just a cool movie? Like, you know what, Tone, if you're going to watch it, it's entertaining. That's all I'm going to say. You've seen movies like that. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. To me, Texas Chainsaw Massacre was just entertaining. Okay. That's all I'll say. On a scale of one to 10, honestly, I'll give it maybe between a five and a six. That's it. So ask him, Alex. Have you te- seen it or do you? Like yeah, have you seen it? The Texas have Chainsaw. Have you seen it? Tell me. Have you, seen- <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're going to do that. Every time we ask a movie, Chris, have you seen yeah. it? Yeah. That's what yeah. we're going to do it. You should. Okay. So the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on Netflix, check it out. If you got Netflix, I think it's entertaining. I think it's cool. Watch it with your girl. Have her sit on your lap. G string. Not got out and everything. And every time she jumps, grab her chichis. <laughs> every time someone dies. Every time someone dies. Oh time man, someone. you're gonna be grabbing a lot. Exactly. There's you, there's the green light. Even if she's not your girl, sit. sit, sit. <laughs> <laughs> Even if she's not your girl. <laughs> Tell me, have you touched her? Okay. There's another one that came out in 2020, and I just saw it. Check it out. It's called Dangerous Lies. Dangerous Lies. These are all Netflix movies. People always ask me, especially on Freaky Tales, do you recommend any movies? So I'm going to say uh, Twin- Tinder Swindler. Tinder is not a movie. That's more of a, like a doc. And then Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Check that one out. Uh, it's Even though you only gave it a five? Yeah, between a five and a six. It's entertaining, that's what I said. <laughs> then Dangerous Lies, I think it's good. Check that one out. And then there's Cleaner uh, with Samuel Jackson. Cleaner is kind of an older movie, but they just put it on. I think it's one of those movies that didn't, like nobody wanted to pick it up, so it went straight to like the video. So Netflix got it. Cleaner is about Samuel Jackson. He goes to murder sites. Say that somebody got fucking massacred in their home. He will, they'll, they'll hire him to go in and clean everything, bro. Every fucking little millimeter of fucking blood. Damn. So th- that's what he does. Again, he had to do that? It, it, yeah, he had to do that. You know why I say again? Um, I'm trying to think. Why, why on again? On Pulp Fiction, remember? He's like, oh, you oh, got yeah. me back here on Blood Detail, motherfucker? He y- was, you know what? Yeah, you're he right. He was all mad at Elton, uh, Elton John, at John Travolta. <laughs> yeah. He was all pissed off. He's all, I'm the one on Brain Detail, motherfucker. Man, he was all pissed off. Brain detail. Yeah, you're yeah, right. You're so right. That, they got that motherfucker cleaning up. They, they have him doing the mul- multiple parts, the same fucking. Yeah. Hey, bro, that guy is a fucking great actor, bro. I, I like I like him. He's a great actor. I like when he cusses. Yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 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 Pope Fiction, remember when he said, can I have a drink of that? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, can I, may I have a drink of your tasty beverage? Yeah, your burger. You know what they call a cheeseburger? And I was like, this motherfucker's good, bro. They were by El- uh, uh, why do I keep saying Elton John, dude? What's John Travolta. Can you imagine it being Elton John <laughs> playing that other part? Yeah, oh, John God. Travolta was good too. Yeah, he was surprisingly good. Well, that was that was his comeback. It was a great comeback for him. Yeah, yeah. After I that, I thought it was a good comeback. Yeah, after that, he did a bunch of other fucking movies, but that was a good movie. It was a weird movie though. Dog, I thought that movie. There's some. I tell people you either love it uh-huh. or you just don't fucking understand it. See, like if if you're a right. person that doesn't have patience, like if you're not a patient person, have you ever been with someone? They're like, oh, well, why'd that happen? Well, why'd that happen? And like, motherfucker, watch the whole <laughs> fucking movie to the <laughs> end, and you'll fucking know. You know what I mean? Well, why'd that happen? How come? Uh, how come he has a band aid in the back of his head? Mm-hmm. Like, dude, you'll find out. 
Or, or like, tell me what's going to happen next. Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> tell me what's going to happen. You both haven't saw the movie yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> I come to the movie with dudes that are like this. <laughs> oh my god! But you're like 42 years old. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the nudity parts. <laughs> They're all scared. I gotta remain faithful, bro. I can't watch. Yeah. My girl will get mad. <laughs> Fuck. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking Tinder swindler. Okay, let me see. Uh, all right. Dog, I fucking grub that shit. Yeah, okay. And that was me taking my time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Real quick, whenever you need another beer, let me know so that we can get I you some. another beer. So, gargoyle, <laughs> another beer. I'm about halfway done with this. Though. Okay, yeah, yeah, bring us two. Two, uh, uh, two apiece. Two apiece, gargoyle. Gargoyle. So. <laughs> Gargoyle. Gargoyle means what was it that she said? Gar gargoyle means No, no, I I am just playing around because that was a Chi Jin Chong memory. Yeah. That was kind of that one dude. Gargoyle. Gargoyle. Eddie Torres. <laughs> Remember you thought Meet Meet Me Eddie Torres. <laughs> E.T. Eddie Torres. Yeah, you know what? Uh, um yeah, bring me the two Pacificos, get him the two, Yeah, I do, I two do model. modelos. M modelos on me. He just wants modelos, that's it. Yep. Okay. Dom, uh, we're going to get into it right here. Okay. <clears throat> That's what she said. Exactly. If, <laughs> something almost slipped out. Okay. <laughs> Don't let it. Yeah, no, I know. She'll get pregnant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? You well, I'm a little bring, fast today. You need to bring the luchador. <laughs> Shit. And I haven't even started drinking yet. Gracias. No, no, not this one. You can't spill the tequila until you open the tequila. Exactly. What, does, is he a spiller? No. Say it. Say he, uh, it. He, he, he wanted to remember. You don't have to be nice because he's here, dog. You can yeah. actually say it. Exactly. Dom, you, you like horror movies? Yeah, I do, actually. Okay. But you know what? <clears throat> and I've told you this on other interviews be that we've had before. Yeah. I've been waiting for a horror movie to fuck me up and... Like a horror movie or horror? Horror. Okay. Not a horror movie. I'm not talking about Spank Gang. <laughs> now, um. No, I. Like the only, okay, the only movie that fucks me up, and I told you this before, is Exorcist. Okay. Because I know it was a true story. But yeah. other than that, none of those other movies I've. I have it. You, okay, they, okay. They, you know they're doing an Exorcist part two, right? Okay, supposedly what I read isn't there already an Exorcist three? No, that's where I'm where I'm gonna oh, go. Oh, they're redoing the first. No, this mm -hmm. is where I'm going with it. They're saying that the first one, that this next movie's gonna pick up after the first one. So fuck the other ones. I'm serious. It's kind of like okay. that should be the commercial. Yeah, exactly. So fuck the other ones. No. Fuck so the fuck other. the other ones. Exactly, just like that, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then. Ugh. <laughs> Fuck the other ones. Yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. She sounded just like her. Okay, just like Halloween. Let me explain Halloween. The last one that just came out. Halloween picked up from the first one. So they're saying, fuck Halloween 2, fuck Halloween 3, 4, 5, fuck the one with Busta Rhymes, all those. So, yeah. Busta Rhymes was on one of the Halloween? Yeah, God. Even LL, I believe. Yeah, he was. They were insane. I remember LL was by then. Remember Buster Rhymes? Yeah, he was in there too. He goes heads Don't up. Don't this make you wanna? Yes, exactly. Did he, did he do that in the? Yes, he did. Like <laughs> he went heads up with, with Michael Myers. Really? Okay. You know, he was like, "Put your hands on my eyes." You know what? I would believe he would. He could fuck my Michael Myers up now. You see how big that motherfucker is? With the juice, yeah. Dude, he's fucking huge. Well, I only see the Instagram page. I gotta see him in person. Yeah, that's true. So, because we seen dudes. <laughs> And girls. And, yeah, thank you. <laughs> fucking, fucking fat catfishing motherfucker. You know. Uh, bitch. Yeah, yeah, you see him in person, you're like, filter. where'd your muscles go? Yeah, and yeah, girl, yeah. Where'd your boobs go? Yeah, wasn't your face skinnier? <laughs> like, like. Wasn't uh, it your face smooth? Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? You can walk up to a girl with her profile picture and say, so that's you right there? 
Because right here, you look like fucking Pachanga from Carlitos Way. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just girls, though. It's, it's yes, people. I know. It's people. It's people. Yes, you're right. People be fronting. That's Ain't why they... Ain't you in your front. Hold their camera up. Like, I, was a, oh I wasn't lying to you. That was a photo of me. Okay, so you're talking about... <laughs> Michael Myers. Michael Myers. Me no like a Michael Myers. Okay. That was from, the last one is he from said, the first fuck one. fuck all the rest of them. Fuck all the rest of them. So that's how you got to understand. That's why people say, how is he going to fucking die? Just add up the shots from the first movie to the second movie. He only, he only got shot a little bit over six times. That's it. That's all. Six and over times. time, he healed. So, okay. You can heal after six, seven. Yeah, exactly. yeah. exactly. Okay. So Extra says, what are the couple, what are the classic movies? Culture guys. Culture guys, okay. Exorcist. Um, I would actually even say that movie about the doll, the very first one, is it, they, they got that as a, that, that's a classic. Chucky? No, not that doll. Oh, Annabelle? Yeah, the very first one. The very first one was, I thought that one was pretty good. Which was the first one? <laughs> hmm. I don't remember what the fuck it's called, bro. Hmm. I don't know. Alex, what, what the hell is it? Uh, uh, the, the, uh, not the Conjuring, right? Yes. That's oh. the first one. Okay. I mean, it's not the first story, right. but that's the first release. That's a good movie. That yeah, I would that's say I movie. would consider that a classic, even though it's not that old. Right. What about Insidious? You see that one? Yeah, it's a long a long time ago. I saw it. Okay. I barely remember it. What about Debbie Does Dallas? <laughs> you seen that one now? Huh? I'm saying fuck you because fucking almost fucking fucked your mic up right now with Michelada fucking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need that. Where's that opener at? Right here. Oh, that leg. Hell yeah. Get him in the headlock. Okay, Alex, uh, give the results of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Badass. Okay. I didn't even realize that that's what it was. It was uh, 76 yeah, votes. Uh huh. Or 78 now. And uh, the question is have you seen. Okay, the that's my cap in a whole lot. Mm -hmm. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And 33% um, said, yeah, I liked it. 26% said yes, but it was whack. 31% said no thanks. And 10% said I don't watch movies. They say that like that too, huh? No yeah. thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no thanks. No they're, thanks. They're, they're very about, kind. <coughs> what kind about people. Nightmare on Elm Street? The first one. The first one was good, huh? That one had Johnny Depp in it. Remember yeah, that one? Yeah. yeah. I like the first. I like Nightmare on Elm Street. I like the first one. Mm -hmm. I like them, but none of them fucking, like I said, none of them has scared me. I want one that's going to fuck me up. Yeah, I want one to fuck me up. So I'd be like, "Oh shit!" Dude, hey, but know. all right, I want to turn my lights off. But there's, yeah. there's like two kinds of scary, right? There's okay. the suspenseful scary where they put you in with the music, where the music just goes yeah. bing, and it's not, and you're like, "Oh shit!" And it's not even a scary thing, yeah. you know. It's just like the, maybe the door just swings. The open. music is everything in those. Yeah. And what's the other scary? Thing? And then the other scary is where it's a fucking monster chasing you, you know? Like, yeah. And and then I mean the music puts you in there too, but you actually have a visual of what of what's coming after you, you know. So like I don't know, because there, there's suspenseful movies that will make you kind of like jump in your seat a little bit. I think when they have a little bit of both of them is when when they put a little bit of both, best of both worlds is when. The all right, the all right, I'll put makes it. the movie pop. Good example. The last movie that ever made me jump. Okay, it was uh, Independence Day. You know when the alien opens up. Yeah. When they're cutting it open. All right, I was at the movie theaters, and they're cutting it open, and it just pops open, right? And that shit scared the shit out of everybody. Like everybody in the theater was. That was me. that's not scary. But, <laughs> all right, to you that's it's not. not you want to see something scary? Watch a baby be born. But, oh yeah. shit! <laughs> but I'm not saying it's scary. But with the loud, with you'll the see loud, something pop out of it. Everything. It's okay. almost the same thing. <laughs> it's almost the same thing. What about the old man? Remember the first one, the very first one, the old man, the one that came out in the seventies. No. I that was a real good movie. I recommend is it that movie. Scary? It, it, honestly, it, it, I'm gonna tell you how scary is suspenseful, scary because you don't know if that's the fucking the devil's son or not. And uh, um, it, it, I don't want to give it away. It like in '78, '76, somewhere around there. Oh, okay. But it was it was a really really good movie. Pretty much was this. Uh, I'll give it away, okay? Because most of you guys ain't gonna want to watch it anyways. Um, this man had a baby that was born, and he died. And uh, they adopted, but they made sure they gave this family, because they were wealthy, made sure they gave this family the right kid because they wanted somebody wealthy to raise this ASMR. kid. Yeah, to raise this kid. And he was the devil's son, the Antichrist. 
Oh shit! So they gave the hospital gave him purposely to that family because they were rich, so they wanted him to raise them. So, but it was a, it was a good movie. And then at the, at somebody actually warned the dad and said, "You know, you don't know, you don't realize who you're raising." He said, "Like who?" And he said, uh, "Go to, go to, while, while he's sleeping, look on every part of his head and see if you find a six 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 because that's the devil's son." And he did. Oh shit! Yeah. So now he's commanded by. Not necessarily commanded, but he's told if you don't, if you, if you want to stop the devil's plan, you're gonna have to kill that kid. Okay. Can you imagine having to kill your own kid that you've raised. Well, he was. Yeah, you're right. He was just maybe like six, seven years old, but still, he was a kid. Yeah. So and he raised him, right? Yeah, he raised him. Ah, that's. Funny. Now keep in mind, he loved him. Was the kid evil? Yes, he was. So like, he did do some. Yes, he, up like shit. everywhere he that kid went, that kid knew what the fuck he was doing. People were dying. Priests were dying, families were dying, and shit like that. So he took him to the altar, and he's about to fucking stab the dagger in his fucking heart. And throughout the fucking movie, this kid never referred to him as dad. So now the kid knew what was about to happen, and now he starts calling him, Daddy, please don't kill Aww. me. Daddy, yeah. And he couldn't, and then the fucking cop showed up and killed his ass. So the kid grew up to be the Antichrist. Oh, the cops killed the dad? Yeah. Because they saw him with the fucking dagger. Oh, so. that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. So there it is there. That sounds fucked up. Yeah. That's how the that devil gets you. Up. It's not just fucked up. It sounds fucked up. Yeah. But, oh, well. Okay, now, before I start drinking, got to finish up a little bit of my Coke. Yeah, my michelada number two. <coughs> okay. <coughs> there goes the birthday boy. What's up, Beast Scandalous? Um, for those of you guys who don't know, my son, Beast Scandalous, turned 35 to the end. What's up, big dog? <laughs> I heard you had a $150 steak a little while ago. Yeah. <laughs> $150 steak. Was that how Something much? Like that. It was a little bit cheaper. A little, a little cheaper? <laughs> a little cheaper. Okay. Yeah, he had to uh, nice. get but, that Wagyu. But with, ta with tax. With tax. Yeah. $25 shots. $25 <laughs> shots. Fuck all that. And you can come over here and get the bottle of BevMo for $50. <laughs> <laughs> pay for the yeah, you pay for <laughs> Fuck the sparklers. <laughs> so. You know, that's one thing that I can't stand when you go to Vegas. You, you could buy a fucking bottle of Grey Goose for like $50. Over there's like two fifty, and they bring you sparklers and women have butt naked. I'd be like, just bring me the fucking bottle. Spare the women. Fuck the sparklers. <laughs> <laughs> but some dudes be like, yeah, look, everybody's looking at me. I'm balling. <laughs> yeah, pendejo. You're spending all your fucking money. You know? I don't know. Can you do that? What? Like uh, overpay on a fucking bottle just so five women could bring a bucket with the bottle with sparklers so no, that no, everybody no, can no, see. No, 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 no. You know? That's not. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. Or even, even if you were shitting money? I, no, you know what? Because <laughs> no, I've had money I to shit. I wouldn't. And I didn't do that. Nah, I still wouldn't do that. Had to ask. It's a waste. I, I remember the last time I went to Vegas with, with one of my buddies, he told the girl, um, don't bring me none of that shit. Just bring me the bottle. You know, I'm not trying to draw attention to myself. Yeah, but those guys over there, they, I don't care about those guys. Let those guys have it. Yeah. So here's what happened. He ordered another bottle. Was, what bottle did they order? Oh, it's like a 700. I didn't ask you how much. What <laughs> bottle did they, did they order? Oh, it's uh, whatever. And I said, okay, bring me one. And then um, they just brought it to him. He goes, okay, cool. Meanwhile, they're bringing another bottle to another guy, and they're all celebrating. And then she says, you see, you could have had that. He goes, bitch, I fucking told you. I didn't want that. Okay? Some people just ain't, ain't about the attention. So <laughs> If this is a friend of yours? Yeah, I was there with them. Yeah, I was there with them. Then what were you thinking when, when all this shit was going on? No, I, I, I'm, I'm just like him, bro. I don't like that shit. What were you thinking, though? That I would have said the same shit. Yeah. Honestly, that I would have said the same shit. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't need your fucking sparklers. <laughs> <laughs> the 4th of July ones? Yeah, exactly. Those? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why don't you bend over and mete todo por el culo and then <laughs> walk backwards? <laughs> Into the wall. Yeah, exactly. So, anyways... If you guys like sparklers, put it on the live chat. So. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, sparklers. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's funny, dog. Okay. Now let me ask you a couple of questions, okay? And t tell me if you, if you believe in them. All right. Okay. Do you believe in time travel? <sighs> no. Okay. Well, it depends. It depends. I actually... Like you never took in shrooms? Not physical time travel, but I think you can still take people back. 
Okay, like with music, take with me music, back. Music, exactly. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I'm talking about physical time. Physically, travel. like I could just fucking teleport and shit. Yes. No. Okay. No, no because I think a lot of shit would have been solved. There'd be a lot more uh, lottery winners. Yeah, that's for <laughs> fucking damn sure. You, you know, there'd be a lot of people correcting their lives and mistakes if time travel traveler. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Now let me, let me ask you this question: If somebody let, let's just say that was true. And you were able to, like, let's just say, figure, figure out, go back in time. Let's just say even five years or at least able to see the numbers that won so that you can go that day, get those numbers, and win. You don't think they'll be suspicious if you fucking won five times in a row? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't win five times in a row. I'd win once. Yeah, exactly. Like, and then I'd hook other people up. Yeah. Like, to hook me up. Yeah, like, how That's, did you win fucking five yeah, times? Yeah, no. Just lucky. People are fucking retarded. You know? If they were to do that. I know. Just lucky. <laughs> yeah, but you got, like, $40 billion. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to travel the world and do good. So, I don't think it's, I don't think that they can do that. Now, 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 let me ask you this. Even if you, let's just say you won a billion dollars, hypothetically. You know, one thing I would not do, because I just think it's, I would, like, because one of my boys told me that I would buy, I would make my own casino in Las Vegas. I wouldn't want shit to do in Las Vegas. You know, would you buy a casino? No. No, not at all. I would no. Like, no, you, you know, believe it or not, I, I'd buy property and somehow, uh, Give certain numbers. Let's just say I buy a big ass fuck or several big houses. Okay, that's probably what I would do. Buy a bunch of pads and rent right. them out. <clears throat> rent them out, and even maybe once a year. Let's just say you get a, you do a ticket and you go to somebody who is um, who is less fortunate than you. Somebody who's struggling. Somebody who's poor. You got a ticket right there. Ticket right there. Ticket right there. Ticket right there. In two months, we're gonna spin it, and the winners gonna get the house for free. Oh shit! That's fucking nice. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you, look, yeah, that's it, super generous. You, you got so much money, bro. Your grandchildren, 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 not gonna be able to spend it all, bro. No. You know, so that's why it, it it really irks me when I've known waitresses that have waited on actors that are multimillionaires and they don't leave fucking tips or they leave a dollar or two that's in their fucking pocket. Yeah. You know. Now they don't necessarily have to tip, bro. But if they're fucking slaved on you and they waited on you and you can't break them off. La pinche verga. You know, I'd put those motherfuckers even on blast. Even the minimum. Even the minimum. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, see poor people tipping all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So. So you wouldn't buy the Spearmint Rhino chain? I'd have to. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to or think about Or the Mustang about Ranch it. chain? No. i will buy the Ron Jeremy cologne. <laughs> 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 okay. Back to the question. Playtime's over. Okay. Um. Reincarnation. Do you believe in reincarnation? Do you believe that when you die, you can come back possibly as a bird? Not an animal, but I think uh, you, I think I do believe in reincarnation. Like in, like you could feel that you might've been someone like years and years ago, their spirit could be in you somewhat. Like if you ever notice that something rich, like that, rich people always say I was Cleopatra in another life. Like bitch has been like 20 Cleopatras yeah, this year yeah, already. Yeah, no. You know, nobody's ever said, I think I was a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was a piece of shit. I think I was a shit maggot. Yeah. I think I was a worm. He <laughs> stepped on me. I you think know. I was a dust mite. <laughs> yeah. Gerbil. Richard Gere, that was me. I was just going to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Isn't it funny how that rumor got around and we had no social media back then? That shit got around. Everyone was, bro. Uh, you know what? I think what, what turned it around too were the, the guys doing all the, the, jo the right. stand-up jokes on the, the late night shows and shit like that. Yeah. Once You know, once it hits those guys. And I know, they, it's over. Back then, they were kind of like the social media right. people. People would be watching the night to get all the cheese med to see what's going on in the world from them. That was the... Okay, well, here's what I don't understand. Highlight. Okay, well, at the time. you grew up out there in the 805. I grew up here. What was the story you heard about the gerbil? I heard that uh, they were just saying Richard Gere, you know, had 
what was it that he went to, he had to come out of the hospital hospital yeah. because a gerbil uh one of his women and i was thinking he was at with cindy crawford at the time shoved the gerbil up his ass okay here's what i heard pretty much the same but let me give a little bit more detail whether this is true or not they were saying that rich people get off on that shit. I guess they 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 uh, fucking shave the the gerbil. They hold him by the tail and then he stick it up somebody's ass and he scratches. <laughs> and he just for reals. Yeah, he just you're not me, you're not no, fucking. No, bro, that's what I heard. You're not joking. I'm not joking. Do and, they lube the gerbil up? Of, a of, bit? of course. And then they just, whoever's <laughs> holding the tail is, is just bringing them back and forth. So. <laughs> That's yeah. fucking nasty. For, for that, for that. That's fucking nasty. Dude, I'm glad I finished my thumbles. I, I, I mean, I would have thought by now somebody would have came up with a nice gerbil launcher. <laughs> <laughs> for that itch, just can't scratch. <laughs> Imagine putting them in like a little tube. Like. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> so. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> that is um, truly fucked up. Okay, do you believe <laughs> that certain dreams um, could like? Can you that you believe you can receive messages in dreams? Yes, for sure, for sure. That's okay. Give me one. I think um, like one that I've had, or some shit that I know. Oh, uh, anything that you know, anything you might have heard, whatever. Um, I think I think certain dreams mean certain things. Okay, like uh, like I think uh, I have a certain meaning to it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like like if you dream, uh, like if you're falling. Okay. They say that when you're falling in your dream, if you hit the ground, that you can die in real life. Shit like that. I've heard shit like that. Have you ever been shot in a dream? I have. Yes, I've been shot in a dream. Uh, I've shot of, someone else in it. But yeah. Bro, I, I had a dream that I shot someone one time, and I was like tripping the whole time. I was like, fuck, where am I going to hide? What am I going right, to do? Right. Where am I going to go? Fuck. Here's the one, the dreams that I do I hate. fucking... The Tripping. dreams that I do hate are the ones when you're about to bone and you're you're rubbing it and you're about to go in and all of a sudden you fucking wake up because they say, ya levántate cabrón. <laughs> no, five more minutes. Five more minutes. <laughs> and then you never go. I had those dreams. You didn't even get to wet the teeth. Nothing. Not, nothing, bro. Not even the gerbil. The ger I couldn't get the gerbil on turn time. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, bro. Oh. Nothing. I mean, maybe just an up and down <laughs> between the pink taco, but that was a little dry hump. Yeah, he's with a dry hump in. Yeah, no. So yeah. Well, what would be worse to for to be woken up then, or to actually penetrate and get woken up right before you're gonna nut? <clears throat> They're both evil. <laughs> <laughs> Right before you're gonna nut, because if you're like, huh, 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 if it sounds like a fucking like a tennis match, huh, 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 you know, <laughs> and you're like, ay wey, ay vengo, ya levántate, cab, no, wait, what did you do? You wake up, it's one of your relatives, your grandpa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mijo, do you know who I was with? <laughs> do you know? <laughs> <laughs> so my Hayek was oh, in the room shit. with me. Oh. Just till dawn. Hey, that would be fucked up. Yeah. She had her toes in my mouth. That would be fucked up, yeah. That Come on, up. Mijo, you owe me. <laughs> 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 yeah, fuck that. Breakfast is on you. Let's go. You owe me. Yeah, look at I'm still hard. <laughs> <laughs> she had me peeled back and everything. So anyway. Uh, smell this, bro. It smells nice. I like it. What is it? This is uh, Casadores Blanco. Look at Casadores Blanco. It smells good. It does, bro. It's I'm Casadores Blanco. Blanco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
people would <laughs> dog their people would they'd be taking a major advantage of that shit all these things they would be taking major advantage of okay i would can you imagine i Being, know exactly I'll be right back. Let me go get that shit from Spain. Dog, I would have came here. I would have been here right away. Yeah, no, no traffic. traffic. Fucking sucked. Well, how long was it? How long was the fucking ride? Hours. What should have been, what should have been three and a half hours took about a little, about four and a half hours. Yeah. Two fucking car crashes. Damn. Two fucking, yeah. I would have rather have uh, teleported. It's Balone over there, homie. It's Balone over there. We got to give him the usual. That shit warmed up my whole. Huh. Yeah. Numbed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What the fuck is that? What about a shapeshifter? What is that? Tequila. Is it a different one? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. different than the one we just did? Yeah. yeah. So. so it's a different mouthwash. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Okay, what about shapeshifter? A, a person with the ability to change their oh, physical form. I've seen form. lots of people already do that. Oh, you have? In front of me. Yeah, they... You see them on Instagram, then you see them in person. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shapeshifters. You got a fupa, and then in the picture they did It's it. gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Makeup. They got those filters with the makeup, and then you see them like uh, two minutes later, and there's no makeup. You know what I mean? Have you ever been, have you ever taken a picture? A chick's like, here, take a picture with me. And you take a picture and all of a sudden you fucking see makeup on your fucking face. You're I, like, hey, bitch, turn that fucking filter <laughs> off. What the fuck? You both are all fucking you got eyelashed out. Around. You got the fucking eyelashes and shit. You're like, bitch, turn that fucking filter off. What the fuck? I no, can't you take look cute. No, I don't bullshit, look cute. Take bitch. that shit off. You it's, just don't look cute without it. it. That's what it is. Bitch, you look like Frankenstein in the back. Turn that shit off. Turn that shit off. You, you know what gets me about that shit? And then they try shit? to tag you in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck that. You, you yeah, know, so I do believe in the shapeshifters. Yeah, yeah. To me, if a girl will not let you see her without makeup, there's a problem. Think about that for a second. I don't have a problem with that. So you, don't, no. I encourage. No, listen to what I'll, I'm saying. I will encourage someone to put the makeup on. No, I, well, sometimes it's always good. Put to, the makeup on. Please put to, the fucking makeup yeah, on. To paint. Please. It's, it's okay to don't paint. Don't ever to, let me see you without it. That, ever. But that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know. Sometimes no, I encourage it. I mean, Alex wears when makeup every once in a while. I stick to that shit. I encourage it. Yeah, so, so I was just talking to my homeboy about that earlier, wasn't I? Yes, he was. Doug, we were having that on the on the way over here. We were having that conversation. I was like, dude, I prefer it. Like, yeah, I prefer it. Okay, now, but you 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 want to see it natural sometimes. So no pool parties like for you? No, <laughs> no, no pool party. No, you know what? I I, I like girls that would, they don't have to that you don't have to wear makeup, bro. Like honestly, and then when they put on makeup, they look better. Don't put on the makeup to look better. You know, like like no makeup. Many times a woman is, if she's got that, got that natural beauty, I want that, bro. You know, uh, there are women out there that have just have natural beauty. And that's what I'm attracted. I'm not. I'm not attracted to fucking makeup monsters, bro. Like if you take all that shit makeup off and, and you look like Sylvester Stallone, up. I'm good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm good. It, I, like, I don't mind the makeup monster. You know, it, it, I don't it, mind the makeup monster. Nah, if you see hey, yo, like, nah, fuck all that. Just don't, if you're if, if if it's a makeup monster, just don't let me see you without it. See, but that's the thing, though. Can you be in a relationship with a girl like that? Yeah, they have they have uh, places where they can tattoo it on. <laughs> Baby, just don't take off your makeup, please. I don't have no makeup. I'll turn off the lights. <laughs> Get up an hour before me. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Get up an Fuck hour before an me. Hour. That's cool. Okay, I encourage the makeup. I'm telling you. Okay, do you believe that someone could see the future? <sighs> yes. Have yes. you seen the future? I've seen. I've I've jumped forward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay what about um no i i but this is what i believe i believe that there's multiple futures give me an example because you lost me with the gerbil Go it, it, <laughs> <laughs> i lost the gerbil you lost me with the gerbil you know. i lost the gerbil yeah where, you, where did i lose the gerbil at uh, if he ends up in a hospital <laughs> or did, or he, did it get shoved he got the, he got the gerbil launcher ready so. I believe there's multiple futures and you could, depending on what choices you make, the futures can change. So if you're looking into the future, it's what future you're going to be looking into. 
it's kind of. Can you go back to the future? <laughs> <laughs> Your shoes and tied McFly. Yeah, exactly. Hello. Okay. Um, <laughs> Your shoes and tied. Okay. What about this? Um, could you read or would you read the Satanic Bible if somebody gave it to you? No. Okay. Why not? The because Satanic Bible. I feel like um, you're opening doors that shouldn't be opened. I feel like um, you're practicing. Any, anytime you take it, anytime there's material and you're looking at it, you're it's a practice. Okay. Like would I'll give you a good example, even though it sounds hypocritical because we were talking about scary movies. Okay. I feel like when you're watching, uh, okay, I'll give you a good example. Have you ever seen the church channels where they have the exorcisms? Yeah, yeah. Have you ever watched one? Yes. I feel like watching it is a practice. Okay, I like you're watching it and you're 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 putting something in your brain, whether you know it or not, because your brain has like a bunch of folders and you're storing shit in those fucking folders. So later on. The shit, the material is still in your folder. It's like a, it's, it's something that you received that you put into. Yeah, you're your, not going to be able to get rid of it. You're not going to, you're exactly. Yeah, you so don't practice it. You've practiced it. You know what I mean? It's, I see what you're saying. Like man. anything you, when you want to learn something, what do you do? Yeah, you study it. You read it. You study it. You read it. Yeah. And what happens? It stays with you and you can use it later. Right, right. I, th I feel the same way about, you know, demonology and all shit like that. Like you read it, you look at it. It stays in your brain, and you can retrieve it whenever you want. Right, right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that memory about the gerbil will never go away? It'll never go away. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Whoever gives money on the live track gets a free gerbil launcher. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay, now what do you Courtesy believe in? of Richard Gear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rich, uh, Gear Enterprise. Um, uh, um, uh, haunted houses. Do you believe in haunted houses? Yes, definitely. Really? Yes. Okay, what about haunted apartments? Yeah. <laughs> You're a dick. I'm just oh, asking. Haunted condos? Haunted places. Haunted cars? Haunted places. Okay, now here's another one. Here's a good one. <laughs> Do you believe it? It's fucked up. Haunted apartments? Yeah. The haunted ghettos? Yeah. Haunted projects? Yeah. Haunted a haunted whore. Okay, now... <laughs> <laughs> That bitch is haunted, eh? The double H. Haunted yeah, horror. Yeah, exactly. Tonight on Haunted Horror. <laughs> Can we dust out the spider webs? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyways, I almost said something. Uh, anyways. um, Don't say it. Yeah. Do, do, do you believe that a person could be demon, demonically possessed? Yes. Do, now, do you believe a person could be demonically possessed and not know it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I know I think, I think that happens all the time actually. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's punching air. Anyways. Don't say it. Okay. Ears are ringing. Yes. 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 Okay, now 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 here's another one. Serial killer. Okay, do you believe Okay, if you receive a phone call. Wait, say it again. Serial killer. <laughs> okay. Okay, um Say you get a you get a phone call, ring and you answer. Hello, this is Dominator, and then he goes, "How you doing? This is San Quentin uh, uh, Warden, and here we have uh, five individuals, six actually six individuals that are being executed executed tomorrow. They're big fans of yours, and they would like to meet with you, but you can only meet one. So one of them is Richard Ramirez, okay, Jeffrey Dahmer, Charles Manson." Ted Bundy or David Berkowitz, son of Sam. You could only meet with one. Richard Ramirez, Jeffrey Dahmer, Charles Manson, uh, uh, Ted Bundy, David Berkowitz. You can only meet with them for one hour and you can conversate, eat with them, talk with them, whatever you want. All right, uh, Ricardo. Okay. Yeah. Richard Ramirez. Yeah. So say you walk in and he sees you and he looks at you and he says, DJ Dominator, I'm a big fan. As a matter of fact, your love is bomb. <laughs> <laughs> now, what would be some of the questions that, you know, you would ask them? Oh, oh, let me ask you this. Could you eat with them? You only got one hour. Like, can you sit across from him and like... Yeah, I'd be able to eat with them. Okay. Yeah. So they take their handcuffs off and he's just staring at you. I'm a huge fan of yours. 
Um, anything you I would ask me? him. Yeah, I'd ask him what his favorite album is, what his favorite song is. I'd I'd want to know what he what type of research he's done. Okay, and and let's just say he's able to name a lot of your shit. Central Coast Click, you know. I liked your Rebels, uh, uh, all would, your albums. That would trip me the fuck out, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you're a huge Prince fan, so I know you got to be a freaky motherfucker, just like me. <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, and he goes, see, we're no different. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I mean, I wouldn't check him. You yeah. know what I mean? No, we're different, motherfucker. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't check him. I would just. So anything else you want to ask me or say? I would tell him that. Yeah. Oh. That's what I would tell him. I would say, you know, he wanted to meet me, remember? Mm -hmm. So I would let him ask me questions. I wouldn't I wouldn't ask him about, well, you know, did you like doing what you did? That because I he, did you, I, I don't want to know if he liked doing what I I don't want to know. He if, would. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't want to know. I don't want to know that shit. I don't want to be freaked out. Right. There. You know what I mean? If we're there to fucking chill and okay, so have now, some lunch and shit, you know. Right. How's your pizza? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now he he <laughs> asks you questions like this. Do you believe everything they said about me in the news? Well, do you want me to have believed everything they said about you in the news? They're going to kill me tomorrow, sure. Why not? Are you proud of everything you did? Very much so. I believe everything <laughs> they said about you in the news. <laughs> and there's a lot more stuff that I did that they don't know. Oh, now I have a question for you, did you, Dominator? <laughs> D is this you asking me or is this Richard? Richard Ramirez, I'm 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 trying to okay, play along Richard, with me. Yes, sir. Ricardo. Okay, so and then he goes D for DJ Dominator D. Let me throw in another D in there. Devil, <laughs> do you believe in the devil? I most certainly do. I believe in the. De I didn't say I worship the devil. I believe that there is a devil. That's what I believe. I believe in it. Do you want to bow your head and allow Satan into your heart? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> No, thank you. Um, <laughs> he can make your wildest dreams come true. He can make me the best producer I've ever fucking been. I, I'll stay the producer that I am. You'll never get anywhere in life. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll take nowhere in life. He can get you more money, more pussy. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll, I'll take where I'm at right now. He'll thank take, you. He'll take a higher than Instagram. Offer. I appreciate it. Now, now, what if he just said, I have one last request. I want you to do a funk beat, but I want it to be called the Night Stalker. Oh, that actually sounds pretty dope. Huh? Yeah. Think about that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds pretty dope. You have somebody dance, but you put Richard, Richard Ramirez's head on the video. <laughs> so he's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's keep it pushing. Okay. If you can meet one of these singers and have a conversation with, you choose conversation with or watch them in concert. Ooh. Okay? Conversation with them, watch them in concert. Okay. Prince, Michael Jackson, Marvin Gaye, Bob Marley. Damn, that's fucking fucked up. It would be Prince, of course. Okay, let's hold on to that one. Let's go over to Raza. Okay. Selena, Richie Valens, Vicente Fernandez, Juan Gabriel. Selena. Okay. Well, Selena. Yeah, Selena. What would be one of the um, questions, if any, that you would ask Prince? You didn't ask if I wanted to see him mm. perform or... Perform in a trench coat, G-string, and boots. Or if I wanted to have a... <laughs> if, I, if I have a conversation yeah, or with a com him, does he has, still have to be dressed like that? Yes. <laughs> oh, come on, dog. <laughs> Bulge included. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. fucked up. Okay, so if he's dressed normally. Yeah, normal. <laughs> you know, with his glitter jacket or whatever. Right, right, wearing, right. I'd, pro I'd probably, uh, I was about to say conversation, bro. Okay. But watching his interviews, he had some weird conversations with people. Okay. Do I get front row seats if I get to watch him? Yes, or, or, or backstage. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. Because he, you've seen his interviews, right? We'll yes. See. Yes. You don't know what the fuck you're going to get from him. You right. just don't know. It's like a gamble. But mm -hmm. with the concert, it's not a gamble. You know you're going to see some dope shit regardless. Right. I would, I would take the show. Oh, shit. All right. I would take the show. Okay. Because I know what I'm going to get. 
with a conversation you don't know what the, he could just be there going having fucking some chick and whispering in her fucking ear and she comes and talks to me and comes back uh, and whispers in her ear. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't want that. Now, what if he was singing Purple shit. Rain? I wanna see him pre- fucking right. perform. Okay, so you're in the front row. You have your eyes closed and you're crying because you're watching Prince. <laughs> I gotta be crying. Okay, right. he's singing Purple Rain. All of a sudden, something hits you. And you're like, what the fuck? And you look and it's his G-string. <laughs> Why you gotta ruin the concert? Why you gotta ruin the concert? It's all hypotheticals. I I, I warned you. Yeah. There had to be a fucking fucked up edge to it, huh? There had to be a fucking. You know what I mean? He goes, let's, let's move on to fucking goes, Selena. That's for you, kid. Let's move on to okay. Selena. I'd have the conversation with her. For reals? Yes. Okay. What would you ask, if anything? What would I ask? No, okay, I'll tell you what I would do. I get multiple questions? Whatever you want for an hour. Fuck. First thing I would do is ask her to sing to me. I would ask her to sing hmm. her favorite song to me. Okay. I would say, sing your favorite song to me. Okay. Okay, and then she did. Let's just say she did three minutes. She sang it. Damn, three minutes? Yeah. So it's not 30, three whole minutes? It's three That's minutes. Dope. That means I get 57 fucking seconds, 57 minutes whatever, left. Yeah. 57 minutes mm-hmm. left with fucking Selena hmm. after three minutes of singing. Okay. Fuck, that's a deal. Okay, now, say that you start your own podcast. Okay? This has to kind of do with Selena. You start your own podcast from your place. And let's be honest, nobody's fucking watching. You got maybe three people, and those are your homeboys right there with you, logged in. And you're like, you're suffering. You're like, what the fuck? How come nobody wants to log in? So all of a sudden, you get a phone call from somebody from your homeboy from Texas. Hey, bro, I'm going to put you on game with somebody. This person wants to do a podcast with you, and it's going to take you over the fucking top. Channel 34 wants her. Channel 52 wants her. Channel 11, Joe Rogan. And Le- Channel 120. Larry King, yeah, want her, and she just wants to do your interview. Who is it? It's the lady who shot Selena. She's getting out of jail. Oh. That bitch. <laughs> would you interview her? Yes or no? No, no, I would not. Okay, good no, answer. I would not. I would not interview. Good her. answer. I would not. I fucking despise that fucking bitch, dude. Okay, good. Good answer. Okay, now you get another phone call. Hey, what's up, homie? What's up? Who's this? This is so and so. All right, what's going on, man? I got. I got you an interview. What's so and so's name? Give so and so a name, dog. You can't Fli- just say so and so. Not Felipe. It's Felipe. <laughs> 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 Felipe. Okay. Felipe. Okay. Pay. Yeah. He, hey. Not pay. Pay. You need another beer? Felipe. Yes, I do actually. Okay, okay Mijo. Or, or one of you guys, can you get him another beer, please? Gargoyle. Uh, uh, modelo. Yeah. Porfas. So, okay. So now, yeah, I got you, guy. I got you. He's going to take you over the fucking top, homie. Okay, who is it? Takashi69 wants oh. you. You know what? I might interview him just to be a dick to him. Okay. Yeah, I'm a rat. Just to fucking pressure him. Put, I snitched. It's out there. Dog, I wouldn't want to interview that fool, dog. I just... I, I can't. I hit every high note. It would be hard for me to interview someone that I don't respect. Okay. What about the Island Boys? Would you interview Would you interview the Island Boys? I don't even know who the fuck the Island okay, Boys are. Okay, see, it's okay, so let's not even go there. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Who wait, who are the Island Boys? Gracias. Uh it's it's too it's too long and hard uh, to fucking. Okay, um, no, 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 concrete did a skit, so okay. just go check out Concrete. Okay. Okay, yeah, so concrete's now that's my boy. That's my boy right there. Okay, here we go. Um He he's the one he did the concrete did the throwback Sundays video. He's the one that filmed it. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, but I'm trying to fuck. You guys fucked me up my train my of bad, thought, dog. bro. Sorry. Okay. Thought um, we were in the interview, not done. <laughs> I got the interview okay. thing mixed up with So here's either. another one. He goes, the wizard. Um, somebody knocks on your door. Wizard. Who the fuck is it? Don't worry about it. Open the door. So you open the, what the fuck? We were watching, dining with the wizard, and you said something about a certain individual, and this person said, you know what? I want to talk to him. I want to get the facts straight. Who is it? He wants to come and... On your podcast. Who is it? Richard Gear. <laughs> I would interview Richard Gear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, what if he brought a box? <laughs> a little box, okay? And, it, and he just hold that. You just scratching in it and yeah. shit. Okay. Would you ask him what's in that? It's like. Good, there you go. He has it right there and. <laughs> fucking see it moving around. I'd be like, Richard, what's in the box? 
He goes, you want to see it? Or you want to feel it? I want to see it. Show it to me. Bend over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You got, you got to lift up my flap. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck all that. Okay, a couple of more questions, and then uh, we'll get into the cuck scenario. Okay, stop with the gerbil. Shit. That's just <laughs> annoying. <laughs> you, 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 believe, you believe Bigfoot exists? No. Okay. I've never seen it. I've seen girls with big feet. I've seen girls with big feet. Yeah. So, yeah. So, oh, big. you know what? Now, let me ask you this. Here it oh. goes. Here we go. I can tell just by your tone, dog. All right, let me ask you this. Forget it. You ruined the moment. No, <laughs> ask it. Go ahead. <laughs> Are girls with, uh, are, do you have foot fetish? Do you like girls with pretty feet? Yeah, of course. Okay, now. I don't like to see, a, uh, uh, what do we call them? Uh, girls with, with uh, that don't take care of their feet. We Wait, call them hash brown heels. Hash, oh shit. Hash brown heels. You know, hash, yeah, you know yeah, hash no. browns are like scratchy? Yeah. yeah. You don't want to see that. That's what's, not, that's no, not. What, what's cracking other than your heels? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think girls with fucking demon feet. I'm like, Feet. Yeah, like what the fuck? Who, like who, uh, boomerang? Who's, yeah, who sent you Lucifer? Remember boomerang? Yeah, yeah. When he lifted up the blanket, he was like, "Oh Ooh. shit!" Yeah, bro. Seriously, to me, it's a deal breaker. If a, a girl could be beautiful, but if your feet look like you've been kicking rocks all day, yeah. I'm good, homie. Yeah, if, or if they smell like you opened a uh, Frito bag. Yeah, no, no, no Doritos. <laughs> Dorito bag. <laughs> Frito, oh, Dorito, God. whatever. Pick your poison. Yeah, exactly. So, hey, no, like one of those chips, the, those. Those chips, you know, I remember those, those chips? Packy right? chips? <laughs> no. Which the, chips? The, the the puffer fish chips, remember those? <laughs> Dude, I don't know what those are, but you said puffer and fish in the same <laughs> sentence. What are puffer well, fish chips, dog? I don't know, bro. That's on him. So. Oh, are you the only one here in the no, room that knows about those? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I tried them. They ate on him. Why'd you act like you didn't know what the fuck they were when I just asked you right now, motherfucker? I, I was just kidding. Come on, dog. Hey, hey, you know you know what's one of the best things that you can do to a girl? Honestly, walk up to her and say, hey, you know what? You're fucking beautiful. Why, thank you. Then go, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my homie used to do that. We would be cruising around, and he would fucking pick the finest chick, and we'd drive up, and he'd be like, Dang, you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, dog. I swear. I swear. Hey, hey, he would do this shit too. He would pull. We'd pull up to a to a chick, and there'd be like a a, a carload of chicks, and we'd pull up, and he'd be like, he'd roll his window down. He go. He would go. Excuse me. Do you have any gray poupons? <laughs> No, no, you know what you do when you suck. I'm not going to put them on blast, but. If you're a fat guy and you're watching, try something. It works every time. Oh, I've been okay? to put this down before I spit it Here's all Here's what you do. Place. Suck in your gut, put it in your chest somehow. Walk up to the girl. Somehow. Excuse me, uh, where's the gymnasium? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> it works every You'll get laid. <laughs> you got to go. Yeah, exactly. Hold your breath. Excuse me, where's the gymnasium? No, oh, don't worry about it. I'll find it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, okay, now. Uh, oh, God. Okay, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, feet. Okay, yeah. Feet. Yeah, girls with pretty feet. Okay, yeah, so. Uh, puffer fish. Feet. Puffer fish. Yeah, pigs So, is, it a, is that a deal breaker for you? It, oh, definitely. Most definitely. She, she got to have pretty feet. I don't give a and fuck. And after that? Well, first of all, she's going to be beautiful. But Okay, let's say the, the feet are nice. The nails are painted. What color? Uh, French pedicure or all white. All white. Okay. Yeah. But for, after that, then what? What do you mean, what, then what? Well, there has to be something after that. You no, no. just it, stop there. No, but no, it starts with the face, the body, personality, but that's the cherry on top. Oh, that's what you look down at last. Last. So last. you're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Exactly. Fuck. Yeah. God. Damn it. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to tell you a line that I know a bunch of girls heard before, okay? When the guy's like, Psh, hey, Reina, Psh, hey, chiquita, Psh, hey, Psh. stop, get the fuck out of here, motherfucker. Psh, and then the guy goes like this, fuck you, I got a girl anyways. <laughs> 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 fuck, fuck that whore. <laughs> you know, they're always whores when the guy can't get them. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. I, I, I fucked her. No, you didn't, bitch. Yeah, I fucked her. That's my friend. He was right there. Well, I'm looking for a lime. Too. So, put my lime right here? you know what? I got a small one right here. That a small, do you, do I, got a, I got a do small you? one. Yes. Not me. Yeah, I, I got a small one. There you go. I didn't touch it. I didn't so. touch it. Okay. Okay, let me bring it. Alex, do we ask any I, questions? How am I going to squish this? Sh- yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, they're okay. It's, the it's question two, ju- <laughs> two drops. Two little drops and shit. No, that works. <laughs> Earlier we were at, we were talking about sparklers, remember? Oh, yeah, I asked the that. question, do you like sparklers? Uh-huh. 124 volts. Um, 45% hell yeah, perro. And, chal- and then uh, 55% said chale, chale full puro M80s. So it's about half and half almost. Yeah, they prefer See? 80s. So there's people that want the sparkly, the sparkly sparkly bullshit. To walk up but, to the ass. Yes. But 55% want M80s in there. Oh. Hey, I'll take it if someone else pays for it. Exactly. If someone else pays for it and say, hey, Dom, it's your birthday. Here yeah. you go. And a bunch of bitches come up with sparklers right. and fucking champagne right. glass and all that shit. Thank you, homie. You know what, though? I'll tell you this. Tell I me. agree with what you said earlier. About? But. but about the gerbil? No, oh. but no. <laughs> About the sparklers and okay. shit. Like, right. I, I wouldn't pay for that shit. But if it was my homie's 21st birthday or some shit like that or 40th birthday, okay. I would pay for the bitches. It's for a the celebration. For him. Because it, it, it's a celebration. For right. Him. I no, get it. I wouldn't let them bring that shit up to me and want to pay for on it. On some regular ass day. No, on a regular ass day. But right. if it was one of my homies' like birthdays or whatever right. the fuck or some shit like that, okay. I would pay for them to go do that. Okay, you guys heard him because my birthday is March 28th. <laughs> <laughs> no, all of a sudden, Tony likes sparklers. sparklers. All of a sudden. No, or, you can just buy me some snakes. Remember some the snakes? snakes? We'll light them right here on the road and radio. Yeah. So. Some snakes. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Um, I have to ask, do you believe in chupacabras? You know what, Doug? I, honestly, I don't know much about them except sand suckers and i don't okay. know what, it, it, i don't really know that much about it i i know one i, I met one <laughs> don't say it yeah but they call her chupa don't say it. cobra <laughs> chupa y cobra definitely y cobra. yeah she sucks in charges sucks in charges <laughs> chupa y cobra. she sucks in hisses yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cobra, yeah. Cobra, yeah. <laughs> Chupa and Cobra. Chupa and Cobra. Cobra. Yeah. Cobra. Okay. Okay. Now let me ask you this: Is this that tequila? Yes. So this isn't the same shot that we had earlier, right? Yes, it is. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, is. I thought you had a different bottle. Oh, no, that's but, the. Yeah, different we haven't bottle. tried that one yet. Okay. We got to finish this one first. Anyways. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone else here want shots? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. All right. Um, now let me ask you this: Are you oh, big, or have you ever been? A big strip club guy. Mm. Yes. Actually, when we would do a... Every time we would do a... When we first started uh, touring with Central Coast Click, Uh every time we'd go out of the state, we'd try a new uh, strip joint. Hmm. Every time. We'd have to. It it didn't matter which state we were in. We would just walk into them, check them out, try them. Go ahead. Which strip club... Which strip club would you say was the best one that you went to? I want to say... Which uh, state... What state was Mine it? was Atlanta. Doc, I've never been to Atlanta, but I heard the strip clubs there are Magic City. Mad crazy, dog. The first time I seen women yeah. straight butt fucking naked, like it was going out of style. It frightened me. Uh, Washington, actually. <laughs> yeah. I saw nalgas that were bigger than my apartment. Mine was Washington. This was called the Dolphin. No oh, shit? Yeah, it was fucking cracking there. Why? Dog. The women like, oh. It was just upstairs, downstairs, the place, just the place itself, dog. Just put the women aside for a second. Uh-huh. Just the place itself was immaculate. Like the structure, the fucking the furniture, everything was like, what the where the fuck am I? Yeah, dog? Yeah, Is yeah, this yeah. even a strip club? Yeah. And then when the women came out, all of them were bombed. All of them, like top eight. Okay, now let me ask you this. Here's another one. For all you guys watching, listen and learn from the Dom. That they call him Dom for a reason. Okay. Can you take or have you ever taken a woman to a strip club? A woman to the strip club. If women, you haven't, women have came with us to the strip club. Yeah. I didn't tell them you have. Do you want to come with us? Yeah. No, they're like, can we go with you guys? Yeah. All right. Yeah, they've rolled. So you would never say, can you come with us? You would never say that. No. Okay. No, it's up to them. You know, roll, roll. You don't you know, fucking stay your ass in the van. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, do you think you can enjoy yourself and, like, let's just say you're dating someone and you you, you tell her. I'm going to go to the strip club with my boys, okay? And then she goes, can I go? 
Yeah, why not? All right. All right. Will it trip you out if she said, can I get a, a lap dance? Because I'm not... <laughs> How? The whole fucking time. <laughs> I'm not fucking like that when I go into a strip club, dog. I'm not I'm not chasing chicks in the strip clubs. They're, they're there to do their job. Like, right. I have a lot of homies that when we go to strip clubs, they fall in love. Like, Oh, my God. You yes. know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, like, bro. Oh yes, yes. Hey, hey. Oh, no, no, she likes me. I, I know. She likes me. I know. Hey, motherfucker, let me fucking... You got to pull your homie to the side in school. At least... Yes, bro. Tell him a little bit, and maybe he not, might not believe you, but at least you tried. Those are the type of guys that you, you know cannot I mean? convince them that they're drunk. Uh, I'm no, not I, drunk. I think Hold she on. likes me. Yeah, bro. I think she likes me. Bro, she's, she's, he's, he's like this. He's gonna, he, I'm going to wait outside for her. I know she's going to come out. She's, she's getting dressed. She's going to come out. <laughs> she gave me her number. Yeah, and then when you drive it home, motherfucker's like... <laughs> like, and then you take him home to his wife. <laughs> Fucking dumb motherfucker. <laughs> motherfucker spent the, wife. He spent the whole checkasito over you know there. What I'm talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Dumb yeah, fuck. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, uh, when I go in there, I know I know what it is. I know they're, they're hustling. Buying $50 shots. They're like, they're like yeah, uh, so what do you do for work? You know what I mean? And you could give them the most shittiest job in the world, whatever that would yeah, be. Yeah, like, bitch, I don't work. I don't even carry ID. If you, 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 tell, them, you could tell them, uh, fucking sh I fucking sweep shit off the fucking floor of McDonald's and there's a bunch of rat shit in there. Oh, wow, that job sounds so interesting. It, yeah, of course, of course. Everything is fucking interesting. I'm a to butcher. Them. Motherfucker, like, are you blind? You can't yeah. see that everything yeah. is. I'm an ice crusher, los tres cochinitos. <laughs> <laughs> everything will be interesting, dog. Like, and you tell your homies that and they don't believe you. They're like, no, she really likes me. No, bro. Oh man, and then they come back the next day, like at twelve uh, before closing time. I'm gonna <laughs> wait out here, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm no, gonna, I'll stalk her out. I'll stalk yeah. her out. No, bro. You cannot convince she, him she, that he's drunk. She has to come out with security and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, and there's like fucking 10 other dudes right there fucking waiting like him. Yeah, like, right next like to him. bro, I know she came out security, <laughs> but if you remember, she didn't, she wasn't rubbing on you the way she was rubbing on me. Yeah, we just, we would just, Yeah, motherfucker, would you spent $500 on yeah, her. Yeah, exactly. Dude, the, the whole paycheck. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I, I, no, I've been with homies that, pit, that goes, spent their whole paycheck. I may be broke, bitch, but at least my shit was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Build me back, homie. <laughs> Said your motherfucker. She didn't even touch you. I know, but the way she was rubbing, she peeled back all the uncircumcised yeah, foreskin. Yeah, I, all I, of it. I tore. <laughs> I tore. <laughs> yeah. I tore. Yeah. She ripped me. She ripped me. <laughs> Talk about Leatherface. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm the women thing. Chainsaw Massacre. So, anyways. I want to try that one. Okay. You could try that one. Alex. Gargoyle. <laughs> Gargoyle. Yeah. E.T. Eddie Torres. Yo, we're only fucking around with my boy Alex, so we're having a good time. So, now, okay. Uh, where's another one? What's another one? Uh, what did you just say right now? I said, what's a good one? What's a good one? We oh, have okay. a, okay. uh, do you believe in crystal yeah, balls? Like you yeah, no, not, not regular balls, but crystal balls. Crystal balls. Yeah. Crystal Balls. That sounds like a stripper name, actually. Coming to the stage, yeah. it's Crystal Balls. balls. <laughs> Fellas, get out your ones. <laughs> Crystal Balls is trying to put her children through college. So guys, round of applause for Crystal, Crystal Balls. balls. Crystal it? Balls will be in the back, and VIP. Yes. $20. Two dollars a lap dance. And then they play, your love is bond. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, they, have, they played my shit at the strip club before. I'm not lying. I swear well, it is it. strip club music, bro. It's, it's dope, dog. I, I love it, bro. I love it. It's strip club music. Okay. Uh, crystal Balls. No, see, they uh, got to play the Atomic Dog 15-minute uh, version. Atomic. <laughs> okay. I mean, do I believe that they work? Because I know no, there I, are I, some. I, I, do you believe that people like sit there and like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, your next album's going to be a fucking hit. <laughs> Do that again. Do oh, that yeah, shit. oh yeah, yeah. Your fucking next album is gonna be a fucking hit. <laughs> uh, man, I've never seen no one do that shit in front of me, so I don't. See, I had an old forty nah, ounce with dirty really, water. I, I, I can only go by. It. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. 
What I, about, I just give that one. A do you believe witches exist? Not yes. witches like you know, you know, Halloween hats, candy corn, and broomsticks, but like real brujas. Yes, yes, definitely. Okay, for sure, for sure. Okay, all right. I've met some. What about La Llorona? Oh, you did? I've met some. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> it's all behind you. It's all behind me. Did you experience it? I've experienced. <laughs> Is it all free tales or should it be for days? <laughs> okay, what about, um, do you believe La Llorona? <laughs> yes, I do, actually. I, do. I know there's one bitch that cries for everything, but it's not La Llorona. <laughs> yeah. So. There's, a lot of, there's a lot of bitches. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's this place, there's actually this area that, uh, uh, I'll let you guys get it out of your system first. Let me drink this while you guys finish getting it out of your system. <laughs> She's probably punching air, eh? <laughs> there's this area that we, that we live in. Um, I think it's uh, right between Oshano and Napomo in the back. There's a back road, and they say when you're driving down it, it's uh -huh. probably in every town. They probably say this in every town, but it's uh, closer to the wrecking yards. And you're driving down the road, and your car will fucking stop, and she'll fucking walk across the street. No shit. Yeah. She What's she wearing? She walks across. The <laughs> <laughs> a purple G string. <laughs> <laughs> and she looks at you, and she goes, ow! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking having a great time. Okay, what about out-of-body experience? You believe that shit? Yes. For reals? Yes. Have you ever done it? Yes. Really? I've had an out-of-body out experience before, yeah. Wow. Drug addicts have out-of-body experiences. No shit. A lot of them do, yeah. Uh, I think uh, mm, uh, the drug, a lot of heroin addicts have said that they have uh, the drug. And the thing about heroin is that it's not a hallucinogen. Mm -hmm. So if it's a hallucinogen, you can say, yeah, right, no. Right, 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 right. But heroin's not an, a hallucinogen. It just it's a, it, it releases endorphins. So they say that a lot of heroin addicts feel themselves come up and look down at themselves. Either that or they're on a good one. They're on a... <laughs> I, I kind of believe it, bro, because heroin slows down the system. You want to try it? It's, no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> Why are you trying to fuck my life up, dog? Dark oil. Bring the heroin. Dark oil. Bring the Alex, <laughs> bring the black tar, homie. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Don't lie, don't lie. Yeah. Okay, what about... Um, do you know what a succubus or an incubus is? I know what that movie is. <laughs> okay. You guys look it up. Suck your bus, ink your bus. Suck your bus. Yeah. Lick your bus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Suck your bus. Yeah, and we'll answer that. Suck her bus. Yeah, exactly. On Lick her bus. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Lick her bust. You know what? Suck your bus. Lick her bust. It will be a dope funk song. Suck your bus. <laughs> ink your bus. So, okay, cool. Um, tarot cards. Like, like, like. What if she just threw them on the fucking table and she said, "Oh no." Your shit is fucked. You would, know what? Would I, you say, like, reshuffle that shit again? <laughs> it is what it is when she, when she lays them out. I believe in that. I do it believe in that. It is what it is. I, if, if, if the person's legit, because there are some the uh, phony people out there that don't know what the fuck they're doing. What if she just laid them out and goes, oh, no, you got to drop another 50 if you want it. Oh, uh, no, then she's full hey, if, if it were me, I'd make her do it, like, three times, and, or more, maybe four, or see what For I confirmation. Get. Four out of... Four out of five. That's what she said. <laughs> for, for confirmation. I'll make her do it three times. Yeah, I need Just confirmation sure. three hey, or four times. Did you times. get one of those too? Yeah, exactly. Did you get one of those? No, not yet. I'm still drinking this. I'll wait for you to drink that. Finish Why? That. You, wanna try, you want me to try one of those? I want to drink that by myself. No, I know, but we still got them. Oh, okay, okay. So. Well, I did want to try that one. So. So it's, I guess it's on me by myself. It's on you by yourself. That's okay. I know. I'm supposed to go down in the trenches with you. Oh. <laughs> that one tastes a little sweeter. Huh? Right? Am I tripping? Yeah. No, it is sweeter. That's what she said. Like what? This one does? This one. I like this that one. That one tastes like it's a little sweeter than that one. That one slaps you in the face, Loki. Oh, shit. Well, thank you for That one tastes like good pussy juice. It wouldn't be the first time. So, what, what, what tastes like good pussy juice? That one right there. Yeah, this one smells like caramel pussy juice. Let me juice. see. <laughs> if she's light skin, it tastes like. If she's a little dark, this one. So. <laughs> harder, huh? Yeah, it is harder. Kind of grabs you by the boo boo. Yeah, it's harder than that one's smoother. No yeah. wonder, that's why you're sticking to that one, nah, huh, mean. fucker? Nah, I mean. So, yes. So, of course. Mm. You're the one. I didn't convince you. I just you. wanted, why well, seen it? I wanted to fucking taste it. I'm like, you know what I mean? Hmm. Okay. Wanna try, you want to try all the new shit. 
You know, just okay, we're going to get into the fuck it, what everybody wants to hear. The cut question. The cut. The cut. <laughs> give me, give me cut. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to start with. Alex, I need you to ask on the live chat. Do we have anything that we ask on the live chat? How come it says that? What? 15, 12. That's the time. But don't worry, I'm going to restart it. Uh, oh, I no. thought that was I how much you had left. No. I haven't asked nothing. Okay. Ask, are there any cucks on the live chat? Okay. So. So I, I'm new to this. What the fuck's a cuck? Okay. I had a homeboy one time cuck. that and when the pandemic hit. Cuck. Yeah, that one. Cuck old. Okay. The pandemic. Yeah, okay. the pandemic hit 2020. And I was chilling with him for a minute, and he just kept telling me, like, he told me the story. And he was always on the phone. I was like, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, you fucking whore. Fuck you, you fucking. And I was just like. In front of you? Yeah, in front of me. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Fuck that fucking bitch. I'm her fucking master. She's my fucking slave. Hey. And I was like, the fuck? He goes, yeah, I'm her. I'm her master. And I go, what, like, like masters slave. of the universe? What are you, He-Man? Motherfucker. Like, and then he was like. <laughs> so he was like, yeah, he was, I'm her master. What the fuck does that mean? Well, she's married, and her man lets me fuck. Now, wait, 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 what? Yeah, her man's a cuck. And he's not the master. N not, yeah, so I was like, I'm confused. You don't know this tone? I'm like, bro, I don't fucking know this. 2020, I'm an old dude, barely finding out about this shit. He goes, her man can't satisfy her sexually, so he found me to satisfy her. So I'm her master. She submits, and she obeys me. What is she called? Slave. She's the slave. He's the master. Yes, and, and then you have the cuck. He's the cuck. He's the mandilon. He's the, the, the guy, husband. Is the, the husband. The viewer. The, the viewer. And not only that. So that's like his porn. Thank you. Yeah, that's his porn. His wildest dreams is to watch his lady with, with another man. So he sits there, according to him, at the corner, butt fucking naked, on his fucking knees, wearing a cage on his cock. <laughs> and a cage? What? A, a cage, like. Like a little cage? Well, we're not talking about like a bird cage or a dog cage. We're talking about like an actual. I didn't know that they actually made cages for your cock. What the fuck would that like a look chastity, like? Like a chastity belt, right? I, I Is guess. Is it so. like a little metal? Yeah. So that, that fit, well, it just it depends how, how big fit, or small yes, you are, right? Yeah, that fits on your cock, and uh, you usually give that key. It, it, does it have length so that no, if you get no, a hard on? No. No, you got to think about it. If you get a hard on. Yes, I know. That's the point. Yeah, that's the point. What's the point? If, that you you're not, hard, if you get a heart on, that shit's going to hurt. I'm not a teacher at this. I'm just sharing a story. That's the okay. Point. So it's it's the size of his dick, period. And it stays like that. that it it's not going to grow. So it's the size of his dick when it's not hard. Yes. Yeah. That's how the, that's, the size of the cage. That's what he said. Yes. That's fucked up. So and Because if you get turned on, that yeah. shit is not going to be fun. The master holds his key. So who's the master? The guy. Who's born in his wife? He holds the key. He holds so, the key. So he the says, cook. "Hey, the cook. when I want to unlock you, yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. So, but you need to watch me fuck your wife. I'm not going to unlock shit. Right. That type of shit. Yeah. So yeah. So anyway, it's confusing because it took me a while to understand it. I I, I get it now. Okay. So I now the whole picture. The wife was calling my boy. You need to hurry up and bring the fucking key back. He's had it on for three days. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So she was like, "Fuck you, bitch! I bring him back whenever I fucking want to." He was, "I'll be back. I, I'll be back. I gotta take go take the fucking key." I go, "You're not supposed to be on the fucking street. It's the pandemic." But the bitch don't understand. I'm like, "You might get COVID, you cuck." So anyway, <laughs> you cuck, COVID cuck. So anyway, so the, so the viewer is the cuck. That yeah, yeah, he's the cuck. Fortunate man, right? That had, well, he chose that. So. He chose that. He chose that. So it's not that poor and unfortunate. Right. He knew what he was. Yeah, that was his he porn. Knew what he was in for. Lock your shit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't touch Is her. Is this your first time telling the story on air? Uh, I think second or third, fourth time maybe. I don't fourth know. For the, well, uh, this is for the people that haven't fucking yeah, seen it yet. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> that was it. So and one time I shared, I said I think Snoop Dogg must have been the first cuck <laughs> because he said it ain't no fun if the homies can't handle that. Or Nate. Nate. Or Nate. Nate. Yeah, one of those. Rest in peace. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Anyways, um, or so the master would he be the master? No, he would. No, no, no. no. Would he be the cuck? No, if if you <laughs> tell your boy, "Fuck my girl," you're the cuck, homie. It ain't no fun. Yeah, right. You know, okay. So go ahead. Yeah, it ain't no fun. Have go some. Ahead, go have some, homie. You're the cuck. I'm the cuck. Have yeah. some. And the guy who's having some is not only the master, but he's the bull. Yeah, for Nate Dogg so. was a cuck. 
So, Fuck! Uh, <laughs> it's the ball. <laughs> Fuck. They call me Tony the Bull Gravano. <laughs> you know what's crazy is I've been drinking that one the way you're drinking that one. This is that one. You, I feel like you have to take little sips of it. Simon. <laughs> yep. This one, I feel like you could, you could throw them, you can throw them back. But that one over there, See. I don't know what the fuck it is about that shit. I feel like I have to yeah. sip on it. It's battle. Oh, there's battling. Yeah. Oh, so you fucking lose it. Do you lose yeah. it when you're on that shit? No. Hey, bro. But you know what? We've been educating people here on cucks. On cucks. Like, you, you trip out how many Not people. Not on cunts, but on cucks. On cucks. You, on you, cucks. Be, you be tri- We made cucks a household name. A household name on Dining with the Wizard. Is it anything? It's not, It can't be anything similar to a gimp, right? Okay, what's a gimp? I think, educate me. I don't know what a gimp is. Not I, a simp. I, I can't say. But a gimp. Not a simp. A simp is 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 a like, like a crybaby. Oh, baby, I'll do anything for you. That's a simp. A sissy. There's a name for that now. Right. Right, right, he's right. considered a sissy. But he'll, the, he'll even wear G strings. See, I never knew what a gimp was until I watched once again the movie we were talking about, Pulp Fiction. Okay, educate. Remember when that part, that part where the, uh, Bruce Willis was in the fucking, he was locked in that shit in the basement. Okay. And they they said, bring out the gimp, and they brought that leather guy oh dressed out God. with a fucking ball in his mouth. Yes. And, fucking, and he was hanging there. I'm assuming that's. That's a gimp. So he was a leather guy with a ball in his mouth, and he fucking couldn't say shit, but he was, like, guarding it. I don't know what if he's, like, a sex slave or what the fuck that what dude is. What the fuck is that, bro? Like, you, you know, it's crazy that these motherfuckers. Let's look up that shit. It's crazy that these, that these motherfuckers are into that shit, bro. I'm going to look up the gimp right now. Who wants to be in all fucking le- patent leather with a ball in their mouth? What is a gimp? Look at dictionary.com. Put it right Noun. U.S. and Canadian offensive. Slang a physically disabled person, especially one who is lame. Slang a sexual fetishist who likes to be dominated and who dresses in a leather or rubber bodysuit with mask, zips, and chains. Damn. Yeah, it's in oh, Google. Uh, Damn. Okay, she it. explained it's, it. It's yeah. a dominator. Like detailed. It's dominator. Come on, dog. <laughs> What the fuck? I, I dominate. No, he dominates, not I gets don't get dominated. dominated. I dominate. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 yeah, exactly, bro. Come on. That shit is crazy, bro. Oh, now we know what the gimp is. This motherfucker wearing patent leather. And she whatever. fucking said it, like read it out for me. I know. With the yeah. fucking ball in his mouth. Like, what do you get with that fucking ball in your mouth, bro? <laughs> Seriously, what do you get? I mean, I know girls are like, you know balls. what you get? You get silenced. Yeah, exactly. And you know what? Your homie, your bottle opener a is gimp. a fucking gimp. Shit, I'm guilty. Your bottle opener. It's a fucking gimp. I'm guilty. It's a gimp. Get out the gimp. Fuck, bro. Yeah. So, okay. Um, I always it, want to know what the fuck that was. Okay, you, hey, Alex, do you know how to spell gimp? G-I-M-P. Okay, now, can, can you, you really get, know how to spell that shit? Is that how you spell it? Someone spelled it right here. Yeah, okay, but okay. that doesn't mean they spelled it right. No, no, hold Let's on. See. Alex, hold on. what are the results to the cuck? All right. Listen, listen to the question. What is a gimp? <laughs> hold on, watch. G-I-M-P. G I M P, yeah, that's yeah, what like they pimp, wrote. but a G. Yeah, okay. Somebody wrote, I have a, I have a gimpy leg. I have a gimp in my restroom. Hold on, hold on. What did he say? <laughs> he said, I got a gimpy leg. But okay. Anyways, Come right on. Right here it says, uh, Are you a cuck? And a uh, cuck? 46 of 46 votes, 21% said, Hell yeah, you can have my hyena. See? And uh, 79% said, Charlie Fool. <laughs> Charlie Fool. Okay, so yeah, there are cucks. Charlie Fool. Cucks are alive and well on planet Earth. Cucks. So, okay, Gimp. Uh, ask gimp. the Gimp c- question. You're going to have to uh, uh, involve the Gimps in your show now from now on. I, well, I want to interview a since cuck. You, since you got a Gimp right yeah, here. Yeah, I want to interview a cuck. Get and, out and, and, and if you're a Gimp and you want to be interviewed, you can wear your whole costume. I don't give a fuck. To, you know, so that way we protect your identity. Oh yeah, so, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you but you, you can't wear the to, you can't wear the the ball because you won't be. You able to have talk. to wear the ball and then you pull it out when they're ready to talk. What if he gets fucking babas all over my fucking table, bro? Don't matter. <laughs> the fuck don't hey, matter, dog. You, that's why you have shit like this. You know what I mean, you open it up, take the ball out the mouth. You're like fucking. And the babas fall everywhere. You got the babas all over the fucking. <laughs> All right, everybody. Yeah, you, can't, you can't fucking pull out the gimp and not have the full experience, dog. Come on. Okay, they, you got me dropping fucking. They call him Dominator for a reason. 
So, anyways. Pieces of fucking limon all over me and shit, trying to explain to you what to do with this fucking gimp. Okay, now. <laughs> can you be a bull? If somebody said, Dom, I like your name. You're a dominator, and I'm looking for somebody for my wife. And then he showed you his wife. Can I be the And she was beautiful. Can you be the bull, like the master of her, while he sits butt motherfucking naked with a cage on? I don't think I could do that, dog. Like... Anymore or? Yeah, it's it's out. I, that's the past. <laughs> it's all behind you now. Nah, could you? Fuck no. Yeah, I don't think I could perform with another man in the room. Even if you played, it ain't no fun if the homies can't handle them. I mean, back in the days, like when you're you have your homie right. sticking someone and you're sticking someone and you you guys got to share like the the same bedroom and shit like that. That's different. All right. But like when someone's just sitting there watching, saying, "Let me see." Yeah, exactly. Imagine yeah. he did it. And he plays all I want to do is zoom, 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 and <laughs> <the> boom, boom. <laughs> hey, the homie's getting off on you more than the high note. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he must work out. Yeah. So. Nah, I don't. I couldn't do that, dog. Are you juicy? Yeah, exactly. Hey, there's people that are into that. There's people that like both yeah, parts that want to be. <laughs> Performing and people that like want to watch, they just want to watch. I don't know, bro. You, um, what do you mean you don't know? You're the one that brought this shit up. Dog. No, I know I brought this shit up, but I'm just saying <laughs> I don't know in general how people oh, can I do you, that. I got shit. you. I got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Like, I thought you meant I don't know. Like I don't know what no, you're he, talking about, Dom. He's not. A, I don't know what the fuck. Why are you talking about this, Dom? Hey, you know what? You know, That's what I thought you meant. Instead right? of pop life, cuck. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do that one. You know how many cucks will buy that shit? Cuck life. Yeah, that shit will go. I should would go platinum in Turkey. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, yeah. Everybody needs someone. Yeah, exactly. Cuck life. life. We all want to have fun. <laughs> Cuck life. There you go. <laughs> Produce, you produced by the penetrator. I mean, Let's dominator. You got that cuck life. <laughs> the Terminator. <laughs> no, Tony. Just made a spoof out of a Prince joint. Mm -hmm. Pop life. He calls it, he calls it cuck life. Cuck life. Cut life. If you guys are out there. And um, if you're, never mind, I was going to yeah, say something. I'm not, I'm not yeah, he, say something. Don't say it. You encourage me not to say it. Don't I'm say it. I'm not going to say it either. It's okay to say a gobble gobble. But anyways, um, all right, let's keep it pushing. Um, we talked about cucks, gimps. Cucks, gimps, uh, cages. You better. I want to see next next uh, dining with Tony. I, yeah. Dining with the wizard. Yes. I want you to bring the gimp up with your next guest. So you got to. Well, I'm trying to encourage them to come forward. You got to keep the ball rolling, and then whatever they bring up, you got to bring that up with the next. He goes. Did you say ball? Ball. <laughs> <laughs> You okay. got to keep it rolling with whatever, with, with whatever the next guest brings up. Like that's yeah. the sexual weird Okay, ass once again, if you're a gimp, hit me up at rodingbrader.com and I'll book you. Um, bring and, out the gimp. And if you're a cuck, hit me up. Like, but you better be an open cuck, okay? Don't, want, <laughs> don't come over here wearing a Zorro mask or anything like that. Yeah, like, no, I want you to identify be yourself. Be proud of it. Yeah, be proud of I'm it. A fucking cuck. Yeah. Own cuck. that shit. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, and then what we'll do, I'll set up a football game between the cucks and the bulls. <laughs> And the gimps. <laughs> the cups and the gimps. No, the gimps are the refs. So. <laughs> oh, the gimps are the refs. Yeah, so, right. yeah, that would be dope. That would be like... Submit. Like Jehovah's and Mormons playing football. So. <laughs> Anyways. Um, fuck, what can we talk about? We got a couple of more minutes. Let me... Uh, I always say that. That's it? That was fast, dog. No, no, let's keep going. When you told me about uh, uh, coming on and doing the show, I was like, what the fuck are we going to talk about? You see? And I was thinking, current events, dog. I don't even watch the news. Yeah. I don't watch the news. Thank God Tony didn't throw no current event at my ass. <laughs> Shit. I would have been all her. <laughs> what? A current event? Exactly. What the he, fuck's a goddamn current event? <laughs> you, you hardly ever watch TV, huh? Not not the news and shit like that. I don't, dog. I'll watch Netflix. I fucking work on music. I fucking whatever. Watch Spank Gang. Whatever the fuck. Spank the Gang. Is. What the fuck is Spank Gang? Spank Gang. It's like a... It got the gimp. That's where I learned about the gimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. 
You get only cheap balls. And we're not talking about Lonzo ball, okay? So, anyways. Uh, um, so now, um, you watch a lot of movies or... Well, you don't watch regular TV is what you're saying. No, I okay. don't watch the news. I don't. I feel like the news is depressing, dog. Like, I'll watch it and I'll be like... <sighs> After like 20 minutes of it, like, why the fuck am I watching this shit? It's all depression. It's all fucking bad news. It's all fucking bad news. It's bad. It's like it's news and put the word bad in front of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You Instead just, of saying the 11 o'clock news, they should say 11 o'clock bad, bad news. news. <laughs> and we're here with the bad news <laughs> bears. Dog, I, I want to say like fucking 5% of it is good shit. If you know I wanted I mean? to watch bad news, I would just go on Grind Face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Grind Face. <laughs> Yeah, but I I, I, I I don't like watching the news, dog. So I, I'll, I'll like roll out to my mom and dad's house and just let them tell me the important <laughs> shit. Mijo, you can't be out. There's a curfew right now. You can't be outside past fucking whatever the fuck time or whatever the fuck's going on. I'll let them tell me what's going on because watching the it just, there's so much bullshit. Like it's a lot of bullshit. There's a lot of bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I'd rather watch Gimps. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's the same shit. <laughs> I'd rather watch Gimps. Okay, now let's just say you met a girl online, All which right. is dangerous. The bitch, like the bitch is pretty. Okay, she kind of looks like Kim Kardashian. Well, it's already dangerous, period. Yeah. You see oh, a girl shit. and it's already dangerous. You okay. like. And Kim Kardashian has double setup? dangerous. The first That's thing you setup. think, is this a setup? Yeah, exactly. Okay. She says, hi. Yeah. On your inbox, you're like, is this a setup? No, but you scroll <laughs> all the way down and she still has posts from 2017. So you know. <laughs> then you know it's real. You know it's real. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so, let me check. Let me see. Is her family commenting? Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's a sister right there. All right, she's real. <laughs> yeah, it's her sister. Okay, cool. So and then. There's a second cousin. She, yeah. has, she, she has cousins. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. She's so, real. So what happens is that you guys start talking over the phone, three months span. All of a sudden, oh my God, Dominator, I want to see you so fucking bad. Okay, cool, whatever. Baby, I want to see you fucking too. Do you ever play yourself thinking about me all the fucking time? Mama? Why do I have to say, baby, I want to see you too? Why well, do hold on, I'm, I'm just building up a fucking scenario. Can't I say, if you want to see me, come see me perform at a concert. Okay, so yeah, hold go. on. I just want to have dinner with you. great performer. Anyways, um, so. I'm like a gimp. <laughs> without the ball. I'm a gimp without perform. the ball, without so, the ball. So anyways, you sh she says, I want, I want to meet you. Let's go meet up for dinner. Okay, cool. You guys meet up for dinner. So you're sitting down and you're like, what the fuck? This bitch ain't here, yo. So you're looking like this. So I'm waiting? Yeah, you, you're, waiting. you're waiting. Like a simp? Yeah. <laughs> Why you gotta make, put me in a simp shoes, dog? It's all hypothetical. It's Tell not me. for real. It's like Don't saying take a all the shit I wouldn't do. Okay, so. All right, go ahead. Exactly. Okay, okay, go so you're sitting like, what the fuck? Where's these fucking chips and salsa are getting cold. So anyway. <laughs> So you're sitting around, and all of a sudden you get a tap. You turn around, and then you look down, and she's the midget. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Down. Is she cute? Well, she looks like Kim Kardashian, but she sits down. Her Kim arms, Kardashian, yeah, a beautiful woman. Yeah, well, yeah. Tell her doctor that. So, anyways, well, fuck, so, you did a good job. Okay. <laughs> so she sits down. Hey, how are you? Cool. Would you still hit? Well, okay. Look. If she's sitting down, her torso is probably about as big as Kim's. Right. So when she's sitting down, she looks. She's probably about the same way that I'm at. If she's now, you didn't say we're standing up. No, no, no. Because if we're standing up, right, right, she's gonna be right here. No, maybe but not if, to no, her no, thigh. no, 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 no. Listen, if we're sitting down and she's saying she's gonna be right here. See, now you're taking over my hypothetical scenario. That's not fair. She's gonna feel. It's gonna feel normal to me because she's gonna. Her torso's technically a midget's torso's. A, when they sit down, they're the same size you are. You just ruined everything. That's going to be kind of cool. We're, you know what I mean? This I'm is like, called Done With The Wizard. You know what I'm saying? Did I fuck you up? Did I fuck your shit up? It's big. Yes. The, but, You're trying to justify everything that I'm trying to tell say. Tell me I'm wrong. Her hands look like they're coming out her elbows. <laughs> but okay. she's still attractive, And she's got a big right? forehead. Look, Anyways. if you're attractive, you're, you're attracted. And that's all there is to it. That fucking small... So that means you will carry her and take her back to your place? Yeah, hey, it'd probably be fun. Okay. <laughs> I mean. All right. Well, you know what? Hey, you heard it here first. He's down with that image. Tony, Any images out there? Fucking Tony would have done it before I would have done it. I don't know why the fuck he's acting all fucking shocked. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, sure, then, don't remember. Don't forget this. Midget is like a fun sized version of Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Come on, dog. Yeah. So she takes you back to her place. She claps on and do me baby comes on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. She even has prints in the fucking on the clapper. Hey, real quick, I want to ask you guys. All right, so does it have to do with midgets? No, it has to do. Don't ask the question. No, but it has to do with with midgets. It doesn't have to do with midgets. (laughs) Don't fucking ask the question. All right, go ahead, Doc. Ask the question. All right, well, it has to do with Kim Kardashian, right? Oh, okay. So that's we a got, related topic. All right, yeah, exactly. So we got Kanye wearing the uh, uh, rain boots, and he's dating some girl that looks just like uh, Kim Kardashian. What are rain boots? Rain no, boots. no, his boots. His, his boots are rain boots. Yeah. He's That's his brand? Yeah. yeah I don't know, he has a brand called Rain Boots? I don't know. But no, he doesn't call him that, but look. Rain he's boots. losing it, dog. I swear to God, he's losing it, dude. <laughs> That's, yeah. his, that's his high name? Yeah, it's some girl. It's just like, you know. She got a big ass, too. Well, the girl from Mexico already put Kim Kardashian blast and Kim Kardashian stole her look. Yeah. She looked like that since the late 90s. Dang. Kim Kardashian wants to be Latina. Straight yeah. up. Yeah. Kim Kardashian so wants to be Latina. Are they, is she saying that Beyonce stole her look, too? Because it looked like Kim stole her look from Beyonce. Kim has the exact same look as this lady from Mexico. She's from That chick's from Mexico? Mexico? Yeah. So she's Mexicana. No, not her. Not her. No, There's another, another one. one. There's another chick that's been that looking crazy. Yeah, on my already. Hey man, the doctor's been making the same people. Yeah, okay, like he's that. making the same fucking people. Clones. <laughs> okay, Clones. This is this is what he showed me. Yeah, that's so. what he showed me. Okay, so what's your question? Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> make sure you get hands on it. You were just, you just, no, no, you just wanted to point what that question? out. No, no. The question Dom. is, what do you think about a guy dating a girl that looks just like his ex? Well, I mean, you got to think about it. If, if that's a person's taste and that's what they if, if that's what they like, you know what I mean? Have you ever dated somebody that looks just like your ex? I, I don't know. Would no, you, I, I mean, is that what you look for? Is that what people look for? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. But it depends what kind of person you are. If you're a person yeah. that likes this style, then you're going to go for that style every single time. Personally, me, I like flavors. I like different all different fucking flavors so i wouldn't date someone that looked like why, why you want to keep tasting the same flavor over and over again hmm. that's how i feel about it but there's some people that they once they get a flavor and they want to stick with it and that's their shit they hmm. want to keep going with that fucking same thing they want and you know what they're saying all women are the same all there, men are the no, same no 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 yeah. no 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 that's bullshit i'm sorry that is all women are not the same, because if they were the same, there's some of those crazy. Ass, no, 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 don't go there. No, don't no, go no, there. No, 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 don't go there. They are not all the same. I'm sorry. They're go, don't go there because you already know. I, I know. I know. I know, I know you're watching. And what's not? <laughs> but no, no. I mean, that was that was good that you brought that up. No, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that was I, I just want to know. Kanye West is a fucking. Fucking idiot with money, bro. You, but but you have to admit he's a musical genius, dog. Well, you don't have to admit it. Do you agree? I think he's good. I won't say genius. He's I think a he's good. I, he's he, a be, you know you know what it is it's because we look at the whole scope of his apparel, him making money, the headlines, the woman that he's dated, and we incorporate that with his music, and we say. He's a genius. Nah, bro. I'm not incorporating that with his See, music. See, I'm not either. I'm not. Go, I'm go, go, go. I'm just looking at. I'm just looking personally at what he's done, his piece of work, and what he's done musically. And he's he's. He was know, only God. best at samples, bro. So, anyways, go ahead, Mijo. Exactly. You said you said <laughs> he up? was only best at samples. Prince said, "If you're a great producer or something, you wouldn't sample. Everything should be original." Do you believe that? Mm-hmm. You just said Kanye was great, and he's only been great at samples, from what I feel. What the way the way I look at it that was as, my son. Oh. Let me pull everything out. Let me take a picture. Go go go. Sample you. I'll sample you. I'll sample you on my NPC right now. Hold on. Let me get my NPC. Oh. Go ahead. Go and ahead. I've had this talk with Tony before. See, si. I've had this talk with your dad before, and I've. This is how I truly feel about being original. Everything that you look at the camera when you say it. Talk. Everything that you know, everything that you've learned, has been from somebody else. No matter how you feel about it, like you could think you're putting something original together, but what you're really putting together are a bunch of pieces of things that you've learned from here. You're grabbing something from here. You're grabbing something from here. You're Very grabbing true. something from here, and you're technically sampling it. If you really think about it, you're sampling it and you're putting it together on this one piece of work that you're about to put out. So 
whether you're sampling something from sound or wherever you're sampling it from, you're, you're still taking a sample of it because everything that you, right. w- once you're born, you start to learn things like there's no fucking way in hell that you've just come upon something that is yours without it being learned from someplace. It's all been done before. Yeah. It's all been done. Before. It's like this missionary has been done before. The doggy style has been, <laughs> done, before. been done before. Yeah, it's it's all, has been done before. Froggy, it's all been done Froggy's before. been Froggy done. Froggy style. Chokehold, the fucking whatever. The, the chokehold. The rusty nail. The whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's already been. On top of the no, refrigerator. No, 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 I got you, I got you. My yeah. point is, is because a lot of these people do remakes and yeah. become f- more famous and more bigger than the people who actually made those original songs. Right. are not as famous. Like Alicia Keys, the You Don't Know My Name. Right. That's a sample. Yes. Yeah. And those people are nowhere near as paid as she is. No. Look, and that was a little bit of respect for her. Look, and that was produced by Kanye. Yeah, there you go. See? Nah, I mean. Once again. So, come see, on. I guess, I get, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Look, it de- and I, 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 I hear what you're saying, and I think it depends on how much you're ripping off of it. Look like at the, if you're look at the camera. technically taking a piece of it, if you're, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking to him. <laughs> you need to fucking stand back at the camera. If you're taking a piece of it and you're not changing nothing about it, if you're just. Like putting, I'm not your puppet. If you're putting a couple. <laughs> <laughs> now keep in mind, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing when I was producing. If you're just taking it. <laughs> so I looped it, I looped it. you're not manipulating it per se, like enough, like. Then you're not really doing much with it. You're just taking it and just playing it over again and not doing anything to it. Hey, yeah. but you started the beginning of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you, you know who was sampling you, first? Nah, I mean, anyways. Well, well, you gotta think about it too. <laughs> you gotta think about it too. You you said you lost respect for Alicia Keys, but you need to understand. She's a great artist. Great artist. I just say, as in sampling the music, because I, I believe in being original. Because also, like of liking Prince, my dad. I, I watched Prince. I like. I watched a lot of his stuff. I think one of the greatest interviews he had was with George Lopez. When George Lopez had a show, and he was on there, he was talking yeah. about being original, about not only listening to other artists. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's but, some people. There's but some, if yeah. you look at him, if you really watch him, you'll see some of James Brown's dances and Absolutely. the shit that he does. And his you'll, music. You'll hear some of George Clinton's shit and, sh- and the shit that he does. You can see Michael's influence in some of the shit that he does, dog. Like, you can told, if you really study him, and then studied like the greats. You gotta take Princeology. Hey, the only the, way- uh, uh, he totally studied a lot. Like okay, now let me ask you this. Yes he, or n- put it this way, bro. He was a huge ass Santana and Earth, Wind, and Fire fan. Okay, now let me ask you this. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, Dom. I'm he gonna was ask you this. Huge fans of them. And Dom, you can hear it in his fucking shit if you really, Dom, really pay attention. The tequila's talking. Okay, I'm, hey, I'm glad I had some shots because that made me loosen up. And yes, sir. And tell it. Nah, I mean, okay, here's what Tony, we do. Tony, am I telling it or y- am y- I not Yes, you it? are, but I'm gonna, I gotta ask you a fucking question. I can school motherfuckers when I'm fucking oh, okay. buzzed. Yes, I know. School them. And I'm glad. As a matter of fact. See what I'm saying? He, he's on the uh, parliament fucking Millennium Falcon right look now. Look at that shit. <laughs> <laughs> look at that shit, motherfucker. Okay. That's George Clinton. Yes. You got to choose right now. I was raised on that shit. You got to choose right now. Michael Jackson or Prince? Prince. Okay, same here, Prince. Prince, because he he played all of his shit. Michael Jackson had Quincy Jones. And Quincy Jones had everyone under his belt, dude. Hey, did you You ever see the interview? Prince went into the studio alone and knocked all that shit out. He played the fucking piano. He played the synthesizers. He went in there with heels, a G-string, and a trench coat. not only that, he played the drums on his (laughs) own shit, dog. His earlier shit. He threw the G-string at your face, remember? He threw the the G-string at my face. Hey. (laughs) He threw it at my face. I caught it with my nose. I mean, and your mouth was open. My mouth was open. I blew it out off my face with my nose. And his eye was on you, but anyways. So. Hey, that fool played all his own instruments. If you, his very first album, the fucking Prince. Chuku, cool. you can smile, big dog. You look bored over there, homie. Oh, no, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Chuku, cool. the thing about Chuku is that he's very. Uh, he's uh, very zoot suit. He's very he's he's very he's, 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 he's very zoot suit. Yes. This is my homie Chuko from yeah. Napomo, California. He's yeah. from the same city that I'm this from. This is this is Edward James Omo come back. Chuko, come over here. Come back here. Real, right? real quick, real quick. He's the type of guy when you look I at want, him. I want, hold on, you know what you hear when you see him? Orale. I want <laughs> him to tell you guys about the the he has a a, a vinyl 
Okay, let him tell us. Go take a yes. piss. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Chuko. Okay. You got to start off by saying... Tell him about the movement. You got to start saying by orale. Don't worry about him. Go ahead. Orale, how's it going, everybody? I want to say gracias to Tony. Appreciate you having me over. Gracias to Adam. Gracias to Adam. Gracias to Adam. Always hit me up to what three for events. So well, take a piss, hurry up, and come back. All right. Come on. Okay. Uh, yeah, how he was mentioning, I'm from Nipomo, the same neighborhood that he is. But uh, uh-huh. yeah, I've been doing, uh, been collecting records since, uh, damn, probably like 18 years now. Okay. Yeah, so it's been a while. But uh, probably about 10 years back, we started started a little crew called Vinylistics. So yeah, we pretty much just get together, do events over there. Now, when you say Vinylistics, I just have to break it down in case people don't know what vinyl is. We're talking about actual records, oh, yeah. not laptop, not Serato. Yeah. Like the actual old school, whether it's 45 albums or 12 inches. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. so, yeah we cover them all. So I started with 60, 70 soul, okay. some early, uh, late 50s doo-wop. We do 80s funk, you know, disco. That shit's dope, man. Yeah, a little bit of everything, some modern artists as well. But there wasn't a scene out there at the time. So I got tired of coming down this way to catch events. So we ended up starting it over there. That way. That's dope, bring man. Bring it to our neighborhood, you know. So there's a big scene for it. You know, we built it up, you know. Everybody wanted to hear the radio, and that's one thing. We, we call ourselves DJs, but in all honesty, I'll tell you right here, we're not because we play for ourselves. We don't play for the crowd. The crowd happens to stay. That's the that's the way we see it. I like that you said that. You don't play for the crowd. The crowd just happens to stay. That's a beautiful thing. So whenever you have an, another event, whether it's a barbecue, whatever, whatever, let me know, bro. I'll oh, let yeah. you know. I'll definitely, yeah. Yeah, we'll keep you posted. Come out there. We'll hook up some tri-tip. You know how Dominator... Fuck, does tri-tip there, with the red Maris oak? Style. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the only way to do it. Oh, so. my God. Yeah, I'm going to be having a big one in April. We're doing a... I got a chapter of Duke's Car Club. I don't know if you ever heard of them. So. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I don't know too much about car clubs, but I have heard of Duke's. Okay, yeah. Everybody's yeah, heard of Any Dukes. magazine you see, it's uh, considered yeah. the oldest, you know, lowrider car club. is still in a continuous existence. Okay. So. Please let me know, so and I will definitely it. roll up there. And I don't have a low rider, but I'll definitely ride oh, yeah, my bike through. out there. We'll be at the and park in Nipomo DJing all day, having an after party in Santa Maria. You know, well, that's going to be going off. So we'll probably be DJing. We're doing both events. So it's going to be, yeah, probably a good Now, now you know what? Now, now I, I just have to ask because being a DJ, honestly, a different type of DJ spinning different records from the way you have. Yeah. Do you guys use uh, 1200s or does it matter what turntables oh, no, you guys Oh, no, 1200s, yeah. Okay. Yeah, two, yeah, two okay. turntables and a mixer. We, now, yeah. is it always 45s? Does it matter? No. Uh, no uh, if I'm doing soul, I usually stick to the 45s. Okay. If I'm doing funk, you know, try to stick with the LPs, you okay. know, 12 inches, okay. but it just depends. You know, uh, I, I one of my first podcasts that I did, it was early 2000, I want to say 2019, and it was somebody from San Fernando Valley. I think he was called something so vinyl or something like that. But he, I, I did my first interview with him. Okay. And, and uh, like, he was telling me the ridiculous prices on 45s. Okay. And I didn't didn't know that 45s go that much. Oh, yeah. No, there's a, I got buddies that they'll spend $1,000 for one song on a 45. Don't even flip it over because it's trash on the other side. It just depends. Fuck. I know guys with, yeah, $2,000 yeah. records. It, it, it's, yeah, it's crazy nowadays. Okay. Damn, two thousand. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I got I got homeboys that will that'll drop a compilation. Two thousand. Shit, that I can think off my head. I uh, I don't know right now, but I, what's the most expensive record you have? Me, uh, probably something I got for forty bucks. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but, because you know, he's I, smart. The, the, the value on it's worth a lot, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. Where they're selling hook, line, and sinker, glory and relations. It's a rare, rare soul one. I got it for forty bucks years back. Probably goes for oldie? like four or five hundred now. Like yeah. Like oldie? Oh yeah. All good. All right, Carnal. Let me tell you something. Let me know in April. I'll, I'll go out there, bro. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Like I said, it'll be twelve hours of DJing. I told Dominator to come drop a set with us. We'll be after party at Santa Maria Inn. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah, are, are you the one throwing it? Yeah, yeah. We, are. we, we throw everything on our own. Yeah. We, we okay. Don't. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me know before you throw it. I'll bring you for an interview here on Rodian Radio and. We'll promote it, bro. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Muchas gracias, good. bro. Yeah, we'd love to come back. Thank you, Chuco. Okay. Yeah. Mucho gusto. You got to just say orale one more time. Orale. That one's for time. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on over here. Uh, you, you, you fucking. You forgot my name. You dumb. Cuck. Yeah. No, no. You're not a cuck. You're not. Gimp. No, you're not a gimp. You're, I'm not a gimp. You're a master. I'm the master. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm the master. The, we got the question. We'll okay, go ahead. The question. There's a question. Yeah, the question is, are you a gimp? 53 votes. Uh, 30 uh, thirty percent said hell yeah, perro, and thirty percent, I mean seventy percent said chale, homie. Chale. Now there's thirty percent that said they were gimps. See, see, now let me tell you them that voting was low because there's gimps out there that don't want to vote. That's true. That's what they're like. They nah, want to stay nah, with the ball that. in their mouth. Yeah, fuck that, baby. Yeah, gimp. I, I can't say that. They want a gimp. They want so. a gimp. Is there any more? Uh, hey, Chuko. Hold on. Uh, uh. 
Is there any, you, you bring want, me a Modelo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Porfas. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. No, no, I'm good, bro. I'm good. You're good? You're done? No, no, I'm not fucking done. I'm just waiting for the after party. I didn't party. say dung. No. I said done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving some for the after party. Oh. So. Hey, you know what? I got a couple of shout outs. Um, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I got a shout out. Yeah, because people donate it. Yeah, Memo Juarez, he dropped $20. Well, that's Memo. Exactly. Go ahead, bro. And uh, Turp Sauce, uh, he's been dropping like a. Uh, Turp Sauce. Yeah, Turp Sauce. That's uh, a bad name. Yeah, that's I know, right? It's a dope right? name. Turp Sauce. Turp Sauce. Yeah, ter Terpy. Gracias. That's like the, that stuff in the weed. That makes yeah, 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 exactly. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying exactly because I want to look cool on my channel. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. Is that the shout out? That's the end? Uh, he said, so, uh, so everybody. He said, so rough, so, so tough, tough. <laughs> out here, baby. Ow. Out yeah, here, he said, Shasha. Every, everybody <laughs> take a shot <laughs> for the object <laughs> on Dom's <laughs> shirt <laughs> and all the space on Tony's. <laughs> much love. You need some background music, bro, when we're fucking getting fucked up like that. Nah, fuck that. I want people, don't to, pay, you don't I want people have, to hear you. You don't want to have to fucking pay the fucking... The oh, DJ. Also you don't want to have them, them take the fucking, what's it called away, huh? Also what's shout out the to monetization. The monetization. Yeah. That's what it is, huh? It's the monetization. It's all about the money. See, because of the monetiz it's monetization, about, yeah. we can't have fucking zap. Or one-way plane. Why don't you start your own podcast? No, we, could. we could. An interview Selena's killer. An interview? <laughs> what? An interview what? Selena's killer or fucking 6 oh, 9 or Richard Gear. You know what? I want to shout out some. I want to shout out uh, my home homegirl, Magic Girl. For real? She's all, she always has my back. She's always fucking. Nah, I mean. That that's the fucking homegirl. Yeah, Magic Girl. She's the shit. Yeah, and if you don't like Magic Girl, fuck you and unsubscribe, trick. That's my homegirl right there. Yeah. Even yeah. if you got a fake page, unsubscribe. Yeah. So. Yeah. Magic Girl. That's my that's yeah. my girl right there. All good. And yeah. actually, you know what? Uh, we were we were touring. Uh, uh, me and my homegirl Carolyn Rodriguez. We were we were uh, on her tour bus this last weekend. Uh huh. She really gets her hustle on, dog. She gets her fucking. Give her a good shout her, out, man. Her merchandise. Her, yeah. This is my shout out, dog. The Spencer continue. <laughs> hey, uh, Saint West dropped five dollars. He wanted me to ask Dominator about working with D Desi Hollow. Yeah, and Desi Hollow. As a matter of fact, you know what's crazy is uh, uh, on the way down here, Desi Desi messaged me. How did you guys hook up? Is the question. Yeah, please. This is my boy right here, and Tony always hooks it up. He says, "I think you and you would be a good match." Yes, Desi. Yes, this is Dom. Dom. This is Desi. Did you dominate? So I appreciate. It. Dog, I'm just gonna ignore that you said that. I'm gonna ignore that you said that right now. Oh, you good. know what? I got a nice little buzz right now. That's good. Hell yeah, that's good. Yeah, but Desi's dope. As long as I'm not fucking slurring yeah, too yeah, much. Exactly. As long as you're not. This, hey, this is a fun show, dog. You know what's crazy is that um, I'm sure a lot of the people tuned in thinking it was gonna be like a more like an interview. No, it's not a stop saying interview. When you come over here, it's a com fuck com I always say, hello, boys and girls. I'm Tony the Wizard, and today I will be conversating with the Dominator, no, it's, and he will be dining with the Wizard. It's, it's a cup of conversation, bro. It's different. It's a cup of conversation. Yes. It's a cup of conversation. I like how you said that. Yes. Cup of conversation. It's a cup of 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 conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you do? You did the scratch. Did you hear that? Without the like, accidentally, you accidentally did the scratch. It's the cup of conversation. <laughs> That's my own. That, that, that it's was a, a camera, 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 That camera, was a camera flare. conversation. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. That was. Yeah. Okay, Satan West. Go ahead, read it, Alex. Satan. Ask okay. him why he's Satan. That's what he should answer. Yeah, I know. Why are you saying West? But anyways, ask Dominator if it's cool with, if he's cool with Down, aka Kilo, if he can get him on Rhodium Radio. Yeah, actually, I am cool with Down. Uh, Down, every once in a big while, Down calls me about three in the morning. <laughs> That's my boy. And uh, That's when they actually, you know what? We recorded the. That's the witching hour. We recorded the curb at Down Studio. We we did our vocals yeah. for the. Actually, no, 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 no. I got that twisted. We recorded the curb at in Santa Maria, but when Sarah did her vocals, she recorded the curb. We took Sarah S to Down Studio to record her vocals for our dedication and the curb at Down Studio, mm -hmm. which was 
it was pretty dope because because uh, down was very down. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean, he he fucking brought out everything. He's all, "What is your choice of what you want here? Do you want fucking beer? Do you want fucking weed? Do you want mm? Do you want mm?" Did he bring out the lean? <laughs> he brought out everything, dog. <laughs> I'll take some beer. The cholo lean. I'll take some yeah. weed and it, all that other shit. It's cool. I'll take some Mexican bread. Cool. All up in the club. But that, yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. Down is my boy. All He's good. At every once in a big while. I'm gonna remix a song. It's good to hear from you. I'm gonna remix a song. You know what I'm gonna do? All up in her guts. Ten D. <laughs> All up in her guts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the San Fernando Valley so remix. The San Fernando yeah. Remix. Yeah. Okay, the remix. <laughs> yeah. All up in her guts. Ten D. Yeah. Gobble gobble gobble. <laughs> On me. <laughs> right. On me. <laughs> On me. Ay, wey. Let me, let me uh, stop. Any more questions? Uh, no, no. No, no more. Okay, no okay. more over there. Tony, Tony. Let's keep going, dog. Go, I'm go, a good time. go, go, go. Somebody, good time. Somebody Ray, drop five bucks. Alex. Raymond oh, yeah. Curley, he yes. says, Tony, when will you have Sarah S on Rodium Radio? Much We've had up? Sarah S on Rodium Radio. That's it. Radio. We, we had Sarah S on Rodium Radio. You got to look at that interview. She said her whole story. Sarah who? Sarah S, that's her name. We interviewed her with Elvia. Yeah, that was it. So Good th memory. Yeah, thank you for that. Doug, you do have a good memory. You want me to tell you why? Have you had the COVID shot? No, he just had the booster. That's why you have a good memory. <laughs> because I swear to God, I'm not lying, Doug. No, Ed he had the booster. The booster is the doll from... Uh, um, what, who is it? Turbo Man. Turbo he Man. Says no, no. The, the, that's why nobody likes you. His dad's lying. He even looked at me. He gave me that look. He looked... He gave me that look. But let me tell you why I'm saying this. Yes. Because ever since, I'm not going to fucking lie. Did you get the shot? What shot are you talking about? Did, the penicillin one? Don't, no? don't, don't. Dog, did you get the shot? No, I did not. Okay, well. That's I, why I have a photographic memory. And he forgets shit. I got the shot and I swear to God it's not age. It's not age. Because I've had people, oh no, it's because you're getting, no, motherfucker. I got the shot and I swear to God, like a month later, it took, in one month, I started like just, there's certain words that I have a pretty decent vocabulary. Right, right, right. And there's certain words that they just won't fucking come to me, dog. Like, like cuck, kimp, and what yeah, else? Cunt. Uh, uh, cunt, cunt, uh, kimp. Master slimp. Whore uh, bag. Uh, you know what I mean? What the fuck is this? Dog, come on. Dog, dog, it's not time for I, I booty know, calls I, I right now, dog. Come on. <laughs> That's what time is it? No, hey, what no, time is it? You're already we're good. receiving booty calls at 1027. Well, let's go. Let's go. Tell Come those on. bitches not to call till like three. Exactly. Three o'clock after three. A.M. After three forties. I feel like uh, after I got that shot, it's fucked with my memory, dog. Do you think your foreskin shrank after that shot? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the Johnson and Johnson. I'll tell you right now. Hey, can we put the key Don't pull it out, please, hey, no, no, Jim Morrison. Can we, can we put the key on your? Can we put the key and see if it, it sticks to the uh, where you got the shot? <laughs> Ask the question right now. If you got the shot that he got, That's the question right now. Hold up, hold up, hold, hold on. on. He's gonna he's gonna show you. I saw somebody who got the Johnson and hey, Johnson where shot. Where did they give you? It wasn't Johnson and Johnson. Where did they give you the shot, bro? It wasn't Johnson and Johnson. Where did they administer the shot? the card in here he, he got it in his ass cheek bro come on he was like hey you gotta bend over he goes what do you, you, you want it and he goes here I got, I got it somewhere hold on i'll tell you what i, I want to be i'm gonna be honest with you guys he about pulled on his biker shorts <laughs> come on come on dog i'm really? just guessing I don't know. You're going to make me get concrete on your ass. You know what I mean? And no, start no, cursing no, no, no. I, I got fucking, concrete. He, got he concrete. fucking... Concrete. I seen that show, dog. He cursed you, dog. Concrete. So if you're having any bad luck, if you're having any bad luck... I took that chip like a fucking chip. champ. He, it's the chip. Hey, chip hey, fucking yeah. Concrete said... He did say, if you take the chip, then I'll take the curse off. Yeah, exactly. And I did. The so how did off. your shit go with high C? <laughs> We're very fucking good. Yeah. Then he took the curse off. 
Because he said, I hope your shit fucking goes this and that. Yeah, exactly. He's like, I, if you eat the chip, I'll take that curse off. I seen that shit. No, I, 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 I ate that shit. That was a good show. Yeah, it was. That Concrete, was a, much love, big dog. That so. was a very good show, dude. Hey, he was snotting all over. I didn't even clean the table. So... Okay, Magic Girl's next Dog, for the if chip. If you would have took that chip out, I would have fucking flipped you the fuck My off. son said that, that he's down out. to buy the chip at Amazon for Magic Girl. Magic Girl, you claim you're, you're hard. You claim the Bakersfield. Who said that? I'm calling you out. Magic Girl said she's whore. She said she's whore than the wall, for The packy chip. Not packy. Someone called her out? Yeah. Not packy from Pakistan. <laughs> not packy from Manny Pacquiao. But we're talking about the packy. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Here, here's, the, here's the shot. Here's Moderna. Moderna. Say that there. Moderna. Ask that question, Alex. Does anybody get the Moderna shot? It was the Moderna shot. And I haven't got the booster. Magic said, I'm I've the been, chip I've been queen. I'm freaked out about getting the booster. Okay. I, I'm not going to lie. I've been a little freaked out about it because ever since I, I, ever since I took it, like, like my taste is a little fucked up. My smell's a little fucked up. I probably got COVID. What about the weenie? Does it get like semi hard? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you asking about my dick, dog? <laughs> like, do you really want to know about my dick? Well, because somebody DM me and told me, and I didn't want to believe it, bro. I didn't want to. <laughs> like, no, I'm bro, like, I that's not up, true. I wake up in the morning with a hard dick. You so. got the wrong dominator. You got the oh, wrong. Oh, actually asking about my dick. Yes, and I'm like, thought, you got I the wrong you run. Asking. No, I you're asking. You know, about stop. My dick. It's not true. Seriously, I got I your back. I took the Moderna, and like, the, the, what, don't what say I, that about him. The memory is a little bit seriously cloudy. I mean, the, the memory's a little cloudy, though. Yeah, like, I'm not going to lie. The memory's a little... And I'm sharp. I'm super sharp. Most of the yeah, time, exactly. I'm like, bam, 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 bam. Yeah, so it's sharp? Yeah, my memory's usually sharp. Okay, okay I thought you were talking about sharp. Like, but no, I'm, I'm not like, talking about my... I, so she must no, be I'm right. I'm not talking about my dick no more. I'm talking about my memory. No, I'm just telling my, my about my DM. That's I'm, I'm talking some, about my memory, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, then on, that, and then that guy that said the same thing, I was like, no, you got the wrong guy, like, Stop. 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 <laughs> you said I'm not cooking. I'm the around. master. God damn it. I, I keep saying I'm the fucking master. I'm the one that fucks, not the one that watches. <laughs> Shit. Stop, uh, you guys. I'm not cooking around. Yeah, he's not cooking around. I'm not cooking around with yeah. your fucking ass, bitch. Yeah. Fuck. No, around. he's not selling his foreskin. Stop. <laughs> Don't DM me no more. Stop. Dude, That's how I got my page deleted, see? Getting your fucking foreskin cut off when you're older. Yeah, I know. And then fucking using it as a band to play tetherball. Don't do that no more. <laughs> 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 fucking playing handball. Come on, stop. <laughs> Dog, have another drink with me. I'm not fucking drinking by myself, dude. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. Do you want to meet me? Now, Gargoyle, bring me another beer. Whoever brings the beer. Gargoyle. Gargoyle. I don't give a fuck. Beer's beer. Still gonna piss it out. Fucking got Tony going. Not nah, I mean. So, anyways. All right, let's get into some question. Good questions now. Okay, Alice. Anybody over there? Question. Oh man. Is Magic Girl in the live chat? I yeah, need to ask her something. She is on the live chat. Magic Girl, what's up? Okay, we need to ask. We need. To, Magic Girl, when we gonna finish that joint we got? That's what the fuck I want to know. The, like a literal <laughs> joint or like a joint? Like no, we got a jam. Fucking. We actually. I, I'm on her album. Ooh. She's on my album. Is it a blunt? Album. Oh, okay. Since we're talking about Magic Girl, what do album. you think about that song that she did? And it sounds like it's like a 50s vibe. I haven't heard it. She posted No, it. you fucking did it. Yeah. What the fuck you talking about? Oh, he did it? He's the one who did it? He produced that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my favorite one by her right now. Which one? It's not like that funk song. Oh, the... Uh, Maybe I'm so into you. Oh, yeah, I produced that. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. Well, what, what happened... Mijo, no, no, I let, swear let, to me, let me Let me straighten that out. No, he was wearing heels and a G-string and he produced that. I was there. 
I was there and I got pictures and I'm let posting me, let them me tomorrow. Let that out because I don't want to say I produced it. I'm putting you, I'm exposing you. The magic girl produced it and she handed it to me and I took it and, spi- and threw, threw, you know. She needs to perform stuff like that. Threw some shit on top of it. Like we, I could say we produced it together. Yeah. She produced some of it. Yeah. I produced some of it. She needs so to do stuff like that. It's a good feel. It's, yeah. it's, it's I didn't. I didn't just. Different. I didn't just produce it by myself. He it, played the kazoo. But anyway, Alex, we got another question. Go ahead. I'm on that. Magical, you hey, better appear on the fucking live chat. No, right. it's both me and her on it. DJ Dominic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, there, you got a question. Yeah. There's a guy named G, uh, Raymond Cur- Curly. He wants to know what you think about Sad Girl 805. I I fucking produced a joint on her album. That's no shit. Doing. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking hard as fuck. Go, go. It's uh from that. Hey, Chico, what's that sample? Oh, uh, I'm not your puppet. Company. What's the company? What's the joint called? Do you remember what it was called? To something to get your love, or uh, what was it? What does it take to get your love? What does it take to get yeah. your love? I I, I used a, like an underground joint, like an okay. underground old school, like That's a some rare funk. Some rare funk. Okay. I took some rare funk shit and I flipped it and we did the joint together. A uh, uh, sad girl on Central Coast Click, not just Dominator. Central Coast no Click. No shit. It's fucking bad, bad. Click or click? No, I'm asking because I don't know. Like what the fuck are you know? Fans, inquiring fans want to know, bro. This I see, fucker. See, that's messed that's my up. He's always falsely accusing me shit. See, to- <sighs> he knows. He's He's fucking with, he likes fucking I'm with done me. with the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker knows. No, I'm Come just, on. I'm just, play with me. Come They're on. watching. Okay, so you want me to act? Yes. Oh, no, it's Central Coast Click, dog. It's not Clit. No shit. All this time I was. <laughs> no, it's not the Central Coast funeral party. Oh, okay, it's wrong. the Central Coast, like, a uh, group yeah, of people. Yeah, I was fucking wrong, bro. Like Fuck. a group of people. Fuck click. off. It's over. Done with like the wizard. Click. C L I Q U. You're out of click. here, Dom. You're not a Dom. You're a Gimp. <laughs> you fucking cut. <laughs> Dude, I never hey, seen this side of Rodian do Radio. Do your do your uh, viewers tune in to see you be fucked up? Like see your. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, yeah, people have said I like drunk. <laughs> I like drunk Tony, and I'm like, who the fuck is that? When I'm sober? because a lot of people aren't used to seeing dunk. dunk. Like, see, there you go, dunk. <laughs> dunk. They are not used to seeing drunk Don. Okay, it's Glika. A, a magic girl said Glika. For, oh, no, I'm sorry. Forever, forever Genesis. Forever Genesis. Whatever forever Since means. So it's forever she's going to be but known. you have to say clicka. Clicka, I say. Clicka. Pass the wire. Clicka. So. We got the strong clicka. Oh, yeah. speaking of that, I just did the joint for a, a Kelly Lifestyle. Okay, you know, I don't fucking. even want to talk about those guys. Those are my boys. I'm going to talk about them, dog. That shit is fucking. How many times did they, I book them and cancel? Twice. Dog, it's not that. It's that mother. Sometimes people just. Their, sk- the their schedules day. don't work with yours. Hey, man, we don't care about their... Uh, there's their things, dog. Check. There's, <laughs> there's more things than you know. That I could tell you later. It's crazy. Millionaires return our calls. Millionaires return my calls. I get it. People, st- I, people I, that have stars on no, how no, to no, walk. I get it. I get it. But these are my homies, and I do know their story. Do they have a blue check? Well, tell them, come share it. It's easier said than done. <laughs> now, you know, you know what I'm going to do? Let me finish. No. Motherfucker, you didn't even let me finish saying what my story is. Oh, my dad showed me the names. Who we're booking? I'm like, nah, cancel this. Yeah, cancel, cancel. 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 You, know, you know who we canceled? Central Cut Click. Did you ever hear that? What a dick. He had us proudly on his fucking show. Don't fucking. No, 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 no. no. Wow. Drink this. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, nah, but, nah, but Take you know, that shot. No, nah, no. Nah, here's what we're going to do. You know what? Uh, <laughs> Kelly Lifestyle. No, nah, nah, hold on. Let me finish. Uh, I'm still working them in, bro. So, Good. And I'm going to tell you why. Because people want to see them. motherfucking boys. Well, you know what? It's just that people don't understand my sense of humor. Why you got to so, cover it? I'm not going to drink that shit. Come on, dog. No, fuck that. You made fucking... Uh, Come on, con- concrete. You you're, concrete. Not, you're not going to make me. You made, you made concrete <laughs> yeah. that chip. Yeah. Let me finish my shit. Hey, no, I dude, I, he, volunteered, that, he volunteered to eat it. Okay. Uh, ho- hey, you know ho- what? Let me I finish. will never forget that show. That was... 
It was classic. Okay, look, Dude. let me tell you something. Can a lifestyle? You're welcome. Just come through. Just Thank you. Let, let's set it up. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm probably gonna. So have to all bring you them. fans Honestly, out there, I'm that, probably gonna have to bring them. Yeah, I'm probably gonna. All have you, to bring all you fans, that got mad because of what I said. You know what? You gotta understand that we're drinking, we're eating, we're talking shit. We're having fun. We're having fun. Don't have fucking take it serious. Come on. Man. Yeah, take it up your ass. Yeah, exactly. Like like the <laughs> German. <laughs> So, like the gerbil. <laughs> exactly. Be Richard Gere. Yeah, exactly. Don't get mad at me. And then when they're here, you're like, yes. <laughs> How? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the gerbil scratching the itch you can't scratch. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, like I was saying. I knew with Tony. I was saying I just uh, produced a fucking... Bomb ass joint for them up. Dope, man. We did some like a, 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 a um, gap band type shit for them. I played the guitar on it. Fucking, we already filmed the video. I fucking did Rico. Do you remember Rico? No. Do you know the character Rico? You still don't know the, the Rico's character with the fucking glittery wig and the fucking glasses? No. Oh, God, dude. You okay, gotta, school me. You got to watch the Juicy video. The so juicy video where the the chick is licking the face and all that crazy ass shit. No, I seen the one with you and Carolyn. That one, you, you were like, you were like on some Rick James shit. Yes, I played that character in okay, their I in can. their new video. Okay. They brought me back for some reason. That character keeps popping up. People want that character and all these videos. That dog. shit is dope. You know what? And the way Carolyn played along with him, that shit was dope. Well, they got me in that video and. Fucking multiple people have been requesting Rico. His, his name is Rico Valens. He will end up on your show at some point. Rico Rico Valens. Rico Valens. Damn. That is his fucking name. This is a bit of a rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> Only a few people would understand that. Yeah, yeah, no, he will end up on your show, bro. Okay. I, I was thinking about bringing him here today, but I was like, eh, I'm going to be drinking. Not I'm yet. Gonna be Not yet. Up. Yeah. Eventually. Now, I'm going to say this. He uh, will come on your, eventually he will be on your show. I okay. promise that. Okay, Alex, ask the next one. What's up? Oh, there's more questions? There's another one. Not questions. Somebody dropped five questions. bucks. Some, uh, something, something sauce, temp sauce? Yeah, terp sauce. He terp wants sauce. to know, uh, does Chewbacca got a regular thing or a Red Rocket one like the dogs? I don't even understand. Ah, I don't got a regular that. thing. That's All right, not, this is the question. I'm gonna repeat it one more time. Uh, one more time. I'm gonna repeat <laughs> it. Fuck. It says, "Does Chewbacca got a regular thing or a red Rico. rocket like one like the dogs?" Rico Cuck Valens. Somebody commented. That. I don't know. I don't Rico, Rico Cuck Valens. Means. Rico Cuck Valens. Cuck. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Rico Cook Valley. That's Actually, I know the what it means. The, no, no, no. No, no. Cook is the guy that watches. Why does Rico have to I, be in the I, cook? I don't know. No, no, That's what somebody no, commented. No, no, so no. I'm Rico just. Rico's a pimp, motherfucker. Okay. All right, Rico is a fucking pimp. Not gimp. That's my homie. Pimp. He's a pimp. Even though it rhymes with gimp. No, I'm just asking. You, you got know, to see the new video. Okay? I'm just asking if people inquiring minds want to know. Tony, I so, like when you slur, dog. That's fucking. It's dope. <laughs> Just know that I will never go it's back and watch this video again. Slur. <laughs> Tony Slur. Okay. Tony Tony Slur. That's Yo, Turp I had to read that like three slur. times. I got Tony it. Slur. I need to Not wear a slur, fucking Afro wig when I, whenever I appear. <laughs> Tony Slur. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what you do. Mm -hmm. That's yes, you're fucking black also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tony Slur. Nami. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why do you have a new beer? I because you wanted me to. Well, why don't I have one? Only have gargoyle. This, I only have this much. <laughs> Somebody go get him up. In my fucking cup. See, not cup. Cup. Hey, it's just coming out. Just for all you guys to know, God. I am just not driving home. My homie Chuko is driving my car. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's crazy, bro? That mom, dad. Chuko <laughs> is driving my car. It's because I know my mom and dad, they watch this shit. No shit? Yeah, they watch this shit. So it's all the cuck and all that shit. Pensa. No, ah. don't, don't excuse yourself now. My mom watches your shows. No, I was just playing. No, my so. mom watches your shows. For reals? She watches your shows. Like, I'll be there on Sundays. Should I be dirty or less dirtier? <laughs> so she wants you to be you. <laughs> on Wednesdays? Yeah. And Sundays, 
she watches your shows. My mother watches your shows. And if you don't believe me, I will fucking get a little clip of her watching your show. Give me the fucking gimp. Do I apologize or? My mom knows how I am. <laughs> she already knows how I am. And she knows what type of people I hang around with. Yeah. I love you, mom. I just told Tony that you watch his shows. Okay. Do you want me to break the news right now to her or no? Which? What part? He likes gerbils. That's all I'm going to say. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm trying to Mom, talk him lying. out of it. I'm trying now, to the talk. feet thing, okay. He's telling the <laughs> truth about the feet thing. But the gerbils, no. Okay. Somebody drop 20 bucks and put, get some more brews for the man. Yeah. What man? Which man? You. You. So, you know what? Look, look here's that. if you want me to promote your business, uh, your OnlyFans page, your restaurant, your music, Drop something on the live chat. I got an OnlyFans page. And, and we'll give you, yeah. He, has, he, he only shows his toes. No, so. I got a, a Rico OnlyFans page. For reals? Yeah. Like, do you get doggy style and everything? Yeah, I everything. Fuck. He does the wig. They fucking eat the wig. The girls swallow the wig. They eat it. Throw pies? They throw the glitter up. No, I, and if you can see the glitter coming up, like all I that said, shit. I said throw pipe, but all right, go ahead. Okay, throw pipe, whatever. Hey, bro, the, hey bro do you know that there's girls out there that make money only showing off the toes? Yeah. I do know that. Those are the, the, those are the profiles I pay for. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I'm joking. You better do it. I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> feet, feet, and toes are a big. It's a big industry. Ears. I, I heard this ears. On the website. Ears. <laughs> what the fuck with bananas? Like I thought, chicloso. Like, no ears and bananas. No, no chicloso. You know what that is? Like chicloso right here, like the butthole. Like no, chicloso. No, 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 no ears. No, well, it kind of looks like a no, no ears so. and bananas. They do ears and bananas. Yeah. What about fingers? Nah. It's more toes, huh? Mm -hmm. Toes and chiclosos. Mm. I've never heard of Let me tell ears. you something. Let me tell you something. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And tell me if this makes sense to you or you think it's bullshit. Okay. If you want to know that a girl's feet looks what they look like, all you got to do is look at their hands. If they have fucked up hands, they're going to have fucked up feet. For reals? You never pay attention, huh? No, no. You're gonna now. Nah, I'm you're playing gonna, dumb you're, because people are watching. No, you're so gonna, yeah, I gotta give them a show. Tony, no, seriously. Dumb. If you look at the, if you look at the chick's hands and then you look at her feet, like you'll see. If you look at her hands, if she has fucked up hands, she's gonna have fucked up feet. Hey, if it's dry hands, then she's gonna have dry feet. <laughs> if she has nice. I have to say that's wrong. That's wrong. If it looks soft, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Then you haven't been paying attention. What if she has fuzzy hands? Then she's gonna have fuzzy ass feet. No, I, I, like, I don't believe that. No, nope, then you I, I have to pay that. attention because I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't about. believe because Ron Jeremy had nice I'm hands. I'm not talking and about he Ron had <laughs> dog. Are you what the fuck are you doing looking at Ron Jeremy's hands? Motherfucker, <laughs> you're scaring the fuck out of me, dude. I'm like ready to fucking roll out now. Okay, give me your Okay, let's, let's talk about quotes, 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 quotes. What is one of your favorite quotes of all time? Oh, dick. Think about that, everybody watching. After I've been drinking, yeah. and, like, and I just barely finished telling you the shot has given me a fucked up memory. Now yeah, you're like, oh, your quotes. Yeah, well, try. You're live on camera. We got at least a thousand people watching right now. At least give us... One good quote that stuck for with you people. guys. I'm gonna think really hard. Yeah, think. Go ahead. Do the Jeopardy music. What is the fucking Jeopardy? I didn't ding, watch. Ding 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 ding. You didn't do the ding 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 ding. I, I don't know oh, the. Let fucking me do my song. own Jeopardy go, music. Go 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 ahead. and think. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Show off. Show off. Ding 
What is your favorite quote My and who is it? Quote. Can I think of just a quote? Does it have to be favorite? Think of a good quote and then I'll give you mine. You have one? I have one and I know the uh, the author. The, pe- the person who oh, said fuck, it. dig. I Go ahead. That. Keep going. Now, if you were to say, like, your favorite joint and the year and who played on the song. Come on, just go. <laughs> can I can I use a songwriter? Whatever you want. Oh. That makes it a little easier. Just, just hurry up. Because we got a question. Okay, let me drink. <laughs> ASMR. Robert Hernandez, we got you. Yeah, shout out to Robert Hernandez. Drop fifty dollars. Okay, I got one. <clears throat> Hold on, I'm gonna continue right now. I, go ahead. I, I heard that live. That was for the ASMR on people. Wizard. Okay, go ahead. Get your favorite quote. <clears throat> Ain't nothing but the G thing, baby. That's your favorite fucking quote. That's one of my favorite quotes. You got one more? Or no. Before I get mine. Um. Mm, let me think. Um, oh, you know that. Who, you know who that is already, right? I wasn't even hearing. Ain't nothing but the G thing, baby. Okay, go ahead. It's Snoop Dogg. <laughs> okay, you ready for mine? No, you said give another one. <laughs> okay, give another one then. Okay. Um, upside down, boy, you turn me inside out and round round. Diana Ross. Here's mine. Now, let's hear Tony's boring quote. My quote is, suck my dick. <laughs> Ron Jeremy. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all. That's mine it. was upside down and ain't nothing but a Jeep thing. And uh, Tony's was, suck my dick. Ron Jeremy. <laughs> 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 okay, I was, we got some people that paid that. I could have said, make my day. Yeah, exactly. I could have, you know what I mean? But no, yeah. I want to do musical quotes, dog. Go ahead, Alex. I mean, yeah, yeah, shout out to Robert Ray. Hernandez. That guy is, he keeps it real. Uh, he always dropping money on the live chat. He's a big, uh, big time uh, supporter of Rhodium Radio. He says, fuzzy hands or ladies' toes looking like Ukraine. Chocha in all bad shape. Yeah, how much did he drop? He dropped fifty bucks. He huh? dropped fifty bucks. He went hard yeah. with his quotes. Yeah. Then we had another guy that dropped some money, right? Yeah. Uh, Raymond Cooley. He dropped two dollars. He said, "What is your thoughts on Russia versus Ukraine?" Uh, See, my, that, uh hold on, that, hold on. My that's thoughts what we're are starting to talk about. Hold on. My thoughts is we win. <laughs> <laughs> Let them motherfuckers fight, butt out. <laughs> See, Mind your business. You 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 pay attention to me, huh? See. So you do know that I don't watch. Very, See. Yeah, okay, I'm, I appreciate that, dog. Big dog, I've been to homie. your crib, like homie. Like I appreciate that because Tony did not put me on the spot and make me feel. Oh, well, I don't know. I wouldn't fucking do that. That's my no, fucking. No, I, I appreciate that, dog. Now, you know what? I want to say this, okay? And this is the truth. In 2017, I got on Instagram. Somebody sent me Dominator's page. Who? Do you know who? No, I, honestly, I don't fucking remember, bro. You know. You are worthless. Yeah, exactly. I, I was. Because, you know what's funny? I started posting no, up the like person, throwbacks. The person who sent it to you was worthless. Yeah. Not you. The person who sent it. I started posting up throwbacks and stuff. I was like, oh my God, this is you. Keep in mind, I had been off the grid for almost 15 years. So in 2017, I started filming my docu- my documentary. So I, was, I just appeared on Instagram only because my son convinced me to. So and then you appeared, and I was like, "This motherfucker's dope!" I swear to God, I said, "This motherfucker's dope!" And I DM'd you. Back then, I was just messaging. I remember you that. Take, I remember that. And I go, "One day, I would love to work with you." Yeah, that'll that'll be cool, whatever. And then you had a big following, but you followed me back, and I was like, "I'm an old fool with like." A hundred followers. But I don't think you realized that I knew who you were. I now, didn't. Do you remember what I said? I, I said, bro, those legendary mixes. Yes. Do you remember yes, that? Yes, sir. DM? Yes. And I was like, wow. Now, we skip. Sec- also, I don't think you knew how old I was. No, I didn't. I, I, I think you, you thought I was a youngster. 20s. Yeah. 
But you know what? I that didn't matter because I paid you your respect. Yeah, no, I appreciate. You know, that. I seen that, and I was like, "What the fuck? Like this guy is fucking the Mexican Roger Troutman, the fucking Mexican fucking George Clinton. You know, like this guy is fucking talented." So and then we speed up now, twenty twenty two, and we're here. That's fucking crazy, bro. It's dope. I love it. It's I, dope. It's I dope. love it, especially since I'm about to turn twenty nine next month. <laughs> Hey, Omi, as long as you feel 29, you're 29. Well, my beat those still feel 29. Then so you're 29. Then you're 29. <laughs> then you're 29. <laughs> That's you're 29. I'm and I'm 19. <laughs> okay, yeah, and okay. I'm, and I'm hey, And I'm fucking 19. Okay, motherfucker? I'm yeah, fucking he's, 19. He's 19. I'm fucking no, 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 19. Yeah. Respect. So, <laughs> all good. You, Are you, you having a good time? Cause I'm having a fucking blast, dog. I'm glad I came down. Yes, here. it's been no. a while. You know, honestly, and I'll be honest with you, I don't drink very much anymore. I know I can tell because you didn't drink with me when I stayed over there. I don't drink much that that often, but when I do drink, you drink. I drink, and I have a good time, and I can contain myself. Yes, without saying stupid shit or. Or disrespecting bitches. Or disrespecting whoever the fuck I don't want to disrespect, even though I want to disrespect. I won't. I know. Yes. When I do drink, I have a good time. Okay, all good. Can and you- I, hey, dog, homie, I appreciate you fucking inviting me on the show. And, dude, I'm having a fucking blast. Me I, too. Like I told you, as, as long as you want to go, we can go. We can we can go. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Can you say gobble gobble? Gobble gobble. There you go. All right, let's move it on. <laughs> I love Hashtag Thanksgiving. Gobble, but Thanksgiving gobble. is the shit. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hashtag gobble gobble. Yeah. Magic girl was cracking. Hashtag what's cracking? Cracking. Like <laughs> she was cracking over the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Dude, we have a fucking joint that is so fucking d- dope. I wish she would fucking finish. Magic Girl, can you finish that fucking, uh, what's the song called? Me? Yeah. I know you've heard everything that we've done already, right? I think yeah. it was like, cuck, I'm into you. No, mother. Yeah. Oh, I'm, Dude. Just, I'm just guessing. I don't know. Yeah. Dog, we, I have a song on her album that is fucking cracking. Yeah. She, uh, you know what you guys should call it? Release the cracking. Yeah. Dude, we have a joint, a fucking dope ass joint. And then she has a song on my album that I'm waiting for the Magic Girl. I'm waiting for that verse. Okay. Okay. Maybe you can encourage her to send me that verse. Okay. Uh, let me try. Magic Girl. We have a song called Modern Girl, and I'm waiting to hear the verse. I'm just waiting. To modern Girl? Modern Girl. Okay. What did Modern Girl today to you? Well, okay, here it is. A lot of people think, might think, not think because they haven't heard the joint yet. Okay. They might think it's about me talking about a modern girl, but it's not. Okay, okay. okay. It's, it's a actually, twist. Actually, it's a twist. It, the, the song's called Modern Girl, but I'm talking about a modern funk girl. Oh, dope. So, so it's not per se a modern girl. It's about a girl that likes modern funk. Well, she's definitely a girl that likes modern funk. And so if she, she likes modern funk, then she's throwing it back. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a throwback joint about modern funk. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? No, that it makes perfect sense because it's dope. You know, you got to... Bro, gotta, when you hear this song, you're going to be like, what the fuck, dude? Why haven't we heard the verse from Magic Girl yet? Uh, Magic Girl, he's calling you <laughs> Jugo, out. did you hear that song oh, earlier, right? The yeah. shit is fucking hard. It, it, you know what? I'm not even going to say what she said she was going to do with it. I was like... Uh, oh Magic God. Girl, he's calling you out. No, I'm telling you to call her out. Okay, uh, I'm calling you out. You better fucking do it or don't ever appear on my <laughs> live chat ever fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. But I, I got down on, on the, the yeah. joint that she's about to put out or she has a release party at the end of the year, right? Or something like that. I... I I'm gonna have to hit her up tomorrow. Dog, you're involved, aren't you involved? Well, yeah, in her album, but like I don't talk to her like every day. 
But the, the, the joint that we fucking have, me and her have, you've heard. Yes, yes, I have. So, I, like, I'll text her and then I'll hit her up and I'll tell her, like. That's just putting a little yeah, pressure check on Yeah, check this out. I'm just some, putting a little bit of pressure on I it. I need to drop some glitcher. And um, you need to hurry up and fucking do this fucking song. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hey, Alex, somebody yeah. drop some money and that's a question. Alejo. He's not Alex no more. He's Alejo. No, no. Gargoyle. No, Alejo. 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 Yeah. Somebody just some money? Yeah, uh, Robert they, Hernandez, he said, without Ukraine toes what joking. What the fuck? Why are they talking about Ukraine still? Mm -hmm. I don't shit. know. Big, well, because there's a big war going on right okay, now. You know what, Doug? You know what? What's funny is I know nothing about it because I don't watch the news. Maybe. Okay, okay. Tony, can, maybe you can shed some light on it for okay, me, but please. Let him finish and then yeah. we'll come in. Go okay. Ahead. All right, okay. Ro Robert Hernan Roberto Robert. Hernandez. Robert. Robert Roberto. doesn't have a T at the end of it. Robert. No, Roberto. So it's Robert. Roberto. <laughs> Roberto Hernandez. Sorry, uh, he dropped five dollars. He said, "Without Ukraine toes, joking aside, some ladies painting the pinky toe, all skin, no nail, <laughs> go, no go, no go." That's some George Lopez. Shit yeah, right Robert there. Hernandez. Much love, much respect, big dog. <laughs> But you know what? Even though they may be having a war over there, we pay for them, but we're having peace here. Um, I'll be right back. I gotta take a fucking piss. Okay. Okay. Um, Chuko, go hold it down, bro. Chuko, come down here. And hold say, say in the West, drop some more money. Hold me down. Yeah. Say, uh, let me see. Yeah, saying West, drop more money. He said, or, and Antonio Brito, he said, yo, Dom, how's Tomas? Can you get him on the rodeo? I, I'm gonna ask him right now when he comes back. Wait, wait, say that again? He I'm said, Yo, Dom, how's Tomas? Can you get him on Rodium? I'm on the World 805, Tomas. The I'm not sure who Tomas is. Oh, yeah, he's the one who has under World 805, the record label. So, yeah, he used to play like, he started with what, uh, Dominator Triple C back in the day. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're gonna have to school me because I don't know who that guy is. Oh, yeah, so now he, he used to put put him on, you know, get their tours going and, and okay. get the record label going. Oh, what is he? Is he a manager or what? Yeah, well, he was like a, like a promoter, you know, like a, the. Manager for the record label, so I know he helped out with CLS, Triple Right, C, right. All, okay, all okay. Stuff back then. I, I mean, I'm not trying to disrespect, but I always tell people if you came out in 2002 to 2017, I, I didn't hear of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I always tell people that. So. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, no, so, no. That's, I, that's what the question was. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So, uh, other than that, don't trip. I don't text Did no one back. Who okay. said anything? Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, somebody wanted Tomas to get on. They said we put yeah. a word. There's hand sanitizer. If you case you took a piss outside, <laughs> and you want to shake my hand later, don't fucking <laughs> hygiene is real big here at Rolling Radio. At least, two pumps. <laughs> <laughs> you hear what he said? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Like put the small little pito. Yeah, it, it fit. If, if it fit, then yeah, handle it. There was a spot where I... Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he was. What did you say? Hey, bro. Are you talking about some type of flashlight attached to the fucking... No, like, I put my dick on the fence and it didn't shock me. I was like... You were waiting for the shot? Okay. It was like a gamble. No flashlight? You know what I mean? I was like, is this shit going to hurt? I let it sit on the wire, and I was like... Pass the wire. <laughs> I, I, I let it sit on the wire. <laughs> <laughs> it shot. I was like, it didn't shot. Pinche maniaco. Why don't you get back on? Huh? Gracias. Uh, no yeah. Okay, let's keep it pushing. I had to have my uh, homie Chuko sit in for it's me It's funny, because th that same fence was the same fence Miss Pac-Man used to walk through. Anyway, um... <laughs> Who? A gobble gobble. I know this fucking. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That, that, that name don't even exist. What's up, though? Yes. Who's Eastside Click? That's a that's a, a actually a, a um. Think about it. Dude, I already told you my memory. What did I tell you about my fucking memory? That's Kilo's homies. Okay. Eastside Click. Okay. 
Hey, yes, I am cool with them. They're my homies. Person. I've actually done music with them. They're fucking cool ass motherfuckers. They're from okay. fucking Oxnard. There's another question by Anthony Brito. He says, Yo, Dom, Only if they drop money. How's Tomas? Can you get him on Rodium Radio? That is my boy, and yes, I could get him on Rodium Radio. Who is Tomas, bro? I don't know who that is. Who's Tomas? Is he an artist, rapper? No, he is the head label of a. Excuse me. I need another drink. Okay. So he's the rapper. Mm. Okay. He's the head head president of 805 Underworld Records. 805 Underworld. Okay, cool. Remember, there's Murray, which was... Remember you interviewed Murray? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Interviewed. <laughs> you interviewed Murray, yeah. which was uh, the head of... What was it? Uh, Familia Records. Familia Records. Tomas, which was... I don't want to say rivalry, but at the same time, he was the head of 805 Underworld Records. He wasn't like a royalty or nothing, was he? No, he wasn't like a royalty. Okay. He was Tomas. All right. Murray is Murray. Royalty is royalty. Okay. Tomas is Tomas. All right. So I, I, they all have their own personalities. Okay. Right? He... I, I want to say Tomas was like a big thing for the 805 area because he brought out CLS. Cali Lifestyle. Dope. And anyone, everyone knows that Cali Lifestyle for 805 was like the first big rappers of our area. That's dope. That's dope. They led the trail for Central Coast Click and anything else. I, I was glad to be a part of yeah. their shit. Yeah. Because it helped me out with raising our shit, yeah. which was Central Coast Click. And people always, they always, uh, uh, um, they always mix the groups up. CLS, uh, Cali, La uh, Cali Lifestyle, Central Coast Click, and they always mix us up. But um, no, there's Cali Lifestyle, and there's yeah. Central Coast Click. Now, now you know, I, this might be a dumb question. And probably because there's two of them, two right. of us. So, two Mexicans. Oh, two Mexicans! Yeah, it's no, dude. There's now. now let me ask you this. This may this may be a dumb question, no, but just in case the people no dumb questions. Well, Sorry. the people that may not know, did they ever confuse you two groups as Norteños? No. Okay. No, no, they always know that we were Southsiders. You know, it's funny because when I booked you guys, why are you gonna interview some Norteños? And I was like, what the fuck? How the fuck is that? Like, like, I don't know, bro. Like he. Here's what pe how people in L.A. think. If you're not from L.A. and you're that way, you're Norteño. No, 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 no. It's, it's fucked up, bro. I think it stops after uh, Paso Robles. Okay. So the Central Coast is still, we're still Southsiders in that area. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly bro. Yeah. Yeah, if, if I were to fucking get locked up right now, I'd, I'd be a Southsider. Yeah. If so I were to fucking get locked up anywhere else. Actually, you know, because of the tree speed. Right. Peace treaty right now it you know it can you imagine getting locked up and you're like you're walking in like this and then like are you sureño norteño what gang you from i'm a cuck <laughs> <To the road>. <laughs> <laughs> to the right i'm a bull i don't want to get to the left i don't want to get too political with it right now but you know yeah well, that's why I I'm glad there's a right peace treaty right now. Everything's cool. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. that's all I gotta say about that. Oh good. So, <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on. I gotta answer this question because this is yeah, a wheel Tony's question. Tony's getting his fucking Hold on. This is a wheel mask question. Here you go. <sighs> Tony, when are you going to visit us in El Roto, California, Avalon, and I Street, we yeah, must next. That's for you, dog. That, that was true. T-Mobile. Okay, check this out. That's on T-Mobile. Shit, I've had my phone in my pocket. This check this out, time. big dog. Uh, whoever you are. I whoever still, you are. Yeah, I'm, still here. I'm here on L Street and Brawl Street. So whenever you want to come visit me, come visit me. Okay? Wherever I go, I go by myself. So other than that, uh, if you're going to call me up, Go to my crib, big dog. Stay in the corner of Broad and L. You'll come out. Knock on my door and ask for me, and I'll come out. Okay? Other than that, uh, as far as this L Street and whatever, T-Mobile, like, I don't know where that's at, big dog. So, let's go. 
I want to uh, send a shout out to my homie Cisco. Yeah, of course. He was supposed to come with me, but it's all good, dog. Yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, he wanted to be here. He's been wa- actually been wanting to come because he's into like a, a okay. SB12s and shit like that. Okay. Like he At one point, he had one. He's like, bro, if I had one, I would help Tony fucking... Uh, I would help. I would have already helped Tony transfer those files over. Yeah. Yeah. I told him about that. About yeah. the shit. About you wanting to transfer the files over. And he yeah. used to have three of them. Fuck. Three SB twelves. I had two at a time. But he sold. A- he sold all of them. He's like, Dah. he put it this way, Doug. He felt your pain. Yeah. Okay. He felt cool. your pain. He was like, bro. He wants to be. He wants to come on the show just because he can relate to all the, yeah, yeah. the, the you know, yeah. the circuitry and all the, the drum machine shit and all right. that. All good, big dog. Um, Why other, don't you talk cool. about what you're trying to do with that? As far as my drum, yeah. Well, you know, let me just throw out there. Even though I don't think any of you guys have one, you never but know, it, dog. That's you never know. So I'm gonna throw it out there. there. Yeah. If you have an SP12, not the SP12, but the SP1200. The SP-1200 by EMU, E-M-U. If you have an SP-1200, uh, I need one right now because what I do, I have the S-2400. It's by Isla Instruments. I have it in the next room, and I'm going to show it to you when oh, we, yeah, before we get out of here, okay? Yeah. You know, and um, I need to transfer my sounds onto a USB so that I can, you know, put it on the SD card to my drum machine. Because, that, look, I have Dr. Dre sounds. DJ slip sounds, uh, DJ quick sounds. I need to get back on track. If you guys want beats, you guys want to hit me up, but I, I don't charge cheap. Like, don't come at me with three beats for fifty dollars. I don't do weekend specials like a lot of these weekend. But beside the point, he's looking for someone to transfer. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold he's on. Looking for SB twelve. I'm trying to make a fucking point because these <laughs> motherfuckers, like, these are the cock blockers that fuck us up. Uh, um, I do three beats for a hundred dollars. I don't do that shit. If, if, if they're going to do that, it's because they're giving you a fucking sample that they bought. Not a tailor-made beat. Look, Dom, say you're a rapper, not a producer. I know. And you come to me, Tony, I need you to produce. I know. Hey, Dom, I'm telling you this fucking much. Why? Because I'm going to do a beat for you. Okay? I don't have 100 beats on my laptop. Pick one. I don't do that, bro. I know, you but know? fuck all that. We're just trying to get a transfer. What we want is someone with a I know, fucking but, SB twelve. I know, but you got me on my feelings. I know, but fuck but anyways, all that. Fuck okay, all that. we if, want someone with the SB twelve hundred to help us out. Yeah, if you have one, transfer sounds. Fuck what? Do you know what I mean? Fuck what I said. But anyways, <laughs> it, we're not trying to fucking promote all that shit here. What we're trying to do is get an SB fucking twelve. If you have an SB twelve, let me know. I'll rent it from you, and I'm gonna take it to will, Dom's. We and will we'll, tr- we'll transfer that shit. We will pay you. Yes. To help us transfer that shit out. You know why? Because How long would it, you think that you shit You know why? Would... Because your drum is bomb. <laughs> <laughs> two days, bro. Two your days. Your drum is cool. Hey, I'll, figure that shit out for you. Two, two. Dog, if you would have already figured it out, We need two days. I got this. Believe me. How long do you think that would take? Two days? Two days. We are looking for SB12, someone who's not a fucking hater. Exactly. Someone who's not a fucking hater that will donate their SB12 to let us transfer fucking sounds. Yes. Not a fucking hater. Yeah. That will be like, oh, no, because you're going to fucking do dope shit. No, motherfucker. Help us out. Yes. Okay. Real quick. Raymond Curley. Hey, Tony. Hey. That DJ Rectangle in it was dope. Thank you, my bro. Dude, I haven't seen that, dude. Thank you, you for, know, thank you for being out. part of it, bro. I ha- dog, I have not seen the Rectangle interview yet. It's all right. He just came out yesterday. You don't do interviews. Yeah, he don't dog, do interviews. But he, I've I, been spinning Rectangle records since I was fucking, I don't know, 21. You got to see the people who are hitting him up in his DMs. It's ridiculous. Dog, I have every Rectangle record. It's funny. I have every rectangle record, dog. All the tools. All really? The, yes. You know what's funny? I never all had because, one. You know why? I was obsessed with the... the um, I never had one. 
I was obsessed with all the little fucking ear, the little. Uh, uh, but you know what? What are they called? The 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 little slices. But you know what? I had him here. That's oh. better than the vinyl. Uh, yeah, but if you grew up with rectangle like I did, if you grew up with Tony A like I did, well, I grew up with Tony A too, motherfucker. I grew yeah. up with both of you, motherfucker. I used to look at myself in the mirror and say, "I fucking love you." Well, I didn't say that. Puto, eighty-eight, <laughs> boom. <laughs> I didn't say all that shit. Eighty-eight. <laughs> No, that was a whack ass scratch. I, no, you know what? No, like, you no, want no, me to no. do a dope one? G- give it a dope one. I'll give you a dope one. Uh, let me see. I, I, I. Hold on. I love you. That was how I said from New York. Yeah. Oh, you want to do a West Coast one? Give us the West Coast. West Coast. I love you. That was the beat junkie scratch. scratch. Uh, yeah, that was beat junkie, huh? Yeah. Okay, let me think West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, didn't Red Table just hit you, right? That's crazy. No, you got you got devil. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I love you. That's a good one. That's the West Coast. Yeah. That's good. Sorry, man. I don't like Mac Morrison, dog. That Mac Morrison sounds. You know what? Mark Morrison sounds like fucking Elon's fucking. I'm uh, not Elon. Uh, what's his name? Um, somebody said unplug Alice's mic. He's talking too much. Who's Allison? Allison, I'll unplug you. Mark Morrison sounds like Akon's dad. Tell me, Mark Morrison doesn't sound like Akon's dad. For those of you who don't know, Alex has his pants all the way down to his knees, and he's he, he's okay. yanking on his foreskin because his dick's Let's not long enough. Let's get into this. He <laughs> said Mark Morrison, and I said he sounds like Akon, like he would be Akon's dad. Yes. Give me your give me your shot. yes or no. Give me your shot glass. Yes. Do you know who who and who is? Of who, course, right? I know who Mark Morrison is. No, he doesn't. What was the song as? Mark hey. Morrison. I'm not even going to get into it. What was the Mark Morrison joint? Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. The All right. Only, there's only hit. Return of the Mac. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, and now, uh, the return, I got locked up. Same shit, right? Well, that's probably where you started from. Locked up, return of the Mac. Right? Is this the same shit? Yeah, my trip. Just like or- Montel Jordan. There's a how it Calmate puto. Now tell me I'm you tripping. You beat that fucking sample from fucking Slick Rick. Tell me I'm tripping. Am I tripping? No, tell me. Hold on, What about the song with him and Gwen Stefani where in the back he's like, ooh, wee, ooh, the whole damn song. <laughs> Sweet Escape song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. No, that's, that's, uh, that, Sweet Escape. That, that, that's Akon, me. Hey, that, that's what I said. He did the, the ooh, wee, ooh, the whole damn yeah. song. Yeah. He had to do it one time and he looped it, he looped yeah, it. The, that shit was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and he got paid. Yeah, he got paid. Super paid. Mm. Smack that. Oh, I'm sipping mine, bro. That's why. That's I'm, I'm sipping mine, so if each other accuse me, <laughs> Tony. We got to get the gimp. Uh, I'm going to hear it on the way home. Yeah. We got to get the gimp. I can't fucking believe Tony got hey, the best of me. You know what? I ain't got to drink this shit by myself. Fuck that shit. <sighs> done with the wizard? Done with the, done with the wizard. <laughs> Reach. <laughs> Robert Hernandez, Return of the Mac. Oh, shit, he wouldn't have got his own fucking beer. No, I got your beer, motherfucker. Okay, here we go. Let's you go. Said the gargoyle was slow. <laughs> gargoyle. Come That's another. the last beer. Sit past here slowly. <laughs> Fake ass Akon. See my homeboys from back in the days, they know me. We got white claws. They're like, after oh yeah, Dom ain't gonna. No. Yeah. Hey, hey, those white claws. Are, 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 <laughs> those white claws. Those white claws been waiting for you. <laughs> you don't drink often, but when you do, you drink with the wizard. Mm-hmm. So, stay thirsty, my friends. Okay, Magic Rose active. Motherfucker, you hold put on, hold that on. shit down and didn't even take a sip. Puto, I'm trying to fucking. I'm trying to entertain the people. What the fuck? Did you see that? You guys seen that, right? I fucking, oh, cheered them, and the motherfucker went. 
Caputo. What the fuck was that? Oh, because I didn't think you were gonna catch me. Okay, that was a good drink though. Okay. Magic was active. She said, "Icon or whatever, uh, pimp, gimp juice, gimp juice." Gimp. Damn. Okay, gimp. we gotta ask her a question. Uh, Alex, you gotta ask Magic girl a question. All right. After that, we're fucking out of here. No, we're Pretty. not. We gotta drink these beers. Oh, this is dominated with the wizard. Yeah. Okay, cool. Whatever. Actually, you guys got a bottle still right there. Fuck. <laughs> it does. You cannot say that and not take a shot. No, uh, no, 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 oh. father and oh. son. Take a shot, I'll take a shot too. You ain't scaring me with a good time. Come on. Come on. No, he, that's his birthday. Oh, it's your birthday, birthday, motherfucker. He's 35, so. 35? <laughs> Don't we play no age how, how, how old are you, dog? I'm 30. One. See? See what I'm saying? So like 20. Okay. Uh, magic girl. No, you, you know what? Okay. A uh, a down. Come over here in the in the in the shot, dog. Yeah, come over here, Mio. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah. hold on. This is my son right here. He just done thirty one tonight, and uh, he was over there fucking taking uh, fucking hundred dollar fucking steak shots. Yeah. So was. Uh, yeah. Okay. So hundred dollars. I don't know what the fuck. Nah, you go to Fogo de Chao, you eat all the meats, bro. Everything. What's it? What's the place uh, called? What's it called? Fogo de Chao. Fogo de Chao. That sounds like a bad word. Bro, $67. Yeah, yeah. You, Fogo, you fucking Fogo the child. Eat everything. $67. One person, you eat everything. Can I Damn. eat your Fogo the child? Just the shots are a little expensive. Okay, right? okay, you were talking about Magic Girl. What happened? Well, well she's active on there. So so we have to ask her a question. Um, I, I don't know if she knows what this is. What is this, $35 shots? I'm Damn. Fun. Okay, here's my thing. Yeah, I don't want to go. I don't want to go home. No, it's okay. It's okay. Do you know what an alpha or beta male is? Yeah. Okay, you know what it is. Okay. I don't know. Let's just ask. Uh, whatever, whatever. Magic oh, girl. Hold on. Alex, ask this. Magic girl, are you into alpha or beta males? Okay. Hey, shout out Gorilla Strong from Virginia. Okay. What did it say? Gorilla Strong. Shout out Tony A. Love from Well, you should have just brought her here. Hold so on. We could all be here fucking talking shit. <laughs> okay. Gorilla Strong, Mijo, what did it say? Shout out Tony A. Love from Love from Virginia. Love from Virginia. Dope. Gorilla Strong. Thank you, big dog. Thank you. So, uh, Magic Girl, putting you on this fucking spot, saying you wanted to be up late night with us. Um, are you into alpha or beta males? That's a fair question because... She likes dominant. Okay, well, that will be an alpha. Okay. She likes alpha males. Okay, so how the fuck you, you know? Huh? I could just tell by the people that she dates. Who does she date? Well, I'm not going to tell you who the fuck she dates. What the fuck? You said it's dining with the wizard. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> well, I'm just I'm just asking. Sorry. It's obvious. She, she doesn't date, like little pussies. She dates Leatherface she and Michael like Myers. She doesn't like little fucking pussies. Okay. She doesn't. So. You could tell. She does not like little pussies. She said That's my homegirl. She put alphas only. Uh, now, does go. that mean al alfalfa? No. <laughs> 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 With the little harem and shit. Oh, Come on. So, okay, what did it say? Hey, well, this is too much fun. Two dollars, two sopas for B scanners. That was Raymond Curly. Hell yeah. So, hell yeah, we got two sopas. Yep. Like, straight up, we go to. Hell yeah. Hell, you know what I'm saying? Man, we get the little shrimps and we just put them. Do you yeah, want to do this shit? Nah, no, nah, I'm good. Okay. Like, I don't like that pussy shit. Yeah. Two sopas for B scanners. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. So, anyways, yeah. Thank you. Thank we you. We look like boy. alcoholics. With why do I have to have all the bottles up here? Well, look, this will be my fourth one right here. Yeah. Why do I have to look like the fucking alcoholic? Well, because you're my guest. I know. I understand. Okay. But Dom has me, been my friend. Let me move this since shit. 2015. Out of the. Tell me when I'm out okay, of look, the picture. Magic girl said you've been. You've been. Am I yeah. out of the picture? Yeah. You're, you're good. Yeah. No. Well, tell okay. me when my bottles are out of the oh, picture. You're good now. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah. Okay, see, I don't look like an alcoholic okay. anymore. <laughs> Forever. Hey, there's still uh, big ass casadores in the middle. Where? Hold on. No, no, no. Oh, right that's right. both of us. <laughs> that's cool. oh, right. Magic Girl says, uh, you've been my friend since 2015. Oh, yeah. Have you ever dated? No. Dog. She's I'm, my homegirl. I'm just asking. No, 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 no. Okay. So we're good. Yeah, no. 
call a homegirl homegirl, that means she's your homegirl. Do you okay. have more music coming out with her, like the stuff you did then recently for her? Yes. Because that's the type of stuff I like to hear. At least because it's different. It don't sound like nobody else. And she needs to perform that type of shit for sure. Yeah. I'll no, be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't really like too much of her other stuff. And I asked her, what's your favorite song? Right. That stuff. She didn't give me an answer. She didn't have any. But I told her I specifically liked that one. No, I, 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 dad that too often. I like when Magic Girl does funk. Yeah, that, that was totally different. I told my dad, gave an old feel. It was dope. It's, it's dope. funk. No, it's dope. That's what it is. It's straight funk, dog. Yeah, and she, she I think, I think she's opened her eyes to that, and she's she's always had her eyes open to that, but now she's starting to act on it more. And you got and that flip rock band? Okay. Yeah, That's yeah, cool. yeah. She has a whole album of nothing but funk now. I, I want to say it's, Drop that. It, it has a sound from anywhere from what, like Drop 82 that. to about 86. Drop that. That's the sound she's going for. Is, Drop is that. that sound. That's cool, that's Which cool. is my cup of tea all day. So when she, when me and her connected, we're like. She put. Yeah, she we're, put. Both, we're both fucking feeling that shit. And we're both, you know what I mean? And, and, and people might assume just by seeing us working together. Oh, you guys are dating. But. We just relate on musically the same thing. It's because people are weird to me. People, well, if people you would have thought that right yeah, away. Yeah, once you see someone in the in the studio with someone else, you're like, oh, they're fucking. No, dude, they they're. Isn't just, it funny that you could be in stu in studio with a dude and then they will never think that? Exactly, like. <laughs> so if I saw you in the studio with seven. No, I wouldn't you, be like the fucking would, exactly. You wouldn't think that, but the minute, well, I would. But you know, the minute just, you see me with any <laughs> <laughs> fucking dick, <laughs> the minute you see a guy and a girl, <laughs> Doug, uh, put it this way: I, I have, and I, I've told you about this before, Tony. I, I have a, a artist, Lucha. Okay, my first artist that I've ever decided to put out. Yeah. Out of all the years, all the girls that have came through, right. I decided to put this one girl out. Okay. Because I believed in her. Okay. Her name is Lucha. Lucha Libre. Lucha Libre. Yeah. Lucha. She's fucking dope as fuck. She has, she has a perfect look. She has a perfect sound. She has everything that I believe in as a funk artist. Okay. She follows everything that I decide to do. Okay. So if, if I say this is good for you, she believes in it, which is so, perfect for me because yeah, very rare. It's very rare, dog, because I have a vision and she decided to go with it, yeah. which is not a lot of the girls are down to do. Right. But she did. Okay. Dude, wait till you guys hear what the fuck we've done. You're going to hear it tonight. You guys aren't. <laughs> you know, and let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. You know why? Let me tell you why. And I know you know why. Bomb. I know you know why. See, Be Because the thing is, if you reveal to the public what you're doing, they will copy it. Fuck. Tell me, hey, or dog. Bite your shit. Tell me I'm not speaking fucking words of wisdom to your fucking brain. Bro, can I be honest with you? People can hate me for saying this, but I'm going to speak facts. Raza. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. Go. Go. Raza are some of the fucking biggest biters. Period. You know what it is? Because it isn't that we lack talent. No, we have plenty. Raza has talent. Plenty. You know what it is? They lack Creativity. Creativity. Instead of ste stepping outside the box, you know what you know what we think. That's what, that's what's working for that's Dominator. That's doing good. That's doing good. Let's do that. That's what's working for Tony A. Let's do that. Let's do that. That's what's that's what's working for fucking Daza. Let's do that. That's what's working for Magic Girl. Let's do that. That's it. We like creative. We don't like talent, bro. So so because of that and because i know me and you are on the same page yes i choose not to do little clips because everyone knows i'm they know me like i love to put my little clips of shit that i'm working right. and doing the keyboards and doing but i've been oh it's it's hard it's fucking yeah. hard as fuck not to show what i'm doing with her because right 
I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of the shit that I'm doing with Lucha. Yeah. I want to show it, but I know that if I do, people will bite the fuck out of it. Of course. So course. what I'm doing is I'm holding back. I'm holding back. I'm holding back. I'm holding back. And eventually when it's ready to release, yeah. I'm going to release a visual. I'm going to release, uh, you know, an audio. Yeah. Okay. Which I know you've advised Magic Girl of the same thing. Yes. I know you've told her the same shit. Dude, don't don't show them everything because if if you show them everything, and it's going to get played yes, out. Exactly. It's going to get played out and people are going to bite it. You know what we do today? Am I right or wrong? Absolutely 100%. Here's what we do as Rasa. Don't fucking do this. Let me school you right now. Say that I do a song with you and Magic Girl and we film a video, okay? Yeah. Here's the wrong move. I film it and I post it. I post 30, 30 seconds of it on Instagram. Behind the scenes. It's hard not to, though. Hold it's on, really hold on. It's hard not to. I, right? Is it hard not to? No, it's not hard for me. It's hard for me. Because I'm from the fucking old it's school. It's hard for it's me because hard I like to show Tony. my shit off. Here's my thing. You know what? Here's what we do. I want to build up anticipation. When I post that shit, I already gave you our location and the song and our idea. I don't do that. When I was... It's with, giving them too much. Too much. When I was with yeah. Mr. D... Do not post no pictures, no locations, no no video, no nothing. nothing. I noticed Fuck that. Them. I noticed that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. We as Rasa, we need to start building anticipation. Stop posting up behind the scenes. You know, coming soon, bitch. You just gave us everything. Hey, the guy makes the song the same day and posts up the fucking yeah. song. Yeah, no, I understand. And he goes, the behind plan? the scenes. Okay, look, 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 Doug, look, Dom, one more, one more, one more. Go for it. And I'm going to tell you my point okay. of view. Say that I'm saying I want to do a Tony A and Dom fucking uh, instrumental album. Okay? Guess what? I'm not going to post shit up. Why? Because I'm trying to build up anticipation. I want people to say, fuck, I want to hear it. So when do you post it up? Here's what I do. Coming soon, March 30th. It'll drop. Tony A, I'll give us a snippet. Nope. March 30th, it's coming out. Okay? That's what we do. That's when we now, drop. Now, you, you need to understand. Okay. You have wisdom. Okay. For younger people, it's, it's fucking hard, dog. Mm -hmm. Because... They're so proud to want to share what they have, right? Like, I want to show them now. I know. You know, you know they, what I'm they saying? They make a song today. It's fucking hard, dog. It's got to come out tomorrow. Even for me, it's hard. I'm like, dude, I'm so proud of this. I, I want people to see it now. Don't fucking do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. But it's hard. Look, that's why we have. Let me look, tell you. Look. Let me tell you something Hold else. On. There's no. also, there's also, yeah. there's also Instagram addiction. Yes. You need to understand. Of course that. Maybe, I, maybe you don't have it like other people have it. There, there's we, an addiction to wanting to be noticed. That's people's life. Yeah. It's their, it's their Bro. life. And, and maybe you might not relate to that because you're not, you're not the. I can relate to it in shortness. When you, you had five pages deleted and you got one whore. Six. That uh, um, has yes, I understand. I understand that Tony. But when you're fucking, when you're 18, when you're 19, all you give a fuck about is wanting to wake up in the morning and seeing that love on your Instagram in the morning. Nah, you're like, that ain't shit. If it don't, yeah, make, it ain't shit. If it don't make dollars, it, ain't shit. it don't make sense. It ain't shit when you're 40. It ain't shit when you're 45. But it's shit to you when you're fucking 18. Fuck them. Okay. <laughs> no, dog. No, no, no. Fuck them. Yeah, that, and I'm gonna say this because I'm trying to teach them. I'm trying to teach them. Build anticipation. No, like, no, 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 no. No, I'm no you, you do have to build. That yeah, I'm not saying fuck them as a person. Like, fuck that whole theory. Like, I gotta show it off. Fuck with no. their thinking. Fuck with their thinking. Yes. Yeah. Wait. Let them. Anticipate that. Shit. Learn from the elders. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Example. That's what you want to say is learn from the elders. Absolutely. I'm not saying fuck the youth. No, I will never no, say no, that. No, 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 I got to encourage exactly. the youth. But like, oh, I'm dropping this tomorrow. Here's a sneak peek. Bitch, you just gave me the song. The song is whack. 
You just gave me the concept of the video. It's fucking whack. <laughs> you just told me where you shot it. It's fucking whack. But don't, what if it's dope? Don't do that. Even if it's dope, don't do it. I got the idea from us. I'm going to ask you this. Even if it's dope, don't How do old it. were you? How old were you? In 1999. In 1999. How old are you? Honestly, be honest with me, bro. You a funk dude. Don't lie. I was 24. 20, you're old enough. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Doc, I'm 40. Okay, hold on one second. I was 15. But go ahead. 1991. Yeah. Dre dropped his first chronic album then. A lot of people don't realize how old the fuck I am. Okay, hold on. You might see it now. I know. Fucking buzz. Dre dropped his shit. Okay. Did he drop a video before that saying dropping this? No, 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 no. no. He just said, "Bitch, I'm here." Thank you. He (laughs) said, "Bitch," but he stalked fucking Dre. But you are a fucking DJ Dominator, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do the same shit. I do it too. Okay? I do so it stop. Too. I stop. do it too. Stop, I do, bro. I do the same shit. You know what it is? I've had people tell me this. Tony, you are our Mexican Dr. Dre. You know what I say? Okay, cool, whatever. I don't act black. Yo, bro, I'm Mexican Dr. Dre. I don't do that. I'm me. But you know what I say? Okay, cool. You know what they're saying? They're they're holding me to a higher standard. They're holding me. To, so I, I have to take that to, in consideration and say this. Okay, for our people, I have to act to a higher standard. Okay? And I'm telling you this. Stop acting to our people in, in this standard. Swamp meets and lowrider car shows. Dom, let me tell you something, bro. If you cut all these guys I don't that even think about car shows, bro. hold on, hold on, bro. I don't, I don't. If you cut all these guys that are paying you right now, bro, I know guys right now that are paying that will pay you more than these other guys that are paying you right now. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Yeah, but you wouldn't go ahead, and spit it out, spit Take it out. Another shot. There's a bottle right there. Okay. Can I speak my mind? Yeah, go ahead. And I'm going to speak to that guy, Tomas. That's why we are here. Can I speak to that guy, Tomas? Doug. All right, Tomas, I'm going to say this. Say what you got to say. With respect, say what you got to say. With respect. This guy right here, okay, needs at least 10K every track. If, If you're not willing to pay that, then don't do that. Because if I was his manager, that's what you'll be paying. 10K for every track. That's all I'm saying, big dog. And you know what? I fucking ran out of this bullshit. So. See what happens. Here we go. That's all we got to do. So. But you need to understand as well. Tomas is not only. I don't need to understand He's not. He's not someone that I only know as a. I understand that, Dom. No, 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 no. Dom, I love you, big dog. And I recognize your fucking talent. I know, I know. But, but you, me and Tomas go a long way back. I get back, it, bro. Doc. I get it. We go a long way back. We are practically like, like family because... I get, and I'm not trying to diss. No, 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 no. Listen, Tony, listen. Whatever. I want to interview. I want to inter- intervene. Let, let me say something real quick oh, no, no, no. before anyone says anything. Ahead, before anyone says anything. Go ahead, go ahead. Not only... Not only... Do we know each other as 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 uh, label mates? Yeah, but we actually know each other as family because his family. I, is, I get it. No, I no, 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 no. You don't. His family is my family. We okay. have people in our family that are families. Well, that's why he should be paying you that much. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I get it, bro. I get it, bro. I I fucking get I, it. Bro, I love the dude like he's family to me. So because of that, I will give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, now because of that, he's like, family. Hey, let's say you had someone that was your. I get. It. I, I I get it, bro. Okay, son. 
you have someone that is involved with yeah. you. Right. I'm going to give them a deal because you're my son. But you know what? Family is family. Business is business. That's the way I see it. I, I, yeah, I, I get that. I'm get not going to be lenient. So all I'm going to say, is, Tomas, if I'm going to interview you, I'm going to call you on on it, big dog, and I'm going to say, you know what? Dominator 10 G's the track. And I know you're not even paying that for an album. I wouldn't charge him that anyway. Because well, that's my boy. Well, you know what? That's why you need a manager. That's true. That's why you need a manager, bro. Yes. Okay, can I be yeah, honest with you? I, 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 I get more, you guys. I get what you're one saying. One more. Totally. One more honesty confession. Hold on. One one more honesty confession. Today I had my boy call me. He goes, how much does Dominator charge for a track? And you know what I said? 10 G's. Okay, let me talk to my company now. I'll get back to you. You know what I said? I had more than 10 G's okay, for you, a track. Okay, hold yeah. on. Tom, I'm going to tell you right now. If I ever get a deal, I'm signing you, and you're not fucking with anybody else, big dog. Straight up. I'm signing you. I'm going to have all your fucking bills paid. You're going to have fun money. You're going to have everything, big dog. You're going to have fun. I want you to come to the studio and think free and say, and just, I'm going to produce. So uh, if you're not taking care of him like that, I'm going to take him from you, straight up. That That's how highly I think of you, big dog. I appreciate that, dog. So here we go. Here we I go. I see how I see how he thinks of you that way. I tell my dad the same shit every time somebody tries to hire him for a show or something. I say, that money ain't right. You need to go hire. But you... You people need to also know. Here we go. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. You people also need to know that if you promised your people. Yes. What you said you were going to charge them. Yes. You're going to continue charging them what you said you would charge them. Don't promise them shit. I understand, but if you already said what you said, you got to be on your word. A man is a man, Tony. I, I, bro, okay, let me. Tell right? You. Am I right? A man is a man. If you, yeah, promised, bro, if you, but I, maybe you I were, it, maybe, you, maybe you but didn't I get it from the hood. A man is a man. If you said you're going to charge this person that, you're going to stay at that fucking price what you said you were going to fucking charge them, and that's But that. imagine if you make a hit, bro. Imagine it if you make a hit. It doesn't fucking matter. So it doesn't go up? It doesn't matter. It can go up, but aside from what you Come said. On, Dom. You what you, hey, Dom, Dom, it you doesn't matter. A man is a man, dog. If you say you, if you said a price, that's your fucking price, and that's that. That's that, dog. Dominator, you get a gold record tomorrow. Soldier Boy hits you up for a beat. That shit ain't worth more than 10K? Then that okay. shit's gonna be sent 10K. But okay, if I yeah, told 10, if I told Tomas it's gonna be this, then that's what it's gonna be. All right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, not gonna argue with you, big dog. If you say to that person that that's what that's gonna be, that's what that, that's gonna be. Anywhere around that, if you contracted that with that other person. Right. You you get what I'm saying, right? Okay, no, I get it. But if I want, you promise, but when am someone, I gonna say? Hold on, when is when is that price ever gonna go up to that one person you promised? Would it ever go up? Would after it, the, after that deal, yeah. Would it ever go up, or are you gonna keep it that? No, no, fuck no, 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 no. It's always negotiable. Okay, now. Now, I'm, you need to understand. Not, no, okay. I'm a businessman. So I get it, bro. It's always if I sign you, if I get a fucking record deal and I sign you exclusively to, hypothetically, Tony Vision, fuck everybody else, you're only putting it Then me. that's what it is. Then that's what it is. That's what it is. DJ it's Dominator it, yes. will be signing to Tony Vision soon. Yes. Because I, big, I got a big budget coming soon. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. Yeah, we got young, young scandalous coming soon. Exclusive. Yeah. Record label. When Young you say talent. exclusive, yeah. then I know what exclusive. So all I'm gonna say this: if you think you're gonna lose him, you better offer him more money. <laughs> you better offer him more money. But Seriously. you get what I'm saying, right? I get it, bro. If you promise someone something, dumb, you, you stick with what the fuck you say you're yes, gonna do. Because you, you know, at a low criteria. Dumb. Dumb. No matter what, no matter what, if dumb. you quoted yourself at a low criteria, then you better stay at low dumb. criteria. No. Dumb. Hold on. No. Shut the fuck up, everybody. I got to take this. See, it's the cavern. Dumb with the wizard I'll be again. Right back. I'll be right back. Chuko, come on, big dog. Come on, Chuko. If you better young start up every animal. You, you, you better start with order that again. If, if, if young Dom don't yeah. trust you, he gonna shoot you. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> so we got now in the meantime. Hey, okay. Yesterday's oh, oh. price is not today's price. Yeah, yesterday's price, not today's price. Big dog. <laughs> Let me say this. Here's my thing. Say that Dominator's getting paid, I don't know, five hundred dollars a track. Whatever. And I'm a record label and I got a hundred thousand laid out, ready to go. Yo, bro, I got ten thousand dollars a track. Do you think it's fair that he charges me ten thousand and he charges fucking lame? You know. Yeah, no, and the way he's saying is that he's not gonna go up, but I feel like it needs to come up, you know. Thank you. Yeah, because let me tell you board, I mean, you can't stay at one price because you said it fucking twenty years ago. It's Thank like, you. Yeah. That's all. I I'm get saying. what you're saying. Yeah, you know what? I say that in reference to looking, looking, you know. Um, yeah, on the outside looking in. Yeah. Yeah, don't see more. Dom, get some hand sanitizer. Because you just finished finish grabbing your fucking wee wee. Okay, stop. <laughs> dirty hands? Dirty dumb, eh? Dirty dumb. Dirty dumb. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> right there, man. Show him. Show him, yo. Show him. It's on the table, though. Don't lick your hands again. <laughs> Fuck. This guy licked his own pee pee. He's ruthless, eh? He licked his own foreskin. Anyways. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> We're from the tunnel again. Oh yeah. Muchas gracias. Yeah, let okay. me know when you want me back. We'll get we'll get some a time in. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Please DM me, okay? Oh yes. Okay. All right, Dom. I need you back because we need to give us some shout outs. So Dirty Dom. Let's go. Well let's go. Okay. Fuck with the robot we're talking about. Let's give some shout outs. You got some shout outs you wanna give? We out of here. I'm going to give a shout out to Underworld Records. I'm going to give a uh, shout out to Static Studio Records, which is Kay. my fucking shit. Kay. I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Magic Girl. I'm talking I'm to the fucking mic. I'm fucking swearing. You be drinking lean on I'm it. having a good time, dog. That means I'm, if I'm slurring, I'm having, I'm having a good time. Lean with it, rock with it. Go ahead. You say that shit again? Lean with it, rock with it. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give a shout out to my homie Chuko. Okay. I'm going to give a shout out to my homie Crazy Boy. I'm going uh, uh, to give a shout out to my parents. Because I know they're watching this shit. They, I'm sorry. Hey, they watch all <laughs> your shit, dog. Parents, I'm sorry. I'm not talking talk about cucks. all the gravy shit. Yeah. All the shit. They watch. I'm sorry. Dog. I'm sorry about the cucks. I'm sorry. Dude. Bro, me and Sad Girl have. Uh, she was okay. supposed to be here. Actually, I'm I'm a a fitch. Uh, take your time. Take, take your time. Do it right. You can do it, baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> take your time. Do it right. You can do it, baby. Now. It's okay. This is where I wanted to be. I wanted to get to the point where I was buzzing. Sad Girl. I did some shit for her album. Okay. Hopefully she does some shit for my, my album. And did you just yawn? Yeah, because the motherfucker left her fucking door open. It's fucking cold. My bad. Get the fuck out of here. Was that me? No. I'm like Keanu Reeves right now. I'm cold. Keanu it, Reeves? It's the pull of Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Close the motherfucking door, bitch. It, it's, the, it's the polar vortex, bro. Yeah. Yeah, there he goes. Come on. Keep it pushing. Me and Sad Girl have some shit together. Dope. Put it that way. Okay. That's cool. We got some shit together. Hey, you guys know there is a polar vortex. Make a lot of noise. Right? What about Ron Jeremy? Do she you have anything? Make a lot of noise. Oh, any? oh, me and Ron Jeremy have a new film. Okay, cool. Nah, yeah. for real? Yeah. yeah, we got a new film. Yeah. Okay, cool. You guys don't even want to see who's on it yet. All right, nah, let's keep nah. it pushing, though. Nah. Let's, let's go to As long as I got my cameo on there, I'm good. Yeah, it's a threesome yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, foursome shit with you. Nah, man. So, okay, let's keep it going. All right, what else? That's it? You been out of shout outs? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, what? No, I, I, I got a question. I got a question. Dude, I love that shit. Real quick. Is there anybody you want to work with right now? Right now. Anybody that's top of this, you haven't been able to reach or get a hold of? Who, who do you want to work with? Anybody like famous, not famous, whatever. Yeah, yeah, famous, not famous, dead, whatever. Like you don't have to mention. You. Who do you yeah. want to work with? Like you don't have to mention me. 
Just this go might ahead. seem fucking weird as fuck. Don't mention me. Just no, keep, no, keep going. Don't mention my dad. Mention somebody else, please. Um, okay, Google. Um, outside Google. of Tony A, who would I? Google. Yeah. He said Google. I like that shit. He's bringing up Dom. You need to check out Dom. You need to check out. Like, if I go over there, you guys better cook food. Yeah, something. keep going. Keep going, bro. Dog, are you going to roll through? He keeps telling yes. me like two times already. Dog. Thank you. What do you like to eat? Fire ass carne salad. No, yeah. try Timio oh, oh, on oh, red oak. Santa Maria, huh? Santa Maria. Santa Maria? Yes. Okay, April, oh, oh, no, no, no. I got family in Santa Maria. Okay, yeah. Oh, try Timio. Sure. Okay, then I we need family, yeah. then we need to go to a, a Rebels joint. Okay. Let's do it. Rebels joint. Because you, you've, yeah, you've had Rebels barbecue. Mio, every time I went there, he's, he's got a pussy popping. Seriously. Every time I've gone there. <laughs> and I'm just playing because we're live. <laughs> no, no, my homie Rebel. Wow, that's my Central Coast click partner. Yeah. Not click, not not clip, not but click, click. Click. Yeah, exactly. So Rebel, don't get it twisted. Fucking Rebel has it popping on the barbecue. I've been there. But artist, artist wise. No, you said food wise. Yeah, well, food too, shit. Of course, food. No, wise. if you want a, a good ass try tip. I know that's the spot out there. Like if you want to no, try no. somebody's tip. Rebel. No. Barbecues. No, no. Well, if you want to Come try on, somebody's dog. tip, you go to Santa Maria. You said it's cut out. Rebel throws down the, fu the fucking bomb ass barbecue. Yeah. He'll throw the meat on your grill. <laughs> like, like I'm serious. Hey, if you want to go there, he'll throw the meat down yeah. on your grill. Yeah. Like, like. <laughs> Like he'll straight slap your his meat upon your grill. Yes, yes. <laughs> bitch. Yes. <laughs> that guy, that guy. Yes. Okay. We'll pull up. Yes. Rebel will throw it down when it comes to barbecue. Rebel throws it down. Cause I can't barbecue for shit. Artist though, who who do you want to work? Can you see yourself doing something like Cardi B or somebody? Like, uh, give us at least three hours that uh, you was like, I I I can fuck with them. I, I would love, Hurry up, love I'm, to I'm, work with Tinashe. Okay. Okay. Two more. She did that song with Schoolboy yes. One more. One more. Yes. I would love two to more, work two more. with a... Uh, uh, two more because I, I got to take fucking, a fucking, fucking piss. Go take your piss, Tony. No, no, no. Keep going, bro. Yeah, yeah, I've held it more than okay, you. I would so love, I've showed, okay, that, okay, I've showed okay, that I'm okay, more okay, than calmate, a man than you. Calmate, calmate. I would love, love to work with Sabrina Claudio. Oh, dude. I did a remake of uh, one of her joints. Yeah. I, I don't want to. What about Alex Cervantes? I don't want to reveal it because they don't. Oh, Alex. Alex fucking gets down, you know, dog. He, yeah, exactly. He gets, he gets like really down. Like, seriously, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how much, how down does he get, Tony? I mean, because you spend the most time with them. How? How down does he get? Force came down, big dog. Oh, Just damn. Dog. Alex, like that? I don't know what the hell he's like talking that? about. Like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just too many too many shots, bro. Too many shots. Fuck. Yeah? <laughs> anyways, tomorrow I got menudo coming, they say. So anyways. Let's dog, why you got to tell me that knowing I have to go home? Well, you know. You know, I, Chuko's driving me home, right? I, I know, but I wish you luck. That, at least you gotta appreciate that. I wish you luck. That's fucked up. Yeah. Instead of saying, "Dog, you you could fucking stay. We could have a noodle." Yeah, I wish you luck. Yeah. Well, you could stay here on a table, you know. But on table, he didn't say. He didn't even say on the table. He said on table. Well, yeah, because you sleep naked and you're stringing boots. Sleep naked. <laughs> I sleep naked. Not I sleep. On the table, nigga. I sleep naked. Bro, just tell everybody that you run miles and bike shorts. Tony, tell me this. Did what? you have fun having me here? You could say no or you could say yes. No, I didn't. I like how you nod your, your head yes. <laughs> My brother, I love you. I love you, bro. Me and Tony have done. I love you, and I'm just fucking you guys lying because I'm fucking ready buzzed. to hear. So, yeah. This guy like always invites me to his place and he's always telling me, bring your G string trench coat. I'm like, no, nah, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? But I still do. Did I make you go over? How much did I make you go over? 
We were supposed to do two hours. How long did we do? It's almost two hours. How long did we do? Four hours. Yeah, we did four hours. What time is it? It's going to be 12 to 7 minutes. Seven minutes. Ooh, Let's that, keep it going. Seven minutes. We got seven that minutes. That means we had a good time. Yeah, we got to break the record. Okay. This shit burned my throat yeah, right I now. I got a question. I got a question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever done any beats or anything where you gave it to someone or you sold it to them and you're like, fuck that. I want my shit back. That shit was whack. I'm going to take a piss. Hold on. You know what? I, I've done shit for people and uh, I thought that in my brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. For his birthday. Go ahead this on, is go. Tony Jr. Okay, Tony Jr. Uh, just a little bit more money, you know. So, uh, not, <laughs> you should fill in for your dad every once in a while. Uh, every no, once in a while. No, uh, no, no, everyone. Have you done it yet? Yeah, no, I do done it with the wizard. Are you fucking around for the time? No, no, have, have you done the interview with him where you're the one interviewing? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm the one booking people and shit. <laughs> that's, that's my job. Every once in a while, you should be the one. No, I'm, I'm out recruiting people and shit. Getting people like interviewing nah, people. I, yeah, I nah, get too drunk. This I'll is talk good. Shit, this is I have good. like twenty homies right here, and you know, it wouldn't be fun. It's cool because you're. We're different. Me and my dad. Yeah, like right on. All right. Cool. So, question: Anybody you you have you have gave them a beat, sold them a beat or something, and it was whack, and you're like, no, I don't. I kind of want it back. Has you ever had that kind of experience? Yeah, I have, but. I understand as a producer, you have to give people your best. Yeah, all the time. I believe that all the time. Because if you don't give them your best, uh, how do I explain it? Um, you're not shit unless you give people your best. I believe that because my dad always would always tell me for, since, since day one, a hundred percent. If it ain't hundred percent, then what the fuck you doing? Yeah. What? What? Why are you a producer? No. Yeah. Yeah. That. That definitely be the reason. You're getting the fucked up version of me because I'm starting to get. I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> no, no, no. I hear you. No, hear this you. is the best time to interview me. Um, we already talked about people you want to work with. People maybe you haven't sent a beat or you did send a beat to and didn't really like it. Yeah. No. Well, if 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 put it this way, if if you. If you hold the best in for just you and you keep it, mm -hmm. why are you a producer? Okay. What the fuck is your business producing if you're just going to keep it the best for you? You're right. No, no, I feel does that, that. Does that I, make no, sense? I feel that. I feel that. But that goes back to like about like posting yeah, snippets. I get what you're saying, but think about it. If, if you're out to give people the best of what you are, to make them the best of what they are. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you doing? No, I hear you. I hear you on that. I hear you on that. Like, you have to bring out the best in somebody. If you ain't bringing out the best, what are you guys doing? That's exactly what, what you're that's saying. That's what you're doing. You're a producer. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are you doing? Have you been in? The, have you been in the studio? Or you been with people where you feel like they ain't giving you the best? They're fucking wasting your time. Yes, I, of course. Of and course. they paying you for your time. Yeah, they're paying me, and, and I'm still. And you ain't want to throw that money back to get the fuck out? No, no. I'm at, at at that point. I'm like, let me see what I can do with them. Okay. Let me see if I can still make them fucking pop. Let me okay. still see if I can make them fucking sound as dope as they can be. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'll have someone who's mediocre, and I'm like, ah. Oh, now, have you had to do something like that where you're like, okay, let me fix your voice or let me do this? Yes. Because it was that bad? Yes. Oh. And when, when we were done, I was like, this fucking bitch is a fucking champion. Listen, listen to what the fuck the end point of this is. Like, this is going to help her out in every way possible. Or him. Help and him have you him. seen that happen? And just not only like social media presence, but... Just locally or around? Yes. And locally or... Um, Traveling-wise? Every way possible. And afterwards, you're like... You have to dumb it down and... and, and, and uh, keep it to yourself. Because you have to be humble about it. Like... 
it's very hard to be humble because I see people who are humble. You have to, dog. Yeah, no, no, I, I hear you. If There's a humble not, to an extent. But I'm going to keep it real with you. Let, let's be real. Being humble ain't going to get you seen. Being no, hum- it's not. It's not. None but, of that shit is going to get you seen. But how are you? Are you internally a humble person? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're internally a humble person, it won't bother you. Yeah, but it's good sometimes to talk your shit. No, you need, no, you, you need is, to talk your shit sometimes. It is, but but what you said, talk your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially if Are you're you, good, don't hold yourself to down here. No, no, Especially no, no. when other people see you up here. I understand, but are you going to belittle that person oh, nah, by nah, talking nah. your shit? No, I wouldn't belittle nobody. Nah, you you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if that person needs to be little, then there's a different story. Then I'll be little. You get what I'm but saying, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, let that person shine. I'm back. Before I jump out, before I jump out. You get what I'm saying, yeah, right? I get exactly what you're saying. I get it. Uh, real quick, before I jump out, is there anywhere you want to perform at? Where do you want to perform? Is there anywhere like in your mind? Like I want to perform right here. I want to New York, like, thousand, thousand New York, people. Europe, whatever. If I could perform, Canada. no, 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 Australia. no, no, no. Australia. If I could perform, it would be at the uh, uh, um, that spot that quick and them always perform at that. The, that no, nah. where? Come to Endor? No, no. The um, what's that spot? Skyland. No, dog. No. Oxnard? No. You guys are all naming the wrong spots. Okay, where, where, is it in California? The Blue. House of Blues? House of Blues. Oh, well, House Hollywood. of Blues, Hollywood. No, hold on. Hold on. House No, ha- I know, yeah. but I would love. I've yeah. never hit the House You've of Blues. Never performed there. I've never you performed. You would like to perform. I would love to perform at the see, House see, of Blues. If I was an artist, hold on. Me, my dad took me. Actually, my dad took me. We were in the studio with yeah. quick. And uh, Quick invited us all to Whiskey A Go Go. The only reason why I really wanted to go was because my dad has been the Doors fan. Yeah. And oh, Morrison. dad, the Doors. And I know Jim Morrison performed yes. his first concert there. Yes. So it was a must yes. to go. Nah, I mean. Yes. And, and for me, Quick had a crazy ass scene there. For me, it's the House of Blues. Okay. See, that's okay. the whole okay. classic. And but you know, everything I was talking about, did you... Dom, let me tell you something. Did you... <laughs> Yeah. Grasp that yeah. what yeah. I was telling you. Yeah. Hold on, Dom. Um, we're coming to no, a close. Me and your son, we're having we're, a conversation. We're dog. landing right now in the LAX. Yeah, so we're landing the plane. Okay. Oh, so we're, we're landing With the Gimp. We're landing on the International Lover. The Gimp is okay. already laying flat. If you're a Prince fan, you know what I mean by International Lover. Okay. Um, oh, oh. Okay. So, okay, Raymond Curly. How was it working with Little Rob back in the days? Ooh, Little Rob, bro. How was it working with Little Rob back in the days? Little Rob was... (sighs) Tell us. That was... I felt privileged to work with Little Rob. Why is that? Because I looked up to... All the singles that he had as okay. a young man, uh, I had all the 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 little right. set singles, right? And so when I met him, I was like, "This guy, is, to me, he was a star." Yeah, because you know, uh, you know, being a little Latino dude, right? We played this shit, you know, in, in the neighborhood. Do you think because, oh, by the way, I'm going to answer. Somebody said, Tony, did you sanitize your shit? I washed my motherfucking hands, big dog. Get the fuck out of here. Anyways, um, he, do you think being from the 805 and looking at Chicano rap, not for LA, but San, San Diego, like almost like higher than you guys? Because I'll I hear- didn't look at it as higher as I looked at it. Damn, I'm fucking slurring. You know what's funny? Because Hold on. Let me make myself okay. slur. Okay, while more. you sip, I want to say something. Because out, out here in L.A., nobody thought about Little Rob, bro. No, we did. In the 805, we Like, did. we're talking about the 90s. Let me tell you why. Because his shit was already hitting in our area. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it, not in the... local bus? Yes, okay. definitely. Is, definitely. Is he from out that area? No, uh, I'm not too sure. No, no, he's, he's, from the he's from San Diego. San We're Diego. from the 805. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, Tomas, okay. Tomas syndicated his 
a, a single into our area. Okay. So we were familiar with Little Rava. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Because so when I heard, when I listened to his shit, I was like, "Oh, this motherfucker's a star." Okay. To me, he was a star. Okay. He was a star just as much as a uh, Kid Frost. He, you know what? Because I didn't meet That's Little right. Rob till 1997, and I recorded two songs with him. And what my boy was paying him. And look, I don't mean no, no disrespect to Little Rob. What, what my boy was paying him, but I was like, "You're paying him twenty five hundred dollars for a verse." He goes, yeah. But back then, how much was $2,500? Well, this was... 19, you understand, like... 1997, let me finish. 97, $2,500 was a lot. Yeah, and I was like... Right? Yeah, so I said, are you you, are you sure? That, uh, he's popping in San Diego, but, bro, he's not popping in L.A. But he was in 805. Yeah, so I was like... Like, he was on the radio stations. They had the bro, local radio station, and they were yeah, playing him. And that's not a diss. I was just like... Bro, I didn't hear of Little Rob till 1997. And I was like... Before that, dog, he had... A, he had a what? In 1990... Let me think. Speak close to the mic. Speak close to the mic. No, listen. Listen. In 93, he had Mexican Gangster, which was already hitting in 805. But so not, to us, he was a star already. Okay. Oh, stop right there. You understand? Stop, stop right there. I get it, bro. I don't try to take that away from you guys. I well, don't. I'm, I'm telling you. I, I know. But in L.A., 1990, La Raza, okay? Then we had Lighter Shooter Brown. Uh, uh, um, no, no, no. Brown. Um, Sunday Afternoon. Lighter Shooter Brown. 1994, Mexican Power, Fear Behind, uh, Hard Times, Proper Dose. Proper Dose. And then we had 1997, Brownside. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw a high C in there, sit in the park, uh, okay. uh, and uh, I'm not your puppet. We didn't hear a little Rob back then, bro. Now, that's not to take away from him. I, no, it's not. No, it's, it's not. not. It's but not. I didn't hear about him until 1997. So when, when my boy go, I'm paying him 2500 bucks. You heard about him about the same time that Shadow was popping. Yes. Correct? Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Yes. yes. Right. Yes. But we had already had that shit yes. in our neighborhood. Okay. That single that he had. Now, how was that? How, how did L.A. miss that and you guys get that first? I don't know, but it went, we we went, had distributions in our area with, that had that cassette single. Okay. What radio station did they play? Little in Robert? our areas. Okay. because Oh, well, it's not about radio stations. It's about the the moms and pop stores selling. Yes, yes. That was big. Because, yes, like yes, yes. we had a little store called La Bonita. Yeah. We had the fucking... We had the uh, 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 sound box in the in the yes. in the uh, Napomo swap meet selling yeah. little Rob shit. We knew who he was, so to us, he was a star. Yeah, bro, bro, and and not only that, he wasn't Kid Frost. He was like a little homie from around the neighborhood star. Yes, yes. You yes. understand yeah, what I'm saying? Course, like, of course. We related to him. I was like, he's talking about the shit that we know about. And you know what's funny? Does that make sense to you, Tony? No, it truly does. And I'm going to tell you why. When we get off to here, I'm going to show you a picture of a woman. In 1994, she hits me up. And she goes, do you know who this guy is? And she shows me a single cassette by Little Rob. And I go, yeah, I know who, I know who he is. Well, I, I don't really know personally, but I know who he is. I'm trying to sign him to a major record label. Okay, cool. Two years later, I found... Violet. Violet Brown. I knew... how. How did I know? Bro, bro, I've been knowing Violet since 1987, okay? How she, did I know? Look, let me tell you something. Because I know Violet When I Brown. finally talked to little Rob, I'm signed to Low Profile Rec. Well, so you can't talk to her? Well, right now we can't talk. Okay, cool. He could have been, in my opinion, bigger than Kid Frost because a major I mean, record he label. Still is. Okay, cool. But I'm talking about sales. Right. Okay. I got you. He could have been bigger, but he was signed to a low profile record and royalty kit. He did what he did. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Okay. What That's he all did. I'm going to say. Yeah. So, so all I'm, I'm going to say is Little Rob, you're a legend. Kid Frost, you're a legend. 
But things could have changed if you would not have been signed to those fucking regardless, fake, regardless, fake, fake ass. No, I'm gonna speak, big, big dog. Fucking fake ass record labels. So go ahead. Regardless of what he was signed to or what he did, re, uh, I I feel like Lil Rob is the stamp of Chicano rap music. I I feel like he. Well, he's a part the, of it. I I I feel like he's a big stamp. Yeah, he is. He is top five, top six. I've always wanted to work with him, and there was plenty of times where I could have. I work with them, but I don't even like have to. Like, oh, you work, you're gonna produce something for Little Rob. I still want to work with. Lil All right, Rob. cool, whatever, bro. I okay. still want to work with Little Rob. He's after the remember that joint scandal. Yeah, that we did. He hit me up. He was like, Dude, bro, that shit is fucking phenomenal. The echoes, everything in that fucking song is. Everything that I need, I was like, oh, bro, this is the perfect chance with, for me to work Bro, with you know Lil how Rob. many times I talked to Little Rob about him sitting right here next to me? And I still... Three times. There's, and, and, there's, and every conversation lasted over an hour. And you know what he said? I can't. All right, cool. What he, have is reason. he has his reasons. Yeah, but... I got a question. Go ahead. I only heard of him because of Summer Night. Dude, was, some, summer night. I was in, I was in ninth grade, 10th grade. And tell me that wasn't house. the shit. I was in ninth grade, 10th grade. Sneaking it was cool. House, and all I heard was, I feel all right. I feel good. My one, my one chick in the summer night. That's the only song I knew. Him about. It was cool. I I'll, can't say you it was know what, But Doug, I'll, I'll back up Lil Rob for me, everything bro, because I, I, I've I, always. What, you're talking I, about. Look, look, bro. Dog, I'm a fan of Lil Rob. And that's that. Okay. Dominator is a fan of Lil Rob. Okay, start right there. Dominator said, and I'm going to echo you. He's a fan of Little Rob. I am. And that's that. Okay, he's not. Now look at my history, what I'm about to mention, and understand, okay? You ready? Dom, are you ready? Yes, ready? I'm listening. Okay, here we go. I need Chuko, you ready? Oh, yeah. I need a mo another Modelo, but I'm ready. Okay. 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 Don't interrupt me, okay? Go for it. I'm a 53-year-old kid living in the city of Wilmas. My family comes from Torreón, Coahuila, to Tijuana, to Compton. I lived it till I was nine years is old. Is that the Hold on. Those are white claws. That's 5%. I, Those are 4.4. 4. I'll what? take a white claw. Yeah. Okay. I'll take a bitch drink. Here we go. <laughs> They're higher than the adult. Here we go. A bitch drink. <laughs> I turned nine years old. I moved, I moved to Wilmington. I'm 53 now. Okay. You're how old? I'm 53. Next three. Next, Next month, 53. I'm, yeah, next month, I'm going to be 54, okay? You never see Dominator drink a fucking White Claw. Yeah, till tonight. Here's Tony, what we do. Drink a White Claw with me. No, I'm not. Come Hold on. on. Let me finish my hey, motherfucking hey. story. you cock blocking my Little Rock story. Give him a, give him a You're cock blocking my Little Rock story. Give him a White Claw. Give him a White Claw. You're cock blocking. Come on, dog. Bro, you know let, what? Dog. Let, let's end the... Let's end it. Cause he's cock blocking, bro. You want the story? Give him one, dog. Nah, give, shoot the story. Give your dad a white shoot claw. Shoot the story. Shoot the story. He's trying to cock block. Shoot the story. No, I'm not. Okay. Give him one white shoot claw. The story. We're running overtime right now. One yeah. white claw. White claw? And no. 5%. Those are 4.4. 4. Nah. He's cock saying. blocking, bro. Let's just end this. Yeah. Come on, dog. Nah, come on. What is the story? Shoot the story. I might get drink this shit by myself. Come on. I'll drink one with you. Come on, go shoot the story. 1987, I met Dr. Dre. Oh, damn. Okay. He fucking threw in Dr. Dre. I met Sir Jinx, who produced the number one Sir this Jinx. track of all time, No Vaseline for Ice Cube. Fucking Ice Cube. When I met him, he was 16 years old. I met Easy e that same day, but I was introduced to him as Eric. Damn, these shits are I, good. I met Dr. Dre, Sir Jinx, and Easy e 1987. Okay. In 1988, I produced my most famous mixtape, 88, Boom and Bass. It started out with Easy e Ice Cube on side B, JJ Fad, Tone Loc. Okay. Every mixtape. Tone Loc was on there? Yes. Every mixtape that he I was on ever that, produced. He was on that mixtape? Tone Yeah, stop, stop cock blocking. I'm not it, cock blocking. I'm just tripping that Tone Loc was on there. Yes. Before Wild Thing ever came out, okay? 
every mixtape that I ever produced, every artist eventually got signed to a major record label and became a gold or platinum. Every one of them, okay? Every single one of them, okay? Here we go. Mm. Talking shit. I'm talking my shit now. People say, Tony, hey, you, you're taking over the show. And Tony, you know what? You need people like me. Okay? You need bad guys like me to fucking point the motherfucking fingers. Okay? I'm just fucking with you. I'm not Scarface. But you know, you need a rasa like me to say like, okay, we've been there. Okay? Then after, after the whole NWA thing, I mean, high C. High C interested me to DJ Quick. Isn't it funny that I start DJing for DJ Quick, second then on AMG, high C, the second NWA. So my roots at the Chicano go back to NWA and the whole DJ Quick camp. So when somebody says, Tony, do you know what a hit is? I fucking better know what a hit is. Yeah. I better know what you a fucking better. hit is. You okay? better. Let me tell you something. I give Little Rob his credit. Little Rob was not fucking mentioned throughout the 90s to the late 90s. But you did give him his credit. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I had to say that to say, like, I didn't hear about it until, like, 1997. But you still gave him his credit. Yeah, I still gave him his flowers. Because he had flowers. Now, I'm going to say this. In to 19, give. Yes, in 1997. And that was for what? Let me tell you something. Little Rob didn't have any hits in 1997. But you gave him his flowers. Yeah, for because what? he could because he can spit. Because he can spit, and he told me that this I cannot come out of my label because of low profile, because of royalty, because that fucking fat son of a bitch had him around the fucking neck. Okay, so I'm thank I'm thankful that I'm thankful that little Rob was able to break away and make his own fucking money, make his own fucking living, buy his own fucking house, support his own fucking family. Because you know what's funny with all the Chicano rap labels? Can I be real with you? Go ahead. That's why we're here, right? Yeah, exactly. Take your Chicano rap labels, name them as you want. Okay. Here's the funny part. None of those rappers have ever made it bigger than the rape than the label rap owner. None of those rappers have ever made it bigger than their label rap owner. They only made it bigger after they fucking left. By choice. That's the problem. By choice. Yes. But you have to say by yes, choice. Of course. By you choice. You can't just say because. Well. You have to say by choice. Look, let me tell you something. Because. Let right? Me, yeah. Stop trying to cover up for no, you know I'm who. Not, I'm not trying okay? to cover up. I'm just okay, trying stop to trying say. to cover for who because I'll, I'll, I'll say his fucking name, bro. Okay, stop, I'm, Dom. I'm just saying by. Bro, I love I'm, you. Bro. And I look, I don't give a fuck if I expose him and he calls the next day. He's like, Tony, you fucked me up. I tell you what, Dom. No, I'm just saying by Me choice. and you will go heads up with all those motherfuckers. Okay? Straight up. I'll swing first. Stop. Okay? Here's my thing. A lot of those motherfuckers. Sign people to shelve them. But you understand but what you're getting into. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if you're a dumbass motherfucker, you don't read the, hung, the fucking contract. A lot of these guys don't know, bro. Yeah, but that's their fault for not knowing. See, no, stop. No, I can't. See, as Rasa, we have to say... Before I sign you, I have to educate no, you. No, 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 no that's no, me. No, 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 Maybe no. I have too much of a good heart. If I'm gonna sign you, I have Fuck to educate you. You're gonna either look at the contract, so or you're gonna be like, oh, I didn't see it. So, t okay, <laughs> tell me right now, tell me right now, Tony, throw your good heart into the trash. Tell me right now, into the mic. Say, Tony, throw your good heart into the trash. Tell me. All right, and? No, say it. Tony A, throw your good heart into the trash. Say it. Within what? Nah, see. <laughs> you you, you Come know what? Come on, dog. Dom, I love it, big dog. You know, and I know you love me. And I know. I do. We I know do. where we stand. I do. Okay. But I know you're trying to be like, I'm trying to look out for the crime family. 
No, 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 no. Oh. No, dog. Those are my boys. But no, I'm thinking about all oh, Rasa and little homies as a one. You go to a, 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 a label. Simon. How are you feeling? Like, what is it that you're getting into? Or like, um, are you going to help me? Okay, I'm going to ask no, you. No, no, listen, listen, okay, listen, yeah, listen. I, I know, I know. Go ahead. Are you going to help me? Because I got one more question what and we're done. What are you going to do for me? Uh, yeah. What, what is it that you're going to do for me? Yeah. How are you going to help me? Okay. Are you going to bone me? What is it that you're going to do for me? Right. I know. <laughs> you're a Chicano rapper. You're like, fuck it. And I'm not a rapper, is, though. That's the thing. No, but you have to put yourself in that right, place. Right, 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 right. Simon, okay. I'm going to ask you one more question, then we're out of here, okay? Then I want you to give you shout outs. Simon? Uh, okay. Okay. Other than possibly Kid Frost, Carnal. Other than possibly Kid Frost, I want you to name another Chicano. I want you everybody to listen to this, because I'm gonna put my boy to the test. He's putting and, me on the spot. And I love this motherfucker. Seriously. Dickhead. Okay. Other than Kid Frost, name another Chicano that has. And I'm gonna Chicano. I'm talking about not only rappers, but labels. That has more history than me. Nobody. You fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta be a dick like that? I'm just asking, bro. Is, is, is there cricket sounds in there? Like, I'm just asking. Yeah. Come on, dog. Play the crickets. Like, come on, dog. Seriously. Is, is there another Chicano out there? Is Other there than. Mexican that been in the yeah. How many Chicanos have been in the Are Source magazine? Are you me on the spot for me to have to say it or someone else? No, for you. For anybody. <laughs> what the fucking dick? I love my boy, but I I, I got to put you on the spot. What the is fucking there, dick? Is there another Chicano that has more history than me? You want me to name some Chicanos? I mean, the only thing I could think of is like fucking... Uh, how could you just kill a man? That's... Yeah. He's a rapper, though. Yeah. Well, he's the, he's, he's not the producer. Yeah. Send dog. I mean. Yeah. Uh, what's the other dude? Uh, dog. There's there's I don't nothing. It's all good. It's all good. Tony, baby, baby, you, <laughs> you have that shit, dog. <laughs> Carnal, I fucking love you, big dog. I love you. You got Seriously. that shit. You know what? You know what I love about you, Big Big Dong? Every time I go over there, like it's just me and you, and we just talk music and we eat. You notice that? Like we just go over there, like Tony, and we're like I'm gonna do this shit, and I'm like that shit's fucking dope. You know what? Time out. Let's go get something to eat. Let's go. I fucking we have a good time, bro. Like, bro, just like we did tonight, bro. You know what? My times with you are fucking priceless, bro. Like nobody can pay me. Go eat with Dominic. No, fuck you, bitch. That's on me. Like, Dom, like, we didn't meet by coincidence, bro. No. We didn't meet by, by coincidence. No, no, no. Music was the glue and brought No, together, I seen that shit. So, the, the, the first message, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I was like, this motherfucker's a legend. No, I seriously said that shit. I was like, why is this legend? Fucking uh, uh, communicating with me, sober. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, because, because I'm paying I, homage. I know to what I sound a little. Fucking because I'm paying like, homage to a legend. That's why I was like, this motherfucker. All these mixes that this motherfucker did. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, fucking. Let me reach out. Yeah, because I'm paying homage to a legend, big dog. That's all I want to say. I'm paying homage to a legend. To be able to associate it with you, to be able to hang with you, spend the night as your crib, big dog, and you cook for me, like, like, bro, I don't give a fuck about my past. You know, it's all about my present. To me, to me, 
to be able to meet with a guy like you, bro, like. Not only that, we're a rasa. Absolutely, big dog. Thank you, Canal. Stay hey, blessed. I mean, you know, other races, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We I'm going to go ahead and give Dominator uh, the opportunity right now to go ahead and give a shout out. Give a shout out, big dog. I give a shout out to my parents. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Me too. Fuck. And I only allow myself to be this fucking buzz. <laughs> and he still got to drive home. Yeah. Yeah, my homie Chuko's driving me home. Yeah. Chuko's drive it. He's driving. Magic Girl. Lucha. SPM. Okay. Tony, you have to hear Lucha okay. shit right now. I said SPM, though. You give me, give me, give me. Dude, you have to hear Lucha shit right now. Hey, that was a beautiful fucking ass dot. D- Dodge Hyde. <laughs> <laughs> It'll follow under world records. Keep it pushing. Uh, fucking E Dub. Yeah. Kool Aid. Want to say what's up to everyone? <gasps> Why you got yawn, dog? Come on, homie. Because fuck. Come on, Dom. Sit out. You done? I gotta go pee. Okay. Okay. Every, okay. Let me go ahead and give my shout outs. Okay, I'm going to give a shout out to, once again, my boy, DJ Dominator, um, CLS, Kara Lifestyle. Let me give a shout out to them. Uh, let me give a shout out to Magic Girl because I show much love today. But Magic Girl, sooner or later, you're going to have to show up here. Like, don't just show up on the like, fucking live chat and talk shit. Show You're duck. Be scandalous that you're ducking, dodging, bobbing, and weaving. Okay? Come eat the damn chip. He got the money. Okay, so stop, stop bullshitting. Yeah, yeah, oh, get the fuck out of here. That's what he's saying, okay? If not, get the fuck out of here, okay? Um, other than that, um, you know, I just want to give a shout out to my boy, Big D, uh, MC Magic. Um, just. Everybody else like, had me since day one. You know what? Um, yeah, I, so uh, I'm taking my fucking motherfucking time. Get some hand sanitizer, bro. I don't want to take your fucking, your fucking small PP fucking. Why do you have small PP? <laughs> 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 I'm just being joke. Okay. Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise. Alex. Oh, Fuck, I'm fucking buzzed. All you guys know, like. Tony doesn't act like this. No, I'm my fucking buzz. Okay. My mom and dad. My mom watches your show. I apologize. No, Mrs. Worry. Dominator. No, 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 no. I'm, no, 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 I'm no. sorry. My mom, my mom does watch your show. <laughs> Mrs. No, Dominator, I'm, 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 I'm sorry for, Doug, I'm for, not playing. for being the penetrator. My mom really does watch. She is like consistent. Okay, Mrs. So, Do- yes, Mrs. Dominator, I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Oh, she Shout out, Mrs. Dominator. She likes Dominator. what you do. Even on the penetrator, and he's the Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Let me tell you, people. My mom is the coolest motherfucker in the world. That's she dope. watches this That's motherfucker dope. show. Hell yeah. She loves her son's shit, which is me. Hell yeah. She watches this show all the time consistently. Hell yeah. Did. Yeah. Did we have a good time? I, I In a fucking amazing time. So with this time, did you give me all, all your shout outs? I pretty much. Okay. Alex Hermanos Hermanos Enterprise. I'm gonna give a shout out to him. Alex. Blah blah blah. Alex Hermanos Hermanos Enterprise. My son B. Scanless. He turned 31 tonight. Hold on. Hold on. My son has just 
31. Hey, bro, he claimed, old, hold how, on, he claimed 31. I'm trying to explain to his ass the age is the number. I believe you. How okay. old are you, bro? 31. Hey, bro, I'm not going to lie, though. I'm not going to lie. Because I'm pulling like 20 years old. You know I mean? You're telling me I'm fucking like 23. Exactly. So I know now what people say when they say age is just a number. Thank you. Okay. So when females tell me, like, so, so when females tell me, Tony, okay, you look 28, and I'm like, swing. Anyways, big <laughs> dog. <laughs> Chuko. I'm going to give you a shout out. How old are you? I have to ask. 28? 28? Why do you look like everything's almost American? Me, 38. <laughs> <laughs> You be, like, you like, hold on, you like, like, I'm being sarcastic. This guy's like, this guy's like, orale, past the wire, orale, exactly, like that. Fuck Popeye. That's and what you, you wanted, right? Yeah, exactly. Orale, exactly. Who's that guy who does that in that movie? What is it? Everything's almost. Okay, that's okay. Well, see, I seen, I seen that movie too much. Yeah. yeah that's oh, why. So. Because homie had the big old, you know, the Pachuco look. Yeah. 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 That's just hard. Okay, everybody. Anthony the Hip Hop Jedi and Norbert. Now, I'm going to give you guys a shout out. Sunday. Sunday. We're three days away. Ras got talent. Say it with me. Rasa has got talent. Rasa. Verse for verse, and I got two Latinas going heads up. For real? Yes. Who's? Sunday. I'm not going to say. Well, come on, dog. You got to stay tuned. I'll How tell you. you. Fucking, hey, no, no, when no, we no, go no, off no, camera, no, I'll tell no, you. No, 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 no. When no, we no. go off camera, I'll tell you. Dog. Talk about sneak peeks. People will be biting. Yeah. They'll they be biting. No, no, no. So, that's all. See that that's shit? All. Not fucking. We out of here. <laughs> much love, much respect to all you guys. Um, I'm going to give Dude. We went way past time. We had a good time. Yeah, we have a good time. So, uh, how long past time? Four and a half hours. Almost. Four and a half hours. So See? I'm about to stand up, put my PG jeans down, put my skin back, and we out of here. Yeah. So, so oh my God. Oh, Jewish. So, yeah. Jewish skin back. Hell yeah! So if you guys see an eight-inch monster, uh, uh, that's Mexican monster. We out of here. Much love, much respect. Later, motherfucker. Yeah. Fuck you. Gimp. Yeah, fucking gimp. He's a he's a cuck and a gimp. So I'm just saying that because he left. But <laughs> just some more money. I'm broke as fuck. I need more cup of noodles. We're out. Of, we're out of here. Vete a la verga, pinche puto. We're Thank you.